quite an opening quite an opening good to see everybody tonight good to see everybody tonight um do i need to add people back in here pop hey 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 you brought us back hey. yeah good to see everybody thanks for being with us that is quite i don't know who did that intro for you but they did a fantastic job um excited for you guys to be here tonight on uh hell hell on wheels comic book auction with my main man pop and uh t pain and mr jackals here so is miss becky miss becky and t pain has got his professional seller with us yeah he's so, got his he can helper help with it's him. my bodyguard that she's gonna keep papa from picking on me i see okay so why don't we uh why don't we do our do our rounds here why don't you go ahead and say hello there t pain do what now say hello to the peoples Hey, 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 uh, back, uh, still a little sore. If, I, if the ones hadn't heard, I had a bone spur removed from my back this week, but I'm getting getting back about 100%, and plus that helped my leg a whole lot as far as being on that nerve. But I've picked up some, some cool older stuff, bronze, silver age, and if you're looking for modern, hit us up. I've got that too. Uh, but we're just here to have fun tonight. Uh, Peyton's probably going to do most of the selling. I'm going to sit back and make her work. <laughs> child labor laws, as you said. Yeah. All right. We'll go to Edwin Price and we'll say hello to the people. Hello, folks. Hello, comic fam. And uh, it's good to be here tonight. I'm not typically a Saturday night uh, seller, but uh, we got a good crew here tonight. All of us. Uh, this is kind of like a reunion of about a year or so ago. It's been a while since T-Pain and MT and, and myself have been yeah. on a, oh, yeah. a show together. And um, so we're looking to throw out some nice books tonight at decent prices here and uh, always making deals. And uh, we always have some interesting stuff. I mean, uh, we've got, uh, you know, we go vintage way back. Then we go bronze. Then we go uh you know, copper, modern, we got, we got the whole gamut. So, uh, it'll, it'll kind of keep you interested here. So, um, I could even pull out a few golden age. Hey, there you go. That's right. I I don't have much golden age that I'm going to (laughs) sell, but uh, T-Pain does every now and then. So anyway, um, thank you for stopping by and, uh, stay with us or check in or whatever because we will be like i said we're gonna be slinging some books right here in a minute and uh i'll say hey for miss becky she had to run grab a bite to eat and we're hoping my cuz j1 shows up He's yeah supposed- j1 will be with us and, and miss becky kind of uh wanted to say goodbye to her daughter so she'll be back she'll be back um mr jack will look at the private chat with you please okay sure will. i'll see it <laughs> And of course, you know, the myth, the man, the legend, Pop is here with us tonight, leading the show, so we're looking forward to a great show. Um, Pop, do you want to go first? Do you want me to have T-Pain go first? What do you want to do? Okay, all right. All right, what do you want to sell first, Peyton? Mm -hmm. You want to hold one for me? I'm actually pretty warm. Okay, you're warm. You're warm. Let's just start it out a little light tonight, but we're going to start it out with a key. First appearance, Lady Deathstrike, Alpha Flight 33. It's probably a 9 0. It's, it's a nice copy of Bear, and it's a newsstand. Why don't we? We've had some people complaining about bidding before the start line here on these auctions. What can you tell me your starting bid before you show, show yeah, the? Yeah, 
Uh, I'm going to start this book out tonight, first round, since we got 19 in here. I'm going to start this out at a dollar. Each a dollar. A dollar. A dollar. Oh, my, my mic is muffled. It's yeah, you, muffled. you sound like you got a sock in, in you over it. You going <laughs> to hold it? Somebody put a sock in MT. Oh, no. Uh oh. Let me show him the spine. Let me, uh, let me change my microphone. Is that better? Better? Sound, sounds the same. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you're legible. It's just, uh, how about this? How about now? Now. Nah, that's better. It. Okay. Cause I got like four microphones. So. It's got a little, around. it's got a little crease down here in the corner, but it doesn't look color. Well, it may be. I can't tell the way the color is on it, but I know that can be pressed out. And it's just got a little blunt corner right there. Other than that, I mean, it's a nice book for a buck. Hey. Yep. Key issue alpha flight here. Key issue alpha flight looks like pretty good shape. A comic dog is all rowdy tonight. Hang on, I shut the door. Oh, we didn't say hey to the chat, you know. Oh no, I didn't. I should have done that. Oh, I guess I'll do that, that after on here. Yeah, say hello, hey to Mr. Gerald Yates. He's bid on your book there. Hey, hey. Yeah, custodian, uh, custodian Ken is here. Old Red Sox fan. Card shop reality is here. Our buddy, my buddy, custodian Ken. Good yeah, I got Custodian Key in a box. He bought some nice Batman books from me last week or oh. two weeks ago. Nice How did I miss those? It was Copper Age. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Anthony Blaze is, is with us. Uh, have a great show tonight, says Anthony. Uh, J2 says, what's up, everybody? My good good friend J2, Soul Twice is here. Strange Dog Comic Stop. Now, that's a great name. He says, let's go. Geeky Dad's with us. What's up, people? Yarrow Yates. What's up, party people? What is up to you, good sir? David Reese is here. Smash that like button, he says. Uh, and, oh, the good captain is here. He's the one who told me about my mic being muffled. The good Captain Ramius, who got oh, a... Oh, Cap Ramius. Yeah. Cap got a book for me that I have been crying over all week. I wish I wouldn't have sold. The very first... <laughs> First appearance of uh, the Valkyries in uh, Journey into Mystery, and uh, oh wow, the phenomenal book that that he got at a hundred dollars off. That I am still a little um, having <laughs> having some re seller's remorse over. Well, Steven that's Spock the hazards. That's the hazards of YouTube auction. Happened to me many times. That's true. That's true. Yeah, my good buddy Card Shop, um, Card Shop Reality, making all your. Dreams a reality, card shop reality. I probably butchered that, but I tried, buddy. I tried. Tate's here. Hey, Taterade. Good to see you, buddy. Card shop and Tate. Yep, yep. Good to yeah, see you. Yeah, no, we're not muted. No, I can't uh, mute it on my turn, Peyton. Then we got Kenneth Bird is here. Hey, <laughs> Kenneth Bird, thank you for being with us. I'm just talking. I check just to make sure it's not a Mark Jewelers. Okay. Uh, Ryan Milky 14. I followed the red solo cups and ended up here. Let's party. Smash that like. Hashtag stay. Thank you. Up. Thank you. Yep. What's up, James Willie? Why are you kissing so Pop, was I supposed to start a uh, timer? Uh, I guess I kind of forgot about that. Part. Is that the real James oh, Willie? That is the real James Willie's here. Okay. Didn't, didn't want any imposters. <laughs> Can you drop in private private chat there, Pop, if I'm supposed to be running timers or if you're doing that or what's going on here? I think that may be a little long, Pop. You just need to let me know what how much time you run on your rounds and stuff. They usually take about three hours and forty six cents six seconds per person. Oh, okay, I that's hear fine. I hear Ms. Ms. Peck Peck is here. Yep. Yeah. Do we have a 60 second runoff clock here? No, we don't. Okay. Oh, I don't have one of those to add one, or I would. Yeah, no, no, no. We got, and 
this is pretty much if you see something you want and you're on the panel you can get it yeah that's that's kind of what i like about this place so there's rules I mean, on, there's no rules well the thing is i mean everybody that sells on this channel are are we we sell to make our collection better ardent collection you're right you don't yeah. have any business people here yeah and believe me i've got beautiful books from everybody on this panel tonight <laughs> I'm just creating a banner for myself. I'll be with you here momentarily. Oh, you're good. I'm assuming Mr. Jackal's got a banner here too, right? It's a lot to remember. It's going to knock the rust off here. Scroll across the bottom ticker. Yes, that's what we want. Add the banner. Yeah, that's yours. All right. We're good. All right. We got a sex panther from Buddy Ken. Yeah. All right. We're going to do a, uh, just do a 30 second runoff here. What is a sexy panther, whatever y'all just said? That um, means last bid. Yeah, it means oh. that's High, highest bid. Yeah. God. Usually. Although it can be broken, it yeah. has been by virtually everyone. <laughs> Okay, seven dollars is where we're at. There's no no builder on this one. We got about ten seconds left here. End line's about to come down. Four, three, two, one. Oh, boy, that's kind of obnoxious. Looks like custodian Ken takes it down. Hey, hey, got a good deal in this and. That's kind of like I said, no more shipping. You've got a box, so it's just seven. And oh no, no, we got a reset. We got a reset. Oh, did somebody Wait. get in? Ah, oh, Gerald's in. back. Gerald, oh, he got, got back. He got it in okay. there. So we're gonna run a one-minute timer on that bad boy. Yes, you did. You sure did, Mister Yates. You were in. Oh. Cool. Custodian Ken Folds, thank you for the bids, Ken. Yeah, okay, this goes to Mr. Gerald Yates. Uh, <clears throat> I just got your IG, ma'am. I'll be following you back in a second. Uh, just to let you know, uh, I usually send out totals after the auction, so if you want to get anything else, we'll just do it at a total at the end of the night. My shipping rates are just standard. I mean, it's 10 for up to 12 books. Uh, anything over 12, it goes to 16, which you can get about 40 to 45 books in. But here's the kicker. I'm going to start from now on. If you get over $100 from me a night, I'll ship them to you for free. That's total, not just one buy. Very good. Very good. Are you ready, Pop? Excuse me, let me wrap this down, Pope. Papa! So good to see you. You're looking quite dapper today. I'm not that small. Do what? What are you doing? Hold on a second. What up, Pop Pop? You want to type in a start and bid for us? Oops. Later on, I will be singing a tribute to Paul tonight. So, oh, uh, well, the old Popeye the Sailor Man. Oh, yeah. Better change, I, better I, change I, the banner here. I looked up the full lyrics of that for. Do you have a pull box tonight, Pop, or do you need me to change that? That you do. All right. So, Pop's got himself a five dollar pull box, gang. Just hold and build, says Mr. Yates. Just hold and build. Oh, do I need to turn the music on? I didn't think about that. Yeah, we gotta have we gotta have some music. Some elevator music here. So there we go. Mr. Pop has got some pulls. Four dollars each. Twenty dollars for six pulls, or thirty-five dollars for twelve random box. Or he has a Batman slash Wonder Woman box. Can't. 
can't Batman think of Wonder Woman box. All right. That's a heck of a duo there. So if anybody wants those uh, pull pulls, just let us know in the chat. We will pull them for you. We'll get her done. Let's see what Pop's got on the old auction block tonight. Um, let us know what you guys are looking for. It looks like... Um, Someone had made a request up here. Let me scroll up and find it here. Looking for 1920, 33, 40, 46 through 96, says Nosh. Alpha Flight, he says. We'll let Pop drop his uh, starting bid here. Five dollar starting bid, gangs. Five dollar starting bid. We've got oh a max. We got some mature books, some mature audience books here. So that's eternal. Looks like he's got the full run here. That's issue one. L Green, I'm not aware of any lyrics to Andy Griffith uh show. I've always just had the oh i see you got bound by the okay i know how to whistle it very well just like andy did okay that's issue number three that's issue number two <whistles> number four did you have a number one in there pump i thought you did it looks like he's got issues one through four here of the eternal this was the max the max titles which was kind of more adult content a little bit heavier grittier story here um these are what from the early 2000s early 2000s i do believe Don't forget about the pull box here, gang. Don't forget about the pull box. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of the list. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. I'm a fan. Um, Andy was our hero down here in uh, North Carolina. And uh, Aunt B, after the show, moved to Siler City. I've did been you, by her uh, grave sites. Did you ever read this run, uh, T Pain? Or is he, he gone? He gone. I was trying to see if it has a connection to uh, the Eternals because I don't remember reading this one, but I know that this was like the same time Hyperion had a had a Max title. All right, we'll get your bids in here. Five dollars starting bid, gang. Let's let's go with Pop here. Hey, hey, were y'all asking for me? Sorry, I had to make a <clears throat> restroom run. I was trying to see if this what if this is like tied to the Eternals or what this was. This is that Max run for the early two thousands, and because uh, it kind of looked like Cersei on that one cover. Yeah, I believe it's an Eternal story, but it's. Uh, more of an adult, you know, with it being the max. Yeah. It's, uh, but yeah, it's tied in with them. Okay, basically, I know that these were low print counts. The max yeah. were, were much less because they weren't, they were uh, explicit content. So there'd probably be some murder and then some movies in there, I'm assuming. Well, what do you know? I just got a friend request from some nice gal wanting me to see her hot photos. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I ought to send that on to Pop. Yeah, Pop would love that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all the John Byrne issues. Who, yeah. who, 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 hold one of the books up and hold it still for a second. Let me see who who, re who wrote it. Kobe, hey, hey, right? Tate, we'll Austin you Walker and Kobe. Okay. These were really good reads. The Max comics I own, I know were really. You got a minute and. 
15 seconds left there, Pop. Yeah, they're good stories to Max. Uh, I like the Punisher. The, the Eternal's good. Uh, Spider-Man, of course. And then you, then you had the uh, Black Cat, uh, no, Black Widow ones that were real good. Tate's offering to do a giveaway of the copy of Amazing Spider-Man 19, the Disney Fantastic Four homage. That's been a really hot book. If you yeah. like the 50 likes says Tate. Yeah, that sound that's that's really generous of you, Tate. Well get your bids in here, gang. We're we we got 40 seconds left on the clock. Well, we got 25 going right now. Let's try to get some more likes. And uh I just finished inviting a bunch of people. I hope a lot of my buddies will join us. Because like I said, we're gonna we're gonna be slinging some books here. Okay, so this is a new one. Five bucks. Don't restart the timer. We only got fifteen seconds. Uh, let, let's let's give you. Oh, oh. Let's give you two two minutes on this because this is a good lot here. Yeah. Are you buying tonight? I don't know. All right, let's go back up. This is a great lot. In fact, uh, I no, already this. got already got back in. Well, I think you've seen the exact same thing I've seen right there. Because I'll tell you what, the cover artist on this is Esad Ribic, who is one of my all-time favorite artists. And he did the Go of the God Butcher series that King Thor came after that run when he yep. had the return. But those covers are some fantastic pieces of art there. Um, you don't definitely want to get in on these. I know there's that second printing of issue number... Two. One or issue two? Two. This is his first cover appearance. It's worth a, a stupid amount of money. Oh, well, look. Kip is here. Yeah. Old old cage fighter himself, huh? Yeah. He's, uh, he's, been uh, out yeah. Whooping, he's been out whooping up on people on his day off, I bet. Hey, Kip, you beat anybody up today? I don't believe them. I don't think you do that. No, I don't. He's too kind of man. Man, don't forget about the pull box. Don't forget about the pull box. You got a random or you got the Batman Wonder Woman. Thanks, Tate. Appreciate that, buddy. All right. We got about 30 seconds left on this Esad Ribic lot uh, from King Thor. This was a, uh, I think this only ran for what, six issues? Six or seven, uh, six, I think. It may Pretty have sure it was six. Yeah. But it's a hell of a story. Yeah. And the artwork on it was Mr. In here. Yeah. It was kind of expanding upon the uh, the original Gore the God Butcher story with his three granddaughters and the three version of Old Man Thor and Avengers Thor and then uh, Viking Era Thor. Okay, well, that's the timer. That is the timer, gang. End line's coming down. Looks like I win that lot. Huzzah. Yeah. You got that one, MT. That's a good pickup. Indeed, it was. Indeed. Oh, Mr. Nash is here. Hey, Nash. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, I saw him come along, and uh, we're picking up as we go along here. Okay. Austin 316 says, I just whipped your ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Edwin Price, can you drop your. Uh, your info in the private chat so I can just copy and paste it into a banner here for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought Pop had a banner for me. Um, the only This is the only banner I see for you, and all it says is your name. All right. Yeah, I'll do that right this second. Because it looks like I have Miss Becky's got her, and I got J1, and I've got uh, TP. Let me do that. If, if uh, Becky's ready. Becky, are you ready? Hell no. Okay. You just called me. I just told me 10 minutes ago. <laughs> okay. I'm just gathering a few books. Um, I can go with um, the one book I have. It's a book. We can just see how much people want it. You it's going to it's gonna take that. me just a Hi, second. Hi, everybody. Hi, Miss Becky. <laughs> yeah, I know. Papa loves me. And so I text him just, just you know, because I'm polite and say, you want some help? And he's like, yes. Yes, him. So. I came in because he loved me and he wanted to see me. That's right. You, well, you're the star of the show. So oh, yeah. We right. can't do it without you. Well, we can't do this without Miss Becky anymore. 
and that's my rogue. And my daughter, my son-in-law, my grandson. My grandson stayed on the phone and played video games. My daughter, my son-in-law, helped me move a lot of books out of here and get them in boxes. And I'm a little bit organized. Just a little bit. Okay. Um, you give me your, uh, make sure you remember to give me your starting bid before you show your books for your auction, please. Okay. Um, this first book, I'm going to start off at $200. Ooh. This book is in such nice shape. And unless I open it and find out that it's something below an eight, I will eat my own shoes. But I'm not going to. And I think it's more than an eight. But what do I know? I'm just a girl. I have the premiere, number one, Masters of the Universe. Ooh. This is the very first Masters of the Universe. This sucker is so pretty. I dare you to find a nick or a thing or a tick or a tide or a tone or a smudge. It looks pretty much mint unread. Look yep. at this. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's nice. Look at this. This is the very first, not a copy. First, uh, that's the first Marvel Masters of the Universe. It actually appeared in DC before that. Yeah. It is from. Go in. I. I need my glasses. We need to know. I know everything there is about that. Book. 1986. Thank you. I couldn't tell what that, what that was. So this came out in 1986. And that is the newsstand version, which is a little bit harder to find in high grade. So that usually oh, goes yeah. for a premium. Back in because people yell at me when I wave it around. They're like, go back in the back. Go back in the back. In the bag. So if anyone's interested or if you want to make me an offer off camera, it's the newsstand. Premier issue newsstand, serious offer only. Papa's probably done fell out of his wheelchair. Did you see this, Papa? <laughs> Did you see what I had? Oh, Papa, there's a big old lag on uh, what you would call this, isn't there? Yeah, um, that is a very reasonable offer. Doggone right, I. I, I that was stuff was after me, but uh, that, that's I probably, know that's a, uh, I know that's a dandy. Mm -hmm. That's about where that. It's okay, and I do not mind not selling it. Trust me, I'm okay. But uh, he was running out, and I was putting up my books. And um, how nice everything is. I've seen this thing. People are. I didn't get a chance to see what it was sold at. I see what people are asking for it, and I'm not going to lose money on it. And that's what I say, 200 It was in sometimes $100 less than what people were asking. So, yeah. Um, I own and I bought and sold this book many, many times, and uh, that's, a, that's a very reasonable offer Pop just made it. Yeah. And the shape of this book is beautiful. I, I mean, the last a 9.6 graded copy of that book just sold two days ago for a hundred dollars. Oh, okay. This draw, you can do whatever you want with it. You can send it off to be slab. You can hold on to it. I was having that talk with um, Mr. Edwin or texting about whether to send a book in or not. You know, that's a, that's a good one to get graded because they're going to have a live action show here. So yeah. Um, and given the way that one looks, that one may not be. Uh, yeah, this won't be two hundred dollars tomorrow. A bad idea yeah. to uh, send that one in. Yeah, because the last nine eighty, I just on eBay looked at the last nine eight, which is a direct. It's not the newsstand. Went for two fifty. Two fifty, right? Graded. Graded. Point eight C. So that graded will probably be between. I'm gonna say two seventy five and three hundred bucks, Grady. I tell you what, Becky, you show that one to everybody again. Just you don't see these quality books and this yeah. that one on. And that's why I wanted to ask Edwin because what we've been doing, they had a nine eight. Yeah, but you didn't show me that one. 
<laughs> they had a nine eight on this, and there's no way it's. A, I mean, they had an eight on this, and there's no way it, it's not a nine. I'll eat my shorts. Well, I hope there's any reason. You got a little. Old. Oh, you got. You do got, got a little, little dent there at the, at the bottom of the UPC. Yeah, right That's here. Press probably. Right. And you do have a non-color breaking tick in the middle, mm -hmm. which maybe. Maybe color breaking. I don't know. You tell you usually run your finger down the edge of the book and tell if it's color breaking. What? Yeah, show the back of the book, Becky. Yeah, that's not color breaking. Okay. Back of the book. Do you remember these things? Yep. <laughs> that's why I wanted you to show it. It's got the mad balls on the back. Okay. Well, that was the timer. You can hit up Miss Becky in the Instagrams uh, if you want to get a hold of that book. Thank you, Miss Becky. We appreciate you stepping in to save Mr. Jackal. And uh, meanwhile, I did, didn't do what I was supposed to be doing. Well, first not you were helping me. Um, talk, to, talk to Papa about that one, Becky, because I I, I, advise, I advise you, you know, to uh, you know my thoughts about sending in books to have them plasticized. Yeah. But you like you tend to like them like that. A lot of people do. That's just me, but. Uh, Oh, it's my turn. All it's right. Turn. Okay. Hello, folks. You didn't I'm give me your to... IG, buddy. I did. I sent it in the... Uh, it's Your IG? Yes, my IG is the same as my cash app, except for the... I'm sorry, except oh, okay. for the little um, money symbol. Yeah. Oh, I got to have more that. To that. I love you, though. We'll see what we can do offline. Come to my house. We'll talk. Send Harry. <laughs> we have okay. First of all, I am not Becky Raider. He's fixing to fix that for you. But uh, uh, yeah. he's not okay. either. wheelchair races up and down the hallway. It's so wide. You and I. There you go. You I tell you what, I'm going to do here. I'm going to let uh, before I even talk about slightly about the board roof. I'm going to tell everybody I have a lot of marble. Fine, very fine. These are higher grade books. They're all um, late bronze and uh, I'm going to start them at a buck. So this is what will be coming up. Then I'm going to take just a few minutes uh, to, uh, so if MT wants to start, that's fine. What was your starting bid? One buck. Okay. Shenanigans here, and these are all these are higher grade books. These are not. Uh, these are nice books. This is um, uh, Avengers uh, two uh, thirteen is, with uh, yellow. Hey, hold jacket. on, hold on a second, Miss Becky. Please put your bid in after the. I know, I'm wait, sitting here with my fingers on there waiting. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. We gotta gotta stick to the rules. Here. All right. Take it away, Mister Jackal. Take it away. Okay. This is um, uh, Avengers 213 with uh, Yellow Jacket in trouble. This is Avengers 224 with Yellow Jacket back in trouble. And see, the crispy books. This is a uh, little run from Hulk here. This is uh, 274. Again, nice condition. This is... Um, the Megalith. Yeah, 275. It's a Whitman. Yep, 275. This is uh, 295. This is uh, 296. And then uh, lastly, I felt like uh, Avengers, Hulk, and Iron Man made a nice grouping. I don't know why, but unicorn. this is uh, Iron Man uh, 154. Again, nice. The old unicorn, which first tormented him, I think, in issue 51, uh, Tales of Suspense 51. The 50, yeah, I think that was it. Uh, then uh, I've got issue 155, issue, um, yeah, issue 157, another early direct, yeah, and uh, I believe that's issue the first 181. Of, yeah. I think that's the first meeting of Moon Knight and uh, Iron Man. Yes, I believe you, I believe you are correct on that but that's this lot it's 10 books all nice nice crispy okay timer timer started and... all right right now we're at two dollars and fifty cents a book for for 10 book it's a 10 book lot all 10 books are in here gang and we're at 25 dollars two dollars fifty cents a book and on the board we have um 
I've got Amazing Spider-Man 154 and 50. Yeah, definitely solid bronze uh, versus Sandman, only twenty bucks. I've got a nice. really ni nice, nice cop, nice copy of. Uh, Look, what? you're good. Keep going, keep going. She just yelled at Harry. Okay, um, Amazing Spider-Man two fifty-seven. Uh, I think that's. Uh, Ned Leeds is the third hobgoblin, or um, yeah, that's that's Ned Leeds is the hobgoblin. Absolutely right. That is super high grade. That's a nine zero. I've got it. I don't rate anything that high. Um, then I've got the uh, two fifty eight, which is also a key. It's a solid seven zero thirty. Got Avengers uh, one sixty two six zero with the first Jocasta. That's a key twenty. And I've got Batman uh, 35 center, uh, 295, 20, 60. All right, I do have a Mark Jeweler up there. That is a high-grade Captain America versus the Hulk. Mark Jeweler right here. This is another, uh, this is a 7.5 high-grade uh, Captain America 308 versus the Armadillo. This is a Silver Age early, early Daredevil. 20 uh issue 20 50 condition only 20 bucks mr jackal you're at the two minute mark here you might want to show those books again yes sir i will do these are high grade books it's the first uh trial of uh Dell jacket man barbarians want to know i don't think they are but the, none of the asm no they're are not the, the only asms i've got up there right now are the uh captain america's although yeah, i will put up Jewelers, yeah Okay. Yeah, they're the, I'm sorry, they're the only Mark Jewelers. Yeah, I'll right. tell you what, my LCS would have these at ten to fifteen dollars a book, and right now we're at two dollars and eighty cents per book here again. Two dollars and eighty cents per book. These are easily ten dollar a piece books. We're starting okay. off a little slow, but you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. And, and again, if like I, I wasn't said, uh, hosting, I would be definitely in on this lot for sure. Um, I've got um I've also got the Death of Electra 70, only 25. I've got the finale of Ghost Rider after 10 years. Issue 81 was the last of the first run. It's a nice 70 black cover key book. Death of Ghost Rider and finale. Uh, there are 10 books in this lot, Mr. Nash, sir. Okay, we got uh, 10 books, 10 books, Mr. Nash, only $2.80 a book at the moment uh which is a screaming deal this is probably about a hundred dollar lot easily if not more uh, i know there's at least two two three keys in there that i saw there's the female rom yep uh that's the unicorn you can also win yourself 10 speed bicycle in that one um that one i can't remember something goes on in that tank issue and i can't remember what it is It'll come to me at some point. Um, eh, just a pretty nice copy. I mean, it's, yeah. I don't know what the, uh, it says the back getters, whatever that is, but it is a. Uh, I think there's a first appearance in there, if I remember. But a lot of newsies, a lot of newsies in here, too, because this is, uh, these are mostly 81, 82, like I said, right at the end of the uh, uh, Bronze Age. So this one is kind of, a, like I said, this at the time, this was an oddball having a direct that early. Okay, so we're in overtime here. I just started a one-minute clock. I believe that's the first team up of, of Moon Knight and Iron Man. I'm that. pretty sure you're right about that, yeah, sir. Are. And then that's that's part of the trial, the court martial, yep. the jacket yep. where it goes crazy from the pin particles, and that's the second part of that story. Which occurs issues later too. He was on, he was a long you know, mess for a long time there. Because those are usually uh, those are usually fifteen dollar books. Those two yellow jacket books. Yep. yep. Okay, Mister Nash is back in at forty. It resets the clock. Okay, Miss Becky's in. We're gonna reset it again.
Yeah, some great books here. And, you know, I spent I spent an hour today in my LCS digging through the boxes. And it's just like it's so hard to find books that don't have ticks and are in high grade. And uh, I learned today that I don't sell my books for nearly enough money. I went to the LCS. No, and, if, and, uh, and you can no, I can't and, believe what they charge. And we really, <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I... You know, like I said, I like to get a fair price out of it, but LCS is having run two LCSs at the same time. They got a lot of overhead is, oh yeah. man, is killing, mm -hmm. killer. Um, and, uh, all right, Mr. Nice, back at 45. We're going to reset the clock. Those are pretty nice folks. Some of them have no spine, uh, ticks on them. And, uh, like I said, fine, very fine. Everyone. All right, so we're at four dollars and fifty cents a book right now. Four dollars and fifty cents a book. Screaming deal. Screaming deal. Yeah, uh, Yellow Jacket stayed in trouble over this one because let's see, that's issue two twenty four. His trouble started in issue two thirteen. Oh yeah, you know he went through that whole wife beater. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Know. That was the that was the key to that. Yeah. That's a great cover there. We know Spider Man can stop a train from the movie. Okay, Miss Becky's back at forty six. I'm gonna reset the timer. Megalith guys giving the Hulk all he wants. I do love a good megalith. Man with boomerang. That's boomerang man, yep. I thought he was the Flash's foe. He's called <laughs> the boomerang. Not Captain okay. Boomerang, the Boomerang. Oh, Captain Boomerang. You're right. There, like you said, there's the female ROM. <laughs> yep. At least that's what we hope's going on there. Yeah. I don't know if that's true or not. The unicorn, like I said, I I, gotta, I think it's issue 51, the first unicorn. What the heck is getting Cap here with these tentacles? I mean, not Cap, but Iron Man with these tentacles. There's oh, they came from outer space. Spores. I got you. Space. Yeah, okay. There's the first Moon Knight Iron Man job again. So anyway, let everybody see one more time. Okay, in line coming down. Okay, great, great win, Miss Becky. All right. If anybody missed the... The board let me know i'll um i'll put up some uh i'll put up some ten dollar books next time i see uh our good buddy j1 is with us j1 are you ready j1 miss becky is the winner thank you all all of you i absolutely here. can be well that's all you brother all right well it thank you one little slight change from before maybe i need to get the starting bid for your auction lot before you show the books Okay. Well, let's start it at a dollar. You're That's what welcome. I just did, cuz. If you've got, if you got buy it nows or whatever, you can show all those. I won't start the timer for your round until you're done showing your books. Oh, you're real blurry. I can't see you. You need to make that face, day one. Opening and stuff nonstop. Them? Something's wrong with your microphone, Miss Becky. And J1's internet is very uh oh, J quality. there's J1 back. Uh -oh. Too late. You usually Am have okay? a very clear picture, buddy. It's uh, well, I might need to reset my router. We had storms coming through. All right, ah, so okay, you're gonna get the cameo, this better, and the first appearance. Yes, it is, Miss Becky. J1, you are uh, we're not seeing anything, uh, buddy. Oh, there we go. Okay, we see it now. Barely. Yeah. Yeah, Barely. you're, you're freezing. Yeah. We're, we're catching like one out of every 200 frames. Shit. I, I, think we better let, I think we better let Cuz reset things. Let me reset and I'll come right back. Okay. Let's take a turn and then I'll come right after. Very good, very good. Okay. Um. Oh, I see I've got my other camera on, which is like Zoomed in way too tight. Let me see if I can change it. Can't see your room. He was like this. He was like this for a minute. And so he took him down. 
I could actually, you had it close enough, I could read the books on the board. I can't usually do that. Wow, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, why is it not letting me get to, I have three cameras. It's only letting me go to two of them. Yeah, now I can't read anything. <laughs> oh, that, one's, that one's not anywhere near as good. Now I can see your ear. Well, I guess I'll figure that out. At any rate, right, we're, we're going to run with it. We're going to run with it. Um, um, I got a pop culture power show giveaway for the comic convention that we're doing here at the end of the month. Um, got to follow power shows on Instagram and Facebook and IG it to me. And uh, let me change my scrolling banner here. Oh, oh thanks, Pop. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with a $1 starting bid myself. So we'll go ahead and start that. I have a Captain America, Silver Age Captain America, issue number 112. This has another retelling of his origin. There's a lot of origin retellings. It was like one of the greatest stories Marvel ever came up with, how the capsicle, as they call him, old capsicle. Hey, Wolf Blitz is here. Um, but nice, nice uh, page color on this one. Silver Age Captain America 112. And what I love about this cover is you basically have his rogues gallery. You know, yep. you, got, you got the beekeeper guy in the back. Uh, you got old Fu Manchu, the Red Skull, Baron Zemo. I can't ever remember. What's his name, Mr. Jackal? He was in the Masters of Evil. What you got here? Oh, um... He was in the Masters of Evil. Didn't he ride a horse around? Maybe not. Oh, I, Count the Fury? No, I, I, I can't remember. I think that's the Melter in there. With the, I bet you T Pain knows who it is. I, I went totally blank. I know the character. I can't think of his name right off the top of my okay. head, though. No. Most of these are because the, that's the Swordsman, right? You got the guy from AIM. Um, yes, Red Soul. I feel like I should know because he was in tons of Tales of Suspense issues. Yep. This guy right here. He was in the Masters of Evil. Looks like Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. Man, that is a load of villains there. Now, the Wrecker had a crowbar and he came in and journey into mystery. So I should start my own timer here. No love for the Silver Age Captain America. Well, I may have to switch gears here then, huh? You got a buck bid from Cheryl Yates. Sees a deal when he sees, knows a deal when he sees one. He surely does. He surely does. I got it. Silver Age Captain America can't get any traction in this world. What's the world coming to? What's the world coming to? Look at the back on this. Come on. Now we're getting a little traction. It's in the Mylar. I got you in the Mylar. My good buddy custodian Ken there, huh? Colt's in here. 15 there. Yeah, now it's starting to move. People finally realized what it was, yep. unfortunately. <laughs> I'm about to start betting. No, no, I'm not going to do it. Well, they might have might might Googled what one of these goes for. That That's very true. But uh, we got Falcon and the Winter Soldier coming up. So Captain America is going to be hot again very soon. Hopefully it's a little bit better story than some of Marvel's recent projects. But I did hear that they are uh, making some changes to... Uh... I think part of it is they were, they're just too, too quickly trying to crank stuff out. And I think they need to spend a little bit more time... Uh, on the writing end, writing some better stories, I think. 
Yeah. Good health. Um, Mr. Tall Pickens in the twenty eight. Our good buddy Tall. Our good buddy Tall. Let's see here. Looks like it's going to be a night for deals, judging by yeah. how my lot went. But that's okay. We like to. We're here to give some deals. We're here to give everybody what they want. All right. Well, let me let me see if I can't sweeten the pot here. Let's see if I can't sweeten the pot here. Um. Yeah. Let's do these two. So at. Looks like uh, Talt beat you, beat you out there, Miss Becky, just by a hair. At $50, I will throw in the next two books. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to bite the bullet here for the, for the good of the cause. Um, super high-grade copy of... Uh, Sure, Cap. I'll pull it down. We'll have a look on it. It's a it's a five to a five five, um, which is incredible for early Strange Tales. I marked that book down from 180 to 150 for this show. I love this one because it's like the Council of Red Skulls. You know, we had the Council of Kangs. Here you get the Council of the Red Skulls. The newsstand. I'll put this one in, and I'll put the Coney Island Battle. Both of these are super high grade, 240 and 227. I'll, I'll, I'll stick to my guns. I said I'd put these in at 250. I will put these in at, or I'm sorry, $50. I'll put these in at $50, like I said. The Council of Red Skulls. So you're paying $5 a book for these in high grade. Okay, Tall. Uh, all right, I got you, Cap. I got you, Cap. That's a hell of a good deal, buddy. Yeah. And uh, I'll pull it down so you can have a closer look at it. All right, I'll run me a, a, a one minute, one minute uh, clock here for Miss Becky, who's in at fifty. You'll get all three books here. Um, gorgeous Silver Age Captain America. Oh, we forgot about Bat Rock the Leaper, which you know I still think that. Uh, Captain America Winter Soldier and Civil War were like two of the best movies Marvel ever did. That Winter Soldier was so good. When he goes on the, the aircraft carrier and fights Bat Rock on the deck. Okay, Tulp's back in at 55. That'll reset the clock here for us. We're all collectors here. We're all collectors here. Most of us just do this for the love of the game. Uh, I've got a regular day job like most everybody else, and uh, I just do this because I like talking comics. And uh, flipping comics, we're all collectors here. Yeah, that's me. I do it for the fun of it. But I hear you. I understand. I understand. Uh, I hear you, buddy. But I didn't see you bid either, so. You could always outbid them. That's true. You can always outbid them. You can always put a bid in. Kind of easier to take it seriously when you're bidding. Thank you. Thank you. Top Fiction gets the win. My good buddy, Top. Got you 55, buddy. Did well on that one. A silver age cap and then some bronzies in there. Coppers, bronze, bronze, bronzies. Don't let him kid you. Custodian Ken is a maintenance engineer. <laughs> okay. You're using an unneeded F. <laughs> All right, we're back to uh we're back to Mr. J1 who was gonna have a starting bid of one dollar. So I will put that we still what Still doing that? Yeah, yeah. Are we good now, though? 
Yeah, you look yeah, great. You're real good now. All oh, right. Yeah. I, I, just my motor. I just wanted to make oh sure. God. That's so because good. I know. All right. <laughs> T Pain, can you run this round? I gotta I gotta step out for a quick second. Uh All yeah, right. I'll try. This is of the movie character, this is probably my favorite character that has come out. I, I never read these comics, so I don't know much about them. But character-wise in the movie, I absolutely loved her. This is New X-Men number 114, cover A. Apparently she has a small cameo in here. Yep. And then we have her first appearance right here in New X-Men number 115. First full appearance <laughs> of... Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Warhead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, I loved that character. I mean, she was awesome. She was good. She was really yes. good. Like, she, like, and, and she matured so much in between the first Deadpool and the second Deadpool that you're like, is this a different person almost? But, no. Yeah, so let's, good. Let's be real. It takes it takes some chops to keep up with Ryan Reynolds on screen. And I, and oh, I no joke. did a great job doing that. And... So, and then the first appearance, honest to goodness, guys, this is a, a, a beautiful, high grade, no ticks. Can you highlight bids, T Pain? Or, or? No, I can't. Oh, okay. Can you highlight bids, Pop? Pop can. Okay, all right. I'll be right back. <laughs> I would, I would. Bids, man. Yeah, these are both near mint, near mint plus. So. You can't really I didn't realize it. that was her first appearance, but that that's a nice nice one to have because I'll bet money she's back in the next movie. Oh, she ain't going nowhere. I mean, she's no, not. she's she's gonna be there. There we go. So we got the first full first cameo of Negasonic Teenage Warhead, and we're gonna we're, I'm gonna do some you know some fun stuff tonight, like. First Big Hero 6. Oh, that's sweet. Beautiful high-grade copy. I mean, we're going to do some fun stuff tonight. And, and I, I, I can't come on without doing old stuff, too. So nope. we got some beautiful Marvel superheroes and some other Silver Age stuff. Why would we give him shit, Papa? Because you do that kind of junk all the time. I mean, you never really know. But y'all gonna let me lose this for five dollars? Oh man, y'all don't have to bid. It's been kind of slow, uh, uh, getting bids. I mean, stuff selling, but like I said, the first lot. I sold was a heck of a deal, and MT just had a, a real deal too. But you know, it's okay. Yeah, at first and it's still sold. scrolling. It's still scrolling MT's uh, information. Oh, it is. Yeah. Do you guys know how to switch it? Pop should. I can. Pops, pop. MT's got control. We're in trouble. <laughs> Opposite What's up? What to do? Ah, oh, come on. Pop could land to 747. There he goes. That's a good job, Pop. There you Woo! go. Are you Nailed it. Hi, Kip. Daryl. Pop Dixon. Lily Wonka. Lily Wonka's always in here. Let me show you a real beauty here. Reminds me of something. I got to do something. This will be on the uh, the whale. Ooh. I know somebody might need that just here if he hangs around. Ain't that right? What to do? Well, this is going to be for the whale auction. Oh, when's that? One week. Because of that. Tonight. Oh. Whale auction. Oh. One night. For one week from tonight. Whale auction. What is a whale you auction? Nice, nice uh, Jack Kirby uh, sig there. Big, big books. Ooh. 
minimum starting bid a hundred bucks. Yep. Oh, now I remember. Yeah. I sent her you all call it up. We're putting some biggies up. Um, oh and, yeah. Uh, we're going to try to do that more frequently. Um, now that we're working on Saturday nights when Papa's not. So, well, I'm going to do mine. Uh, so I'm doing Holy F and Friday on the second Friday of April. Okay. So if you guys want to work around, we I'll I'll work with y'all so we don't have them going at the same time or in the, within like the same week or two. Yeah, but, we'll do that. I only do mine like quarterly, so. Or what's that? Your freaking Friday or whatever it was that you called it. Yeah, my my holy F and Friday. Yeah, what's that? That's my that's my big comic auction. The, yep. Yeah, the Madhouse. I couldn't even get in the last time. Yeah, I did the first one with them. There, did the, the the line the line to get in? Yeah, is ridiculous. I was just gonna say, how do I get in? <laughs> Sign up, and I put your name on the list. And when it comes up, I give you a holler. Okay. You tell me to how much honest. you have to have with me before I do it. Seventeen dollars. <laughs> Come on, guys. Give me to twenty so I feel good about this. Our, ours is um, the eighteenth, because uh, so yeah, we'll be at least several weeks off yours. So twenty is like a very reasonable price for a minty one of these. These things in nine sixes sell for a hundred bucks. I mean, what do you think the likelihood we're gonna see teenage warhead in Deadpool three? I'd have to say that's pretty doggone high. I, yeah, I mean, like, honest to God, there's and, and Yuki. That's the next one I want. I want to get. I want to get Yuki's first appearance. I have one of these minties in my PC, but I don't have a. I don't have Yuki's first appearance. J one just out of flat curiosity. What are you going to ask for that demon with that Kirby signature? I'm. It's. I'm probably going to start it at three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I. I, I want to start everything at good prizes, and let the market dictate. Well, I'll tell you right now, you starting a Jack Kirby sign book at three bucks uh, at three hundred. That that's hey, a very fair good? price. Yeah. All right, we got one minute left on the clock here. One minute left. Miss Becky's in the lead at twenty five. What the deuce is here? It looks like Willy Wonka is making chocolate pie, so he's inviting everybody over for chocolate pie. Sounds like. Hey, I don't know how to take that. <laughs> <laughs> many people have been sick it just, it can't take that the right way now, it's, now it looks better alright uh, 30 seconds left 25 seconds left sorry 25 seconds left Back did you T-Pain did you see the ASM 30 that Edwin got out of me the other day I missed that Dude, it looks like it just came off the shelf. Like, uh, like it looks like it sat on a shelf for about a year, and people would pick it up and set it back down here and there. But that's oh. about how nice it is. Dang. Every bit of the gloss is still on it. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. How the ESM <laughs> books are just getting so much harder to find. Oh, well, they really are. Mm-hmm. All right, we are uh, headed over to Keep Pain. Keep Pain, hey, hey. of course, buddy. Um. Ah, help! He's got a boner. Ah, get off me, partner! Ah. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Don't forget to uh, give me your your starting bid before you show the book. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna start the lot out at five. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm doing a builder lot. Every five bucks, a book comes in. I found a lot of books today that they're bronze, early bronze, and bronze, but they're Charlton cartoon books, most of them. There are some superheroes in there, but I'm starting them out. Five bucks. This is Flintstones and Pebbles, number 31, from 1974. I mean, they're mid-grade books. 
some a little better, but for five bucks, and it's a builder. Every five bucks, another book will come in, and I've got a stack. And also, for buy it now, if anybody is still looking for this book, yeah, there you go. I have a couple copies of them for fifteen a piece that are non-red copies. Yeah, that's the second print that has the wraparound cover. Yep. It shows the first black infinity stone on Thor's uh, hammer that he steals. But I've got two of those if anybody's interested. But yeah, we're going to do five bucks, like I said, and they're all... I'll just go through them and show you. you got Flintstones and Pebbles 37. Uh, Flintstones and Pebbles 43. Uh, Flintstones and Pebbles number 48. Oh, Papa's in 25, so that's five, the first five books. Oh, you like the next one, Papa. It's Top Comics, which you don't see a lot oh, of. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, Yogi Bear goes to college. I mean, and, a lot of those old Yogi Bear books go for big bucks, especially yeah. the Barbera ones. All these are in right now. Papa's got Mr. Me in. Lester, fisted sister. The next one that comes in, and it's actually, oh, it's one of the nicer books. Yogi Bear number four. No, just certain ones who say. Golden age. So you want a marble gold? That's next. Because in Yogi Bear 4. Oh, you're going 4. Okay. Uh, 30. We're on a clicking more here. You got, you're going to highlight bid spot. Go ahead. Yep. That's 35 right there. That brings in Yogi Bear number 5. And 40 brings in Yogi Bear 26. Him with the pick a nickel basket. Yep. Hey, boo boo. Every, every, uh, all you panelists check the private chat when you get a minute. And the next one that'll come in is Yogi Bear 31, then Yogi Bear 32, Yogi <laughs> Bear 34, then this is a great one. Flintstones and Pebbles, number six. Got Dino on there. Then we get into some stuff, buddy. I've got Speed Buggy. Oh, Speed Buggy. I loved that. That's about 1974. Yep. Popeye the Sailor. I'm one tough gazookus who Tiger. hates all palookas who ain't on the up and square. I biffs them and boffs them. <laughs> and then we and get in. Always some... out roughs them and nobody gets nowhere. Uh, Miss Becky, you put your steel. bid in the private and... chat and not in the regular chat. And then we got Flash Gordon. There's a Flash Gordon in there. there There's it is. The Thunderbolts. That's fine, Pop. I just didn't want to double click. Oh, five more that I'll put in that other book that I'll put in. Yogi Bear 31. What's well, some good stuff, TP? Yeah, well. All right, we got a minute left. Why don't you recap what's in this lot, buddy? Okay, I'm going to show what's in right now. This is what's in right now. We've got Yogi Bear 31. Yep. Yogi Bear. 26. That one is number five. Number four. Yogi Bear goes to college. Top comics. Top comics, yep. Then we've got uh, Flintstones and Pebbles, number 48. 43. 
37. 31. And that's the lot as of right now. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna run a one minute, uh, one one minute timer here. One minute. Papa, I just, Papa, I just wanted to give you an answer. <laughs> oh, what the deuce is in at sixty? Yep, that's three more books. So I'm gonna throw in Yogi Bear thirty four, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the Flintstones and Pebbles number six, and the next one that comes up in the stack. It's Speed Buggy. Oh, I love right. yeah, there's a good one. I love Speed Buggy too. I remember watching that on Saturday morning. I've got a number one over in the box that I've got stuck up for myself. The old Dune Buggy. <laughs> That's what we got right now. Uh okay, thirty seconds left on the overtime. Looks clock. like what the deuce is getting him a dandy, dandy lot. Yep. Yeah, there's always a wide market uh, for these cartoon old Hanna Barbera cartoons. Charlton's great stuff anyway, and he's got a few in there that are not Charlton. Yeah, that Top Comics one is not. Even yeah, the Top one. Comics it, and yeah. it's uh, that's got to be in the Comics. 60, if I'm not mistaken, they were like a giveaway book. Okay, that's the timer. That is the timer. Mr. What the Deuce taking it to the house. And end line is coming down. End line is coming down. If anybody's interested in the Thunderbolts, Flash Gordon, the Phantom, Timmy the Timmy Ghost, Tiger, and Popeye, hit me up on IG. There you go. There you go. His IG's at the bottom. Hit him up, hit him up, hit him up. All right, Miss Becky, we are going to you next. Probably have the smartest thing to do, but yeah, you can come on. Over. Well, I didn't pick the order. You have to take it up with Paul. I know. <laughs> hey, come on in. Don't forget to get me your yeah. starting bid before you show the books. I will. Please. I will. I'm going to do a buy it now. That's fine. I have um, Dean Koontz Frankenstein 1 through 5. It's a complete set. I'm going to do it for. Uh, what do you have? Show people the books. That was a book. That's. So buy it now, five dollars a book. It's Dean Koontz. Whoever goes reading knows it. It says Frankenstein comic book. One, beautiful shape. Two, three, four, and five. All right. Thanks for being with us, Willy Wonka. So, what was the bid on that? Forty-five. Yeah, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty-five dollar. Buy it now for the Frankenstein. Look how good I did that. So that's for the set. Best fine slide ever. Thank you. Make sure you tell uh, what's the face about it. Yeah. Who, hey, yeah. What, what do, the, what do the names? Show? Here's here's the tri trivia equation. What do the names? Victor, hey, Faust is here. Hey, Faust. What do the names Victor, Ludwig, Wolf, and Friedrich have in common? They're all German. Um, somebody who, out, somebody out there. Knows. Out there, has got to know. Come on. <laughs> what you know? They're all Rhineland Germans. Hit that like button. Tate did say he's gonna give you it. guys are no fun. Then, what was it? I don't know. Well, you were just holding those books in your hand. They're all Frankenstein's. All Frankenstein's. Oh. Okay, I got the go. granddaddy of them all was Victor. Victor. And then his two sons were Ludwig and Wolf. And then Friedrich was in Young Frankenstein. He was Friedrich Frankenstein. All right. We got a starting uh, bid. Not yet. One second. Okay. Really quick. Let's get up there to that Tate Prime giveaway. Only I'm 15 this, more likes. I'm going to start at... I'll start this at 10. Ten dollars not me. Ten dollars not me. Two books. I have Dracula Lives, The Tomb of Dracula, Marvel Comics. It's the fix. Ooh. Ooh la la. Family edition. Frankenstein. Exclusive by Bajorn Barons. 
Okay, so that's the reprint. And the Virgin. And the Virgin exclusive. Uh, it looks like that's a limited print run. 1,000 prints for this one. And there's a... Hey, Sam is here. Thanks. Uh, good to see you, Sam. Thanks for showing good up. Good to see old buddy, Sam. Sam? Yes, sir. Ten dollars starting bid for this um, Dracula lot here. That's got the Virgin limited variant. Two of Dracula number one and the ex the very exclusive Virgin limited to one hundred or one thousand copies. Hold them a little bit to your right. There they are. There they are. Front and center. I look over at the other one where I'm trying to keep track of the chat. I still see T Pain up there, some folks. <laughs> Told me the flag is. <laughs> uh oh, I got my Girl Scout cookies delivered today. Oh, why is nobody coming to sell food Girl Scout cookies where I live? It's so not fair. Hi, Sands. It's Frank and Steen. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. But this is this is Dracula. Dracula. This is Dracula. Right. The uh he comes from Transylvania. He took yeah. your blood. He Who saved all, all of Christendom from the uh Ottoman Turks. I was working. And then he what? Killed them all? Late one night, uh, when my eyes beheld. Put them all up on stakes. stakes. And, uh, yeah. Basically, that's where he got the name. Vlad the way. Impaler. Yep, Vlad the Impaler. Yep, Vlad the Impaler. <laughs> Abby Normal. Abby Normal, that's right. Yep, Abby Normal. I love that movie. And I never knew who he was married to. Until she died. I mean, I never knew those two were married. Yeah, they're all, just about all are gone from. Uh, Rose 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 I'd have to think that that Virgin Rose. variant, that Virgin variant's got to be a pretty pricey book, I would oh, think. It, yeah, I took 10 bucks up there. I said, I'm so stupid. And it's got to see what it is. Right? to get them interested in something. They don't understand what? how he's called. You want to you wanna show them the COA there, Miss Becky? What yeah. title is that, Miss Becky? It's two this Dracula. Is, is that the tomb? This yep. is Dracula lives the tomb of Dracula, the night of vampire, like vamp, vamp, the night of the vampire, and it's a New York Comic Con exclusive, the tomb of Dracula one, facsimile edition, Marvel Comics limited print of one thousand virgin covers by Bajoran Baron. This is the one that's limited to one thousand, and this is the trade. New York Comic Con, New York Comic Con exclusive. That goes without saying, Talk Fiction. That's buddy. a beautiful cover on that book. I know. Yep, there's a New York Comic Con. You don't have to take it from a 10 notch. Trust me. If you get this, you'll be making a lot of money off of it. Yeah, because those exclusive, version exclusive yeah. at a show is like 20, 30 bucks minimum. Plus, you have the trade. Matter of fact, the last show I went to, the only reason I went was to pick up exclusives. Yeah. Just from the different uh, yeah. publishers. Yeah. Because I knew Xenoscope was going to be down there, and they always put out books specific for the con. Yeah. You need, you need an appropriate song to help sell these books. And okay, Mr. Lister's yeah, Fisted Sisters in an 11. Let's do the monster okay. match. Are okay. you going to let that stand, Nosh? Oh, no, Nosh is coming back at 12. Nosh is back uh -huh. at 12. What do you say there, Mr. Lister? Not, not oh, Mr. Roman Curtis in the house. I wow, know. all right. It's good to see Mr. Roman. And you want to tell people what these are, Roman? New York Comic Con exclusive we got going on here. Virgin variant limited to 1,000, Mr. Roman Curtis. He is a Dracula fan for sure. Oh, okay. He's Dracula. All right. I'm going to do like Paul does. 
Okay, Noshead comes back at 14, and then Mr. Lister's <laughs> back at 15. What do you say there, Mr. Rome Curtis? There you go. What the deuce, the deuce the appears out of nowhere. He dropped the deuce. Say, that's right up his What's alley. What's a deuce? 20? 25 to the uh, deuce. Uh, background, that's what. I was what do you there, Rome in Curtis? the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. My monster on the slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he played us the mash. He did the monster mash. I know, when we see it, why he's it, it was a graveyard smash. graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The Roman Curtis comes back at 26. What is so funny about that, Edwin, is I've had to listen to that song three Nothing times wrong. today. That is, oh, I, that's one it. of the best Ed, ever. Water and books in his hands. Very seldom do I ever see him with a wine or anything. Dude's I know it's back in 27. But, he, but to be closing his eyes and singing and having his wine right there kind of going with the beat. I'm going to get Harry to get me a glass of wine. You want to see a funny show? Have me drink a little. Papa, you want me to drink? Wine and comics is a dangerous comment. Okay, so that's that's the time where we're gonna go to a one minute overtime clock. Okay, Y'all want to see the price of my um, slab? What um, is in the lead? Roman Curtis, are you gonna let him walk away for a one dollar? That's the price the of just this. Yeah. That is the price of just this this oh yeah you're getting a good price yeah it's not a cheap book i mean not a cheap book <laughs> dude you're killing me <laughs> how have you been roman did he say how he's been because i haven't seen him well, hopefully he's doing food. well uh, i'm sure he's in the middle of treatment still okay okay mr roman curtis bows out we're gonna let the timer run out 20 seconds left no, Deuce is in the lead. I can't believe it's going to go for that. But I'm very happy for you. The Deuce is loose. Deuce, love it. They're beautiful. When you see the shape these are in, you're going to say, how oh, Becky, oh, those are really nice. Yes, books. Becky, I was going to tell you. I got my two books that I got from you. They yeah. came in this week, and they are beautiful. Okay, okay well, that's the timer. timer. That is the timer. That Jamie Tinsdale one go. in the PC collection. Right after I got it, that and, and the Lady Death did too, because those those are beautiful books. Well, I'm glad you like them. All right, so this is going to what the deuce? What the deuce? Okay, Mr. Thank Jack. You, deuce, and thank you guys. It was fun. I'll be back with something. Thank you, Miss Becky. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to the wino himself. <laughs> Take it away. Oh, am I up again already? I'm, I is. lost track of the turns here. Uh, yeah, you're okay. up again. You're up again. Just that All quick. right, I'm up again. All oh, right. Last J1. Or is he going last now? Well, I'm going by the list I was given. Okay. Okay. Bye, J1. Apparently, you're uh, oh, the whole board. The whole board up here, 10 bucks per book. There are um, lots of bronze goodies up there. Including uh, three cap Mark jewelers, two Conan Mark jewelers. So I know that Superman bottom right has a first. I know what it is. That is the coolest cover I have ever seen, and it's a high grade. But that's a first appearance. That's a key book. Which one? Bottom right the lizard hand. guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to remember what it is. What issue numbers again? I know it. I know it just from the cover. That is issue number uh, 366. Okay, what's, I'm back. What's the issue number and the grade on that Daredevil? Uh, I've got three Daredevils. Yeah, which top, one? top right. 5 0. What's and, the number? Uh, it is number uh, 93. 93. Where okay. he's got uh, Natasha there and. Uh, these other ones are Miller's. I believe these two are Miller, uh, 174 and 190. Yep. Um, this is a first smasher or whatever. Like I said, these are Mark Jewelers. 
here and these two conans are marked jewelers so all right let's proceed with the oh, let's oh it's I'm... got the mcfarland that has the mcfarland fan letter in it is that That's right su that superman has we're missing uh we're missing the uh, uh bins here let's see who we got um custodian ken first on superman Um, no, that's not what I see. I see Papa Willie says bin 10. Oh, Super okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I saw okay. that wrong. All right, so, so okay. We'll do, we'll, this one, we'll do this one. Of the, oh, he says give it to Ken. Okay, so. Okay, custodian Ken. All right. Good, good custodian Ken down. And then the good captain. Yes. Ready? The good, good captain, captain wants the Conan and Paladin. The, so the Marvel premiere, the Marvel premiere, and the two Conans. Not bad, Mark Jewelers for ten bucks a piece. Oh, Kevin. those were Mark Jewelers. Dang. Yeah, absolutely. And he wanted the Paladin, right? Yeah, that is a not an easy one to find. Okay, so I got those for Cap, and then I'll. Get into the okay, Cap R. Got him. All right, let's see. This uh, what I'm right, gonna let's do. keep going here. We got more. Let's stick with it here. Roman okay. Curtis wants to be in the Daredevil 93. Roman Daredevil 30. 93. Roman in Curtis. The Daredevil 93. Hmm. Got okay. From Roman, I've got a uh, box for Roman with three or four books in it. Okay, and Custodian Ken is going wants you to send that book that he just been to Papa, but he will pay for it. the Superman book, the very first book. I thought Pop just gave it up to him. Well, Custodian Ken is going to pay for it, and I want you to send it to Pop. Okay. Wow. All right. Now. Excellent. All right, and let's see. We got, what more, did... we got more coming here. I think Captain Ramius is back in there, right? Yep. Then we're going to Cap wants a Daredevil and the Black Widow, which I think it's already gone. gone. Yeah. And then that should be it. And I'll give me your starting bid for your yes. auction spot here. All right. This is going to be a builder. And uh, I'm going to start it at, uh, I'm going to start it at 25 bucks. I have some old and goodies here, higher grade, nice um, old books, late silver, early bronze. I had 45 on this book. We're starting it at 25. This is a very nice, uh, incredible Hulk 124.70 with a beautiful cover. Look at that cover with the red rhino and stuff. So if this one comes in, I've got plenty more to follow. All right. And then you've got a claim on the Daredevil third from left on the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's that key issue with the uh, uh, Electra on the cover. Yep. High grade. Custodian. Okay. I don't want to. Oh, thanks, Tom. Custodian Ken got that one. Okay, now back to these. Surely we've got a Hulk person in here because, like I said, check Don't on this me, book. Shirley. Yes, I had this book. Like I said, I had this book <laughs> priced low at forty-five. The Wrath of the Rhino. So, okay, so this is what issue number one twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yeah, it's a it's a, a late silver, early bronze book you know because these started over at 102 yeah yeah got that. Still then so after weird. that this would be the next one coming in which is mm -hmm. 127 yeah. also yeah. a very nice book with the mongrel we can just keep going like i said if we get it started there is a really pretty uh 146 wow tearing a tank apart then we can go to uh tales to uh, astonish
Yeah, tails to astonish. Where what are we? Where are we at? At twenty five dollars? No word. Book. Right. Just if somebody. Look. That's just one book. At twenty five. All right. So we don't. I don't want to. What does it take to get the second book in? Uh forty. Okay, Miss Beckett's in. Got twenty five for issue number one twenty four, and then so if for fifteen more dollars, you're going to get what book? This book. Excuse me. Nope. Excuse me. Excuse me. I got them mixed up here. Yep. Always do this. Yeah. There it is. And so, it is a dandy, and it was twenty five. Yeah, I love the artwork. On and I priced really all these cool. well below um, guide prices anyway. I just guess we don't have any big Hulk fans in here tonight. Well, you don't know that. Keep talking them up. No, you got one. He's just tight with his money over there that's hosting the show. Oh, yeah. Well, MT has just, just about finished his run of Incredible Hulk. So. Okay. I have got. But yeah, we. I mean, we have some people that went to go big time for Hulk. So, I'm just. Uh, I've been selling off my extra copies here recently because I've just about got my run filled. Yeah, we got. Um, Miss Becky's in at forty. All right, let's talk about that third book. Okay, that we will. Let's talk about that third book. What's it take to I'm get going to it right it. now? This is a, a nice seven O copy of um, early early twenty center that puts it in about the nineteen seventy one range, but you can see it's nice brown cover which is kind of odd, and it was uh, thirty. It goes in at uh, fifty five. I'm doing these at half price. Okay, make sure you're showing the books that are already in this lot here. Yes, yes, of course. So that's what we're not These saying. are already, I mean, like I said, on any given day, that book might have brought the total I'm asking right now. But these two are in. These two early. Uh, yeah, the early, picture early box. Wrong, yeah. Right. And and this this one one those are really eight. cool issues. And this one comes in at 55. 55, so the third one comes in. That's a steal, half price. Fact, I'm pretty sure I sold it that book. And you know I'm probably losing big time. <laughs> I don't well, remember the, where I, I got these. No, nah, the third book is the one I sold you. Those first two I didn't sell you those. But the okay. last one I'm pretty sure I sold you that one. It's part of a big lot. Okay, well Mr. Becky's the only bidder. That's where no we're bitter. at. I'm, all right, so much for Hulk tonight. All right, Miss Becky, I think you did rather good on those. Yep, you did just thank you fun. for thank you for bidding. Thank you. So and thank all you people who bend books. And let's right, we're, we're move it on. Where's I'm right here. Where's where your here? Ball? All right, I got your banner. Okay. All right. You got a, got a few bit, good sir? So if you yep. buy it now, it's here. Okay. And my auction, I'll start at five dollars, and it'll be uh, five dollars after each book. Builder, gotcha. Yeah. So these are going to be. Well, all right. So I got a minty web of Spider-Man number one. It is a direct, but ten dollar buy now. Love Spider Man number one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Undervalued. Oh, super villain. Super villain team up number one. It's a little bit of a beater. Spine's got quite a bit, but the, the colors and everything else still pop real nice on this one. This is a $15 buy now. Fantastic run. Fantastic run that, that super villain team up. Inhumans number one. Um, yeah actually really really nice copy but uh i'll do that one for 30. then Good i have last tar. juggernaut number one this is the miko swion black reflection issue 
as you can see, you got the reflection of the Hulk in the Juggernaut's helmet. They're getting ready to try to punch each other out. But for uh, this is going to be a fifteen dollar buy now because you're not going to get just this. I'm going to throw in good video on one of the one of the more rare Chadwick Bosemans. Hey, um, Ty Salazar here. What's happening? Good to see you, buddy. You get Juggernaut number one. Tater Aid wants the Juggy. That's yours. So that's Tate for fifteen. Yep, I see that. I see uh, the wife must have lost the battle about the shave and face. Huh? No, I have to. Um, I have to shave. Uh, what is today? The eleventh. I I can grow for twelve more days, and I got to shave again. For for our anniversary. I see. <laughs> and then, um, oh, here's one more. So you're gonna get the first and the second comic yeah. book appearance of Star Lord. Tate also wants to bin the uh, Web of Spider-Man number one. Web of yeah, that's a great pickup. Is this the auction lot? We're still doing bins. This is this is the last bin. Okay. All right. This is a sixty dollar bin. You're gonna get Marvel Spotlight on Star Lord six and seven. First and second appearance in comics. Uh, that issue seven is a really cool comic. And it's and it's a this is absolutely gorgeous and i will tell you this about um issue number six half of those were printed with the wrong colors and yep. they way off and that's actually the better of the two printings um the other ones have the colors are screwed up and they're much lighter but that's a very strong cover but very here you get first and second you have uh star lord yeah, you did Oh, sorry, J1. Go ahead. No, you're good. You can get first and second appearance of Star Lord in comics for sixty dollars buy now. All right, let me grab the web for okay, also. All right, now the auction. Let's see if we have any Marvel DC fans. Marvel DC. Well, that should be most of the viewing audience. Right. This is going to be a nice builder, okay? So this is the only one that the $5 bid is the cover price. <laughs> this is Stan Lee's Just Imagine Secret Files and Origins, number one. This is basically a what-if series where it, what if Stan Lee, or Just Imagine Stan Lee, created these stories uh we're going to start right here with secret files and origins number one at five dollars that's the cover price of this one not a, not another one of them is cover price of five dollars so you're going to get it for less than cover price if you get it all in next issue in at 10 is aquaman i love how they mute they basically mutinated them Right? Mutation. Yeah. So that comes in at 10. <coughs> Shazam comes in at 15. So we got 10. So now we got both of those in. Okay, Miss Becky's in at 10. So Shazam comes in at 15. Uh, Captain Remus will bin the Star Lords. Will bin the Star Lords. All right, those are yours, my friend. Goes there. And then old Taterade slaps back at 15. Those were 60. Okay. Pop, can you highlight the bids for a second? All right. So at 20, we get Green Lantern. <laughs> we're, 
We're getting to the good ones, I promise, guys. I promise. Not that these aren't actually pretty damn good stories, but <laughs> I know which ones you want. <laughs> yep. So $20 brings in Green Lantern. We have 20. At 25, you get Crisis. And I do believe this is a ratio one. Because the other one I saw of this cover was colored. But that comes in at 25. Okay, we got a minute, 30 seconds left on this lot before we get to overtime. 30 gets you Sandman. Yeah, Tate, they're, ban they're brand new, basically, brother. The man of the sand. They are, they're honest to goodness, like, basically brand new. Okay, Miss Becky comes back. Tate goes to 25, but then Miss Becky comes right back at 30. All right, so let's now... Get 10, let's get 10 more likes to get that giveaway. So now we've got Creating Crisis and Sandman. Now, one of my favorites... Catwoman. Felicia. Bye, Felicia. That's a pretty, uh, or is that pretty Selena nice uh, Catwoman right there? That comes in at 35. It must be Selena Kyle. All right, Tater Aid's in at 35. We got 10 seconds left on regular. We're about ready to go into overtime. At 40, we get the flash. And please do not ask me why he has a rainbow following him. Or why it's a female instead of a male. I, I, I can deal with that. Oh, okay. More so. I think that's a copyright infringement on the Rainbow of Asgard, right? Or the uh, or the uh, um, what is it? The power power pack? Yes, power pack. And then, last but not least, at forty-five, all in, Batman. Batman. Look at that. Look at Joe Kubair art right there. Batman is in at 40. That resets the clock. Batman. 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 Reset the clock again. Those are all in. So, uh, Miss Becky, Tate just beat you out on the stream yard. BS, no Superman. Okay. Okay. You guys just missed. Stan Lee does not like Superman, though. Because of that um, Captain Marvel lawsuit. This was the other one. This has already been sold, but I figure why not? I'll just show it. This is Wonder Woman, but it's signed by Jim Lee, Stan Lee, Scott Williams, Alex Sinclair, and Adam Hughes. Thought I thought I'd uh, share that. That was a that was a uh, oh my god moment. 
That's what I got that one. <laughs> okay. That goes to Tate. Thank you, Mr. Tate. It's a deal. All right, 65. All right. All right, give me your ID. All right. Okay. Deal. Here we go. One more. You know what? You beat me. All right, 375. Tate, you'll love him, brother. Okay. I'm not going to get used to this camera being. Um. Um. I can do Masters of the Universe, or oh, there's been a lot of Dracula monster books tonight. I got a really good score today um, from my buddy. I know Mr. Jackal is interested in this book. Maybe I'll just put this one up. All right. I, uh, I'll put my starting bid here in. Let's hit a function button. Oh, before I do that, before I do that. Cat bought this Strange Tales issue number 77, The Return of Taboo. This is a 10 cent curtain monster book. Absolute gorgeous. It is so hard to get these in anything higher than a VG. So fine issues are, are, are like 8.0s in regular books. Um, but this is a great, great copy of this cap. I just want to make sure you got a chance to see that up close from last round. That's nice. All those monster books, those free hero monster books, Silver Age, are very, very hard to find. Just try to find them, yeah. yeah. Try to find them with the covers attached and all exactly. the covers there. They get chipping real bad. Um, I'm very thankful for the ones that I got. So Dick Ayers did the get, did the coloring and Kirby did the drawings on these. Okay. Let me start my timer here. Oh, come on. Okay, there it goes. All right. Boy. What I have is a Tomb of Dracula, issue number two. And what makes this extra special is it's a National Diamond insert. National Diamond insert. This is the first year of the National Diamond insert, I do believe. Let me double check the date on this. It's the precursor to Mark Jewelers. Right. National wow. Diamonds only ran for two years, two and a half years. Um, yeah, 1972. So this is the first year of the Diamond National insert. And, and it's the far more desirable lingerie one. oh yes yes oh yes and it has uh what magic moments the playmate what's the peekaboo is the other one i think leaping mm -hmm. leotard and uh there it is the peekaboo the peekaboo that's gorgeous dude isn't that cool yeah i have a i have a the iron man 55 of that Ooh. with that same it, it with the lingerie yeah Wow. He, he, he won't pass it, Jared. We need to get nine more likes there, guys. Get the so anyway, um, National Diamonds are few and far between. They're a very low percentage, uh, probably around 3% or less of the entire print count would have uh, an insert in it. And you know what? Um Yeah, I don't see a stamp, uh, star stamp on it. But at any rate, if you want to get it, it's basically the rarity on its own that's uh, that, that makes this worthwhile. So 
So that's Tomb of Dracula number two with the National Diamond insert. I should probably write that on a sticker here. I don't know why that people are not recognizing the value of these books. Uh, people I don't just... necessarily realize how rare National Diamonds are, but there are avid collectors out there for these. I am. Oh, yes, they are. Maybe that'll help. Who stole my car? Oh, Raphael sneaked in to. Good old <laughs> Raph. Good old Raph. Let's see here. He's changing from a bat. Changing from a bat down into Dracula, and he's got some damsel in distress out there. All right, I got about 30 seconds left on this round, gang. 30 seconds left on this National Diamond insert. It is the Peekaboo Lingerie insert. The more desirable of the two National Diamonds. Because the other one was like radio equipment. Uh, or stereo equipment, sorry, stereo equipment. So 72, we are what? Vietnam era, right? We're still in Vietnam in 72, right? Oh, hell yeah. We yes. didn't get out of Vietnam, but we didn't surrender until 75. 75, right. <sighs> yep, my uncle got a big surprise. He had a nephew when he come home. Tomb of Dracula itself is obviously a, uh, a desirable title. And uh, we got one. I'll run a one-minute clock in the overtime here. I don't think I think somebody's tuned back in wants to know about that again. So uh, it's this a, is a tumor. Mark Jeweler or it's a nope. diamond National jeweler. Diamond. National Diamond was the precursor to the Mark Jewelers. Even and this rarer. was given to um this was only sold to military bases. Most of these national diamonds were actually sold in military stores overseas. They this weren't even true. sold in the US. Um so they were your PX stores or your, I can't remember what they were called, the Navy. Um, hey to Jim Campbell. PX. Jim Campbell. PX, PX stores were, were Army, I thought. Um, head to head, Nosh head. Okay. Now they, they used, so PX, BX, and Navy Exchange. Yep, you can see Navy that. Navy Exchange. Overseas, that diamond sales. Yep. So most of these were sold to the guys in Vietnam. Okay, well, that's it. Looks like it's coming down to Raph. Great pickup, Raph. Great pickup. You got yourself a very rare. You certainly did, Raph. I had to. Um, for a song. I had to. Um, for a song, buddy. I had to hold myself back from. <laughs> for a song. Edwin's just too sore still to reach the keyboard very quickly. Uh, I that's think he went and refilled his wine glass. Well, that I'm about ready. <laughs> and I bet you it's helping those muscles relax, ain't it? Oh, yeah, that and the oh, aspirin have oh. helped a lot. Are we drinking tonight, guys? Somebody didn't oh, put the yeah. in. We got another beer. Oh, shit. Sa I've got Saturday a brand night, new home this year. I'm going to get it. That's what we say in the Carolinas. Sat down since Saturday night. Saturday. That's your call there, MT. Um... I, I, I did not get the end line in. That was my fault. And uh, um, I'm sure Raph will be willing to grant me a little bit of uh, reprieve on that. Um, we'll run a one second yeah, clock. Other people noticed that too. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was that was my, my fault. That was my fault. Still, I mean, this is a national diamond insert. Vietnam era, Tuma Dracula number two. You can't go wrong here. No. Can't go wrong here. Hell of a book. He was, he was in under the, the line. Good night, Phil. Uh, good night, Ralph. Hopefully I didn't, didn't run you off. 
Sorry, buddy. It happens. It's an accident. Okay, this time I will definitely. Uh... We'll definitely get the end line in here. All right, Stan, Stan's is going to give it to Raphael because he, he knew it was uh, it, the, the, the line should have been down. He said, let let Raph have it. Raph, you still here? Raphael? We can work it out. I, I will I will offer it to Raph um, if he still wants it. If not, it's going to Sands. It's going to Sands. Uh, that's still a great, that's a steal of a deal. For 50 yeah. That's an incredible deal. Look, even Comic Dog's upset. Now he came in here. Oh, you can't see Comic Dog now that uh, the camera's pointing down. Okay, Boo Boo, you gotta go, buddy. Come, come on, Boo Boo. Go, 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 Boo Boo, go. Okay, we're headed to Mr. Pop himself. Like it so far? Mm-hmm. Everybody's been real nice. Well, that's because you have big jugs. I mean, your boobs are huge. I mean. Okay, I'm sure Mr. Papa Wheelie has himself a pool box. Let me get his banner on here. So, want to show him your uh, pool box deal there, Pop? Yeah, he's got a nice pool box. Four dollars each, six for twenty. You get a dozen for thirty-five. You can get random, or you can get Batman, Wonder Woman box, especially. You gotta drop your starting bid in the in the chat there, homie. You know, there is something people need to realize. There is a lag on StreamYard. That's yeah. why it takes, you know, a lot of places say openly, I'm gonna allow a few seconds for the lag to catch up. Sands was legitimately in on that, and he offered the book up. There shouldn't be any anger involved in it. I don't think there was. I think Raphael... I don't think there is. And he'll, he'll reach out. I mean, Raph has been buying from me for a long time, so I'm sure he'll be okay. He knows I'll make it up to him. Slab building starter starting at $3? Are you kidding I mean, me? if I got burned up on everything I got outbid on, Thirty, maybe. Everybody in this place 30. would hate me. All right. Yeah. If I had punched in thirty, you would have had to honor that. All right, we got a slab builder here. Slab builder. Starting out with Grim number three. Grim number three from Boom Studios, 2022, July of 2022, nine point eight. It looks like David Bowie on the cover there. It does. What's up, Chad? Glad to see you back around, old buddy. <sighs> All right, what's it? What's it take to get the next one in? Are these all thirty dollars a piece? Pop, let us know what it takes to get the next one in. We're only six likes away from the giveaway. Or yeah, seven, yeah, excuse there. me. Six. Six likes to the giveaway. <laughs> Papa's typing in. He's going to let us know what gets this next one in and show it to us. And I believe I know which one it is. He's just going to tease us with it. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a nice book. And season number two is coming out pretty quick. Oh, is this an invincible book? Oh, 80 more. Okay, so at 110, you're going to get an invincible number one, 9.8. Now, hold it up so I can tell exactly what issue this is. That's 
Number one local comic shop day. Yep. Oh, free comic book day? Not free okay. comic book day, local comic shop day. Yeah. Image Skybound uh, from 2020, local comic shop day edition. I know these Invincible comics are red hot. Red yep. hot. Yeah, and that ain't a $30 book. No, it take, you got to get to 110 to get that one in. $30 got the that first more crap in. Yeah. You got to get $80 to get the next one in. So at 110 there the next one comes in. Yeah, I think four it's more like J1. I was going to reach in there and slap him. Four more likes to the giveaway. Steven Spock, you're just going to have to bid a little bit higher than that, buddy. Just a wee bit. Yep. But you might get your chance to put the one dollar in here in a minute, there. But I will tell you this: Invincible Comics, God, they're still even like the regular issue numbers are ten, fifteen dollars a piece. Well, the free is, comic book day number one sells pretty good. And this one is uh, issue number one with the gold foil. Get your bids in there, gang. Get your bids. We got a minute, 30 seconds left on the timer. Minute, 30 left on the timer. Okay, he says all in is 2.30. Let's go ahead and see that last slab. like a spider-man book well the mark knight spider-man even marvel knights spider-man issue number 10 8 8 cool looking venom cover there for the purple spider-man so all in for 230 you get the invincible slab in at 110 but right now we're at 30 dollars for the first slab 110 brings the next one in 230 gets all three the david bowie is in right now for 30. Okay, Bill Becky's taking away the David Bowie. Young line coming down. He did marvelous. Damn! Pick word. Two more likes to the giveaway. Four more? Come on. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. We're getting there. We're getting there. Is it, um, say, did you, uh, did you, um, do yours? T Fang, did you do yours? And do my what? Hit your like button. Yes, I did. Okay, just checking around. See anything? <laughs> Papa, yes, did I did. Hit your like button. I got chewed out for that one night. I forgot. And, and, and Papa kind of chewed me out for that. So I, that's the first thing I do when I get on. Good boy. First thing I do when I get on. All right. Quick words. Uh, Fuck you, Thunder. You can suck my dick. You can't get me Thunder because you're just God's fight. Yep. Well, he's got all this stuff. Thank you to the 20 plus people that are watching. And we're going to have a giveaway here and one more like. I, uh, I'm, I'm gonna let you chat side on this. I've got a, a Bronze Age Marvel, two book lot I can do. I've got a four book 
Silver Age, early bronze, a lot Marvel I can do. Or I can do a bronze Jimmy Olsen, but I also have an early Silver Age that goes with that. No, Silver Age Marvel sells like no tomorrow. All right. Um, Starting bid? Let's go 20 bucks. Okay. And we'll just, we'll be 50 likes. Uh, so after after TP's round, we'll get the the giveaway. I'm gonna start with the invincible bullet, look at that, invincible Iron Man number twenty-seven. Well, there you go, Firebrand. Yep. Oh yes, it's a nice copy. Oh what grade, yes. What grade yes. Are you giving that one? I'd give it a seven. Uh, okay. Just, you know, maybe six, five, seven. I'll just, it, it, this is what happened in between rounds. I went out to the garage. <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a seven real. I mean, I, I think I'm going to get some bacon. Let me see if I need 27. I think I'm being real conservative on the But I don't want to say it's higher and, you know, somebody not. You know how it is. Everybody's got their opinion <laughs> about grading. Well, I'm like, yeah, when I try to keep it around the, the Overstreet guidelines. Yep. That's the way I was raised to grade since I was 13. That was 40 years ago. You know, it's like they say, you can't teach old dogs new tricks. <laughs> nope. Especially when the old dog knows better. Yep. I got a 27. Uh, now, we're going to get a little off base here. This is the only Iron Man book in here. But the next book that would come in, and I'd have to get get to uh, 45 to bring it in. I've got a uh, Tales to Astonish number 96. Oh, what the... Uh, yeah, the Skull Island. It's got the High Evolutionary in it. Yeah, that's the first part of the High Evol Evolutionary story where he like didn't come back to the comics for like seven years. Yeah, uh, and it, it's a it's a higher grade book too. I'd say it's a seven or better. And like I said, I'm trying to be conservative on these. I well, nobody in the chat can argue because they're not bidding. Yeah. So. I mean, it's a beautiful book. It's high grade. I've probably had this book for probably forty years or longer. Some of them. Okay, Mr. Owen Price is in at 45 so $25 for that issue is a steal. We'll go next. One will come in. We'll do the same deal. We'll come in 25 more. I got a Tales to Astonish, uh, 88. Oh, this is one of the, this is a great Atuma battle cover. And yep. what's, what's key about this? Do you know? Do we know? Is that the Hulk smash? It's yeah, the Hulk, Hulk smash. Hulk smash. I just sold that book the other night. How and, much? Uh, come in another 20, be 70 bucks. Another 25 brings that in. And I'd say this is a seven, seven, five or better. Yeah, and a and a fine. That's a thirty thirty five dollar. Man, these are these are, we're, we're giving some steals tonight. I guess yeah. you know these, these came the these books come out of my PC. Ah, I see. These I've been kind of building a little bit, and these come out of my PC. I've been holding these back for a good night. And the last book in the lot is one you don't see a lot. Oh, I don't have that one either. Submariner King Size Special number one. Um, boo -boo. No, we sure don't. There's nothing in here for you, buddy. You can come in and say hello, but that's it. 
I mean, it's it's nice shape too. I mean, nothing. there's nothing for boo boos in here. I think I'm the only bitter T Pain. How much? Even a hundred bucks, and I'll get this one in. Oh, there you go. That's a good deal. Yeah. I mean, for the four bucks, that's twenty five a piece. They look and like high grade books, and they are. I mean, I'd say. What have I got that one stuck? I've got like you yeah, when I put stickers on them, so I can yeah. remember. I've got this one at a six six five. It may be better than that, but it won't be no lower than a six six five. That, the least i'm not <laughs> sure i've got one of that i got nearly the whole run of submar submariner and i'm not sure i've got that i one. don't have that one this, this book right here was one of the hardest books for me to hunt down and this I'm, was back in the day out go because of that square spine and the you know giant size and you just didn't see them around a lot come on you're not allowed in here you know it all right, that's the timer. Edwin Price is, is going to win that one. All righty. I think you need to let me get that uh, Iron Man because I need that. From there, right? <laughs> well, y'all can talk about that amongst yourself. Or... Yeah, we, we can work that out in the IGs. Okay, Miss Becky, <laughs> we are going to you. Why? I'm never ready. Uh, well, time waits for no man or no woman neither. Excuse me, it waits all the time for me. I don't know what okay. you're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. Now there's Miss Becky's banner. Okay. Now, Don't forget to give me your starting bid before you show your books. Uh, comic dog, you are really pushing my buttons right now, buddy. I'm going to start the bidding at 25, and then I'll be adding things. Just look. We're starting at 25. And where's the other one? Hey, Point Reyes is here. Good to see you, Point Reyes. This was the wrong one to start. Ooh, later, sorry. This was the one to start. What about the 50 light giveaway? We'll do it after Miss Becky's round. Did we make it? We did. All right, I have this. I have AGI Joe. And you. No, no, I'm not doing that one. All right, well. I'll figure out one. I want to do one. $25 starting bid for the first full this appearance of the Beyonder. Yes, it is the first full appearance of the Beyonder in his ongoing human form with dark curly hair. And then in 2022, the Marvel Studios released character designs for the origin, the Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur to an animated series. And I actually have that. He's wearing the totally 80s suit with the really high shoulder pads. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who was that guy? Star not Starsky and Hutch. Was that it? P.I. Magnum P.I. That's who I was Magnum called. Magnum P.I. Yeah. Magnum P.I. <laughs> well, who was the blonde one that always had shoulder blades? The shoulders things in. Um, oh, I can't He was a cop one. He was blonde. He was... Yeah, blonde. yeah. Oh, that, that, that was Miami Vice. Miami Vice. Miami Vice. He was blonde from that. Always dressed like this. Yep. Now, when I get to, this is 25, so if anybody wants to make a first bid on it, this will be the second book I bring in. Secret Wars 2, number 8. Okay, this is the Beyond Berserk. That's where he gets his Miami, his Miami uh, Vice uh, attitude. Like but this will come in and it'll... This will come in at 30. 30, you got these two. Okay. This is a 12 cent Doctor Strange. All right, that's a that's a Bushema cover. That's an early Bushema cover. Is that a buy it now? No. Yes. yes. No. All right, yes. buy it now. But I got to show you first. I know what it is. No, I meant to. They don't need to see it. <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see it. No, you don't. I'll just put Nothing in the private chat what you're offering me, and I'll decide if I want to see it. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. You know? <laughs> Up north, you know, you do it in the back room. You say something beforehand. I mean, you know, like speak easy. You know? Uh, you want to see it? Yeah. Yeah. Of course we do. 
Yeah, it's a gorgeous 7 0 copy. Um, this is a very famous Bushema cover mm -hmm. of Doctor Strange. Now, this is what I was going to say. See this, the staples? Yeah, just a slight miswrap on the cover, but that's okay. Don't, don't bother us none. You open it up. Yes, I mean, it, calm down. The last yeah, you pull a cover off one, have you, MT? No, we oh, won't do that all the time. Tear the cover off a three hundred dollar book live on here. No, we don't need to do that. No, no light. Last CGC six point five brought eighty six bucks. All right, you got a. Uh, um, you've got one minute left, so tell us what it takes to get that one in. It's just thirty. You go to a hundred, you get this. It's Seventy okay. bucks. Okay, but. A minute. I might do, you know, I can go lawyer. Lower. Lower. Or well, we can do it as a bite now. Let's see. I'm going to do 70 there. 65. Buy it now. Anybody wants it? Okay, you heard 65 would buy that third book, or you can get both of those Miami Vice books. Oh, now we're talking. Let's see, that's really oh. put this out a lot together. That's Marvel Premiere in issue number eight. In a snazzy 6.0. That's the Stonehenge cover. That is very, imp very impressive. Hey, the, the Mylar is worth a buck. And he is when, uh, he finds, uh, showing his spine books on, in marble while I'm trying to sit here and sell books. I can't okay. That well, that was the timer. Um, yeah, that's a gorgeous book. I love those Marvel premieres. Yeah, I love the whole run. Offer in chat for both. If somebody wants to make Miss Becky an offer on the Doctor Strange books at Fushema or this Marvel premiere, hit her up in the IGs. Um, I'm not quite sure what is on her scroll there, but um, Cap says he bends MP8. That At the moment, I have no Marvel premiere. Oh, is that eight. white or is that white? You want you to Marvel see? premiere eight? That's yes, has he been? Um, this one that I'm showing, uh, but I haven't given a price on it. Exactly. So it's a little hard to bend. Hey guys, I want to see something real cute. This one was sixty-five. We do both. Give me a. Help me with the price on this one because I didn't get to the thing. I was just getting to rating it because this one does have some ticks. Whereas the other one didn't really have many at all. There's two there. There's one there. Yeah. I mean, for that Marvel <laughs> premiere is probably uh, you said it. What grade was it again? This says eight. A 6.0, but I think it's better than that. I don't see any light. The only thing I see wrong on it is wrinkles on the back corner right there that might need to be cut. Uh, you can't see it. It's uh, as purple. But here you see you have some ticks in the spine. Other than yeah, that, yeah, you're probably talking about a $15 book. 15? Yeah. So then on the two of them, is that too much to ask on this one? Should I go lower? This one. Kevin, what's wrong with your keyboard? What? It's just working. No, it's not. Alright, what was going on? Why can't I mute her? Interesting. Type or something? Who is it? Miss Dane is joining us. I'm going to mute you for a second, though, Miss Dana. She has to turn her YouTube off or turn it on mute, the one that she has open on the same. That's fine. Let's finish this out. Okay, so Captain Ramius is is, is offering you $5 yeah. for that Marvel premiere. If I can't get at least 20 for this. I'll put it back. And this yeah, one. I don't think, uh, I don't think you'll get 20 for that. But uh, this one is the one. That's a gorgeous <laughs> book. That's a gorgeous book. Um, so 12 center so okay well hit hit her up in the igs hit her up in the igs do both 
you know, we'll talk about a price for both. All right, Miss Dana, are you ready? <laughs> no? Okay, all right, we'll come back. We'll come back. What are we going to do about the giveaway? I'm going to do it right now. I was going to have let her, let her say hello. You wait until I shove food in my throat. Oh, wait just one second, MT. I want to show y'all something. Okay. You know I've had the kids tonight. Now, isn't that just cute? Oh, that is so cute. Let's leave it to Will. Both of them out. He's rolled right over on his sister. That's <laughs> what he sleep about every night. Um, it, them's what keeps me actually moving. I don't know how to do the StreamYard hashtag thing. Um, you can run the race, can't you? I think I enter in a million names. Um, yeah, that's fine. I mean, we can do it like a set time, let everybody put their name in, and then we can keep going, and when you get the names put in, we can run the race if you want to. Well, if somebody could actually run the, could highlight bids and stuff while I was doing it and run the round, then yeah. Yeah, Pop, can you do that? I can, I can highlight bids. Okay, yes, right. yeah. Now she yeah, can. that's why you couldn't mute me because I have control too. Ah, well, that would explain it. Okay, well, let's get a start line. I'm going to put a start line. Okay, thanks, Sam. I'm going to try that. Uh, Dana? Yes, ma'am. You have the, the um, YouTube running in the background on the same device? No, ma'am. Oh, I was going to say you have to mute something. Sometimes Am I echoing? Yeah. I oh, know. I know what it is. I'll fix it. Hold okay. You're just a little loud, that's all. That's nothing wrong with that. I live in the south. We got fans running around here. No. Oh, that's right. All right, Sands, you demand. Other than I can't choose a, it doesn't give me a broadcast like it did last time. Dang it. Oh, maybe because I'm I'm using a different web browser. All right, let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try. Are you doing the fifty or the um, round giveaway? I'm trying to do the round giveaway right now. Um, if I can do the hashtag thing, then then fantastic. So just just bear with me a Thank moment, you. please, gang. That one worked. All right, let's do uh, let's do hashtag Mickey. Mickey. Well, you got a mouse on the cover. M I C K E Y M O U S E. Tell him about it, Mr. Green Machine. <laughs> What's wrong with my internet? It's a damn cheap Canadian internet up there. All right, so that's what I need you to do. Um, let me share my screen real quick. Do, 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 do. There it is. So please type in hashtag Mickey to get in on the giveaway. I've got 12 entries in already. 12 entries in. Thanks, Sands. Thanks for hooking that up, Mr. Sands. Thank you, Sands. Yep, yep, yep. Can you do my taxes for me while you're at it? Well, I could send it to my guy. We sent ours tonight. It just depends on if you want them done right or not. <laughs> that's, that's the key issue. Yeah, that's not me. I can get you as much money as you want back on your taxes, but I'm not guaranteeing you don't get audited. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of sending money to the government. No. Oh. You got to do those Canadian taxes, don't you? <laughs> quit quit telling people that. They actually believe I'm from Canada. <laughs> no, I'm from Canada. <laughs> I know you're not. <laughs> I get boxes from you, remember? I know, I know. I know. All right, we got 30 people watching. Okay, well, right, I have right. got 19 entries in on the giveaway. I'm going to give you guys one minute, one minute left on the clock to get your get your uh, hashtag Mickey. In. One minute, and during that time, I'll give another serenade to Paul. There you I'm go. Papa the sailor Papa man. Papa says if he <laughs> I'm Papa the sailor man. I'm strong to the finish because I eat me spinach. spinach. I'm Papa the Sailor Man. He's Papa, he's Papa, he's Papa the Sailor Man. All right, we're going to run it. I love it.
I love this room. Ooh, Mike Lofton's here. Too. My look, at the look at the devil! Mike Lofton's winner! Winner! All right. Mikey Lofton just wandered in and won. So what do we need to do here, Pop? Do we need to have him get in touch with Tate? Is Tate, are you still here, Tater? Yeah, he just needs to get in touch with Tate. Tate would have been on tonight, but Tate's uh, still a little under the weather. Yeah. Tell you what, tell you what, let's do. We're at fifty-four now. At seventy-five, we'll give away another book. Seventy-five, so we'll 21. give away another book. We'll give hey, away Tate. another book at seventy-five. I'll handle that. Mike Lofton knows who Tate is. I'm sure they can they can get hooked up. Well, and Mike Lofton uh, is probably bought from Tate before, so they're probably. Well, I'll put his Instagram in the chat if he needs it. Yeah, Dana's is real good about that. Sticking our Instagram, so you see his own. Hi, Papa. Okay, so do you 30 people, uh, are 20 more like, yeah, we're already up to 55, so 20 more likes, like You're I welcome. said, I'll throw in something. Hi, right, y'all hear me? I have to step away for a few minutes. I'll be back for my next turn. Okay. Wonderful. I know how much Dana will miss me. Oh, you Harry, of course I'm going to miss you. I'm super excited that Dana's here because she can help me run the rounds. That's but as I was driving, I heard there was drinking involved, so I kind of sped a little bit to get home quicker. That's fantastic. Wait, wait, wait. That, that right there, I like that one. Dedication. That Simon Beasley cover is badass. Frank Miller. Is that our 75 like giveaway, or are both of those get are, are going to Mr. Lofton there? I think the way they get a chance. Oh, he gets to pick. Yeah. Okay, okay. Go ahead and pick there, buddy, Mr. Mike Lofton. You can pick away. Hello, Mr. Willie. Hello, everybody. Uh, we are running four-minute clocks Hello. tonight, Miss Dana. And four-minute clocks, they got to give us the starting bid before they show the books. And um, and that's about it. That's about it. Yeah. All right, which one me do the timer, the highlighting? Which one me do? Uh, I would if you could. Uh, if you what do you go ahead? If you could run this round, uh, I need to go pull a book out of the dungeon. Okay, uh, let's do this. Mister Lofton uh, decided he wanted that bad boy book. That's the one he picked. Bad boy. bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What I you mean, gonna I do? Love when come for you. So, Mr. Jackal, this is ten dollars across the board here, right? Oh, oh, it's me. Yes, I've got uh, all kind of goodies up here for only ten bucks. All the, all the Captain Americas are Mark Jewelers. What about the that? The Conans Batman? are Mark Jewelers, and I've actually got some amazing Spider-Man and Marvel Tales Mark Jewelers here. So we got mostly Mark Jewelers for ten bucks a pop. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Wow! Wow! So, what's your starting bid? Deal, so I can guys. type it in the chat and walk away. Go ahead. I got it. I already got how much? 20 bucks. Okay. I got it. Right, yep. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry. Redo that for me, please. Make it 10. Uh -huh. Please. Mm hmm. We're giving deals tonight. So, let's do 10. Yeah. yeah. Starting bid. Okay. And the timer has started. Ten dollars on a twenty-five cent bronze Amazing Spider-Man. Ooh, Spider-Man! Pipe it down for me. Now that that's is nice. a deal. That's right? with Sandman too, man. That's when he had that freaky-looking costume. I got one Avengers. It's one seventy-three with Hercules, but it's not a it's not a Mark Jewelers. It's just a pretty old one. One seventy-three, thirty-five center. Okay, if you if you get in on this one, we got some other ones to uh, discuss bringing in here. Hey, hey. If Spider Man's don't sell, I don't know where to start. And Papa, I told you this week when we was hanging out, if you quit smoking pot, you wouldn't get as hungry as you do. What? <clears throat> I can't believe ain't nobody 
put ten on this book already. <laughs> well, put, you never the, want. The, the mylar's worth. The mylar's worth a buck. <laughs> God, I mean, that that's boom right there. I'll tell you. All right, this next one. This next one. This is a pretty expensive key and look at the condition here guys i don't ever call anything a nine it could be a nine point whatever i don't yeah, believe see, me i, I don't see anything, anything. i don't see anything on this one but i'll put this one in where it 10 10 bucks i'll put this book in at um 30. that's only 20 bucks for this key yeah isn't this and, like ned leads hobgoblin or something you you would know, um, yeah, uh, TP. Mr. Willie in at 11. That's the hobgoblin. Okay. A minute and 50 seconds left on the timer. So this one is in. We need to get to 30 to get this one in. And that's that's more than a $30 book as is. Yep. So, oh, and when you get time, Mr. Custodian. Yes. Would like oh, sure, sure. Tales. Okay. We'll do that. I've got... Uh, I want Ken to see these marble tails. Well, They're I'm, all Mark Jewelers. They're yeah. all marking Jewelers. And they are Spider-Man versus Mysterio, Morbius, the Vulture. It looks like about everybody there. Yeah. I promise I'm not from Jersey. Um, of um, Mysterio here. It's a 7-0. One minute left. One twenty nine, which is the <laughs> shocker. Yep. We all know how popular the shocker is, and it's uh, Mark Jeweler also. So we got three, three Mark Jewelers. All these are ten each. Pick, choose, get them all, or whatever. And the caps are, like I said, same way. And I got a couple of Conans up there. Conans one thirty five and one thirty eight. 30 seconds left, you guys. Okay, doke. Man. We're probably not going to get into this one, okay? Claim yeah, the shocker. Shocker. For Ken, buddy Ken. That's a nice one. It is a good one. It is. And, and what kills me is people short look the Marvel Tales because of the reprints. But go find the original one for what you can get the Marvel Tales. Oh, the and especially if it's a jeweler, you know what yeah. I mean? Oh, okay, the real Billy James Willie has just oh, brought in. Billy. Real James Willie has just brought in the book worth more than thirty. <laughs> okay, so that's this one, and the last one I have to offer on here is this guy, which these this one will come in at fifty. Yeah, that's a and nice I think there's right something there. special about this one too, but I don't remember what it is. It's, it's got to do with the black suit. Oh it's, yeah, two fifty eight. Yeah. Two fifty two. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's pretty. That's pretty early in the black suit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's when they decide that the suit's an actual alien symbiote. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's that's right. Cause you're right. I remember. Re I remember reading that now. Reed Richards figures out the suits an alien here. I don't blame you, custodian man. I do the same all thing. All three I of these books. All three of these books at fifty. <clears throat> That's a steal of fifty bucks. First bag, man. Okay, James Willie's not interested in that one. He's probably got that one. Yeah, let's get on up there and get another free freebie book. Yep, you get the locks up to 75. Yep. Mr. Price said he was going to give away a book, and I'll tell you what, we get 75, I'll give one away too. All right. We haven't updated the uh, um, James Willie's at 30, the last I saw. The Daredevils are uh, Daredevils are 89, 138, 
and 174. But I'm pretty sure the 174 is a Frank Miller. Uh, this one cover. is the first smasher. Yeah. That's this one. Yeah, that's Miller. Pretty, pretty sweet looking book. Yeah. And uh, the yeah, last one. has got a lecture in them or poof. This is an oldie here for 10. Oh. It's really cheap for 10 bucks. Yeah. This is an 89. Look at like electro. 1971, he's fighting the Purple Man and uh, Electro. And if I remember correctly, this is the death of the Purple Man, who's been around since issue four. Yep. And Tate says he'll do the Disney Spider-Man. Will be given away as well. Oh, sweet Tate. Hey. And if you guys are not following Mr. Price on Instagram, I have dropped his link. If you would please do so. Thank you. Yeah, I got to step away for a second. I think Paxton will go. Give me just a few. Or, I don't know who's next, so you guys just tell me who to pop on next. I tap 259, 305, and 309, all Mark Jewelry. Let's see. Get out. I don't think anybody's wanting to bring in this one, so. And we still, that, uh, on my screen, still showing James Willie at 11. His, he went to 30. I, I pulled it out, out, yeah. Okay. I don't know how that gets... James Willie, yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you, Matthew. I didn't see it. I guess I'll sell this one later, so because that is, I'm glad Cuz remembered what it was. I remember it now too. Uh, that's Reed Richards finally makes the determination that it's an alien symbiote or whatever. So I, I knew there was something to that one. <laughs> okay, I'm back. He's talking in his sleep. I got tickled though, Dana. Uh, yeah. I wish you'd have got here just a little bit earlier because Peyton was on and, and Peyton was going to see you. <laughs> Aww. I went to go see my new baby niece. Yeah. I told Peyton you had a new puppy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the timer's been up. I said that earlier. The timer's up, Matthew. Yo, dude, put it in line in. Uh, I did. Oh, you did? Earlier, uh-huh. Okay, good. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I got you. I see it now. <laughs> Damn. All right, so it's my turn. Yeah, it's been a long time here. I don't think anybody else is bidding, so do a... Uh, 30 second shot clock or whatever and let's move it on yeah, it's, it's cool. we already moved it we already put the end line in <laughs> oh, okay well that's fine I I didn't see the end that's good okay, right. James Willie thank you sir those are great books Dana comes on here and it gets all screwed up sorry <laughs> how much for the bottle there Jay boy so this is my buddy my neighbor makes this it's called he calls it banana chill it's Apple, banana, mango, uh, moonshine. Looks like some stumped whiskey there. Yep. Careful, I'll make you go blind. He's pretty dang good at it. I'm yeah, that blind. stuff won't make you go blind, man. It's just, you know, when you grow up on it down here in the south, that's just like cough syrup, dude. Well, it's that'll, good. that'll loosen up the bids, huh? Yep. <laughs> I've got some... Uh, Cherry vanilla moonshine in there. So somebody was giving me a hard time because you know I actually have swag <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, you're you you've got your branding down, merchandise. Well, merchandise. If somebody would like to have their own J One of Bob swag T-shirts, I have two X, 
and I have 1x and they're 20 bucks it's like three dollars more than it cost me to make them well, there you go. If anybody's interested, you can you too can have your own J One of Bob Comics T shirt. Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna let the chat. If nobody says anything at the end, J One, I want the two X. But I have I have three of each. Well, I'll take a two X. All right, I'll put you down for one, brother. I, I man, that's gonna go look good, and I can carry my coin around with me. Mm-hmm. Hey, Marshall, Marshall Warpath is with us. Thank I've you. I've been trying that. to get, it's like Papa's got his stuff on that thing. I'm trying to get people to make beanies. They're $20, James. I got, I have 1X and 2X, and that's it. I, this was my, this is my test run. But if anybody wants one. Hey, cuz, give me the 2X. You want a 2X? Oh. Yep. MT is here too, Mr. Warpath. Indeed I am. Indeed I am. And James Willie takes a 2X. All right. So I have three XLs left. So we got MT. No, 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 James Willie. James Willie and Mr. Jack. Edwin and T Pain. I'll put those over there so I don't forget. And and they run a little big, so one X is is not it's not small. Really? They actually run a little big? Yeah. Usually, usually it's the other way around on T shirt. Exactly. That'll be fine. No. I like I like two X T to be the best, to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, they're a little longer. So. Yeah. So if you're over six feet, they, uh oh, hey, Bye that's a key, that's a key bug people overlook every day. You ain't kidding. So we're gonna start this. This is gonna be my auction. I, I, I might show a couple buy it nows while the auction's going, but let's get the auction going. And, and we're gonna start it nice and cheap, ten bucks. Oh, what condition man. is that? Cause... Day one breaking the rules. So. Well, it was kind of new to us. Hey, so. Carlos DLR is here. Yeah, there's been, uh, you know, we're trying to cut down on. Yeah, the, the early bid, and I know yeah. it's a good idea. Got some damage right here. Yeah, a little corner chip, a little corner chip. It's okay. See that. Okay. But for the most part, it, it's it's pretty solid. That's and James good. Willie said if the shirts run big, he'll take an extra large instead, please. You got it. Thank you. And this is what's fun. Mr. Jackal can tell you all about that book. Bro, Boy, what's key about my, that issue? That's one of my favorites. You tell them tell them what's key about that book, Mr. Jackal. The um the story was originally uh, John Ramita sprained his wrist. It was along or about the the uh, mid to late forties. Amazing spy, his Amazing Spider-Man run. He he sprained his wrist, and they all went to pieces. Roy and Stan and everybody, and they called up. Um, I think it was Ross Andrew, and they said, "Hey, we need a Spider-Man real quick." So they pieced together the story real quick. It takes place in New Orleans, and. Um, uh, the, and John and uh, Ross Andrew whipped it out for him. Beautiful artwork. And uh, then all of a sudden, Ramita says, hey, wait a minute. My wrist is better. And uh, he rushed and completed his uh, Spider-Man so they didn't have to stick that one in, which I think they were doing a Vulture and uh, um, uh Craven story. He said it won't have to interrupt the storyline or whatever. So that book set that story set on the shelf till 1968, and then they said it's too good just to let it sit, and they put it out as brand new story, and it is a great story. Yes, and if nobody buys it, I'm going to. At ten bucks, it's a steal. It is a absolute steal. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is the toy variant from Boom Studios. 
Pony Yeller Mint. If no one in the chat bends it, I would like to, please. Oh, there you go. Love the toy variants. I should have bought your big lot the other night uh, instead of just the Spider Man. But I, I'm happy. Agree. I'm still happy as a lark. I just, um, those promotional type books, I really don't collect those. And like you said, though, I could have given those away to somebody. Exactly. But anyway, I got what I was after. True. Uh, Wolverine, number three at Perillo. Uh, I want to say this was a Comics Elite exclusive. Uh, $15 buy it now. One minute left on the timer. Shannon Mayer Shriek. Uh, $15 buy now. Let me see what this is. I think it's, it's like Venom. 75 likes gets a freebie yep. book. Venom 26. Venom 26, the Donny Cates run. Uh, Comic Elite exclusive. Shannon Mayer. It's not letting me highlight the bids. Oh, interesting. Carlos is, is, in, is in the lead at each. Yep. Any, is, chance, just any chance you still got those other books? And that is the timer. Oh, I because have any chance you still got it. those other books or have they been shipped? Um, is Edwin all closed up? If not, I'm going to still try to get this. Uh, so you'd be starting a new one. Okay. I got you. Are you doing 30 second overtime clock or? Yes, we would do a, a one minute overtime one minute. clock. Yes. Sure. You know what? I'm going to have some fun with the rest of these. Well, that's a nice much better sounding. Well, that's me. Hey, Miss Chris. Stop. 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 Okay, I got it. 34 in here. Let's get to 75 and give away another book. Three books. Uh, Three books. Three books, says T Pain. $20 buy it now. First appearance of Big Hero 6. This is a very rare book to get in high grade because of the flap, the overlay. Yep. It gets damaged constantly, especially like people who are impressing and they don't know what they're doing. They'll, they'll oh, pop. yeah, the short cover. Yeah. Yep. Everyone should have one of those. Um, Books. I'm going to let uh, Carlos buy it. $20. Uh, interested. If not, I think I might just take a bunch of nice books and just make a stupid uh, cheap gold one. So right. Carlos is going to take that one from you for $18. Winner. Winner, 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 chicken dinner. That was a steal. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Incredible deal on that one. Open that up and read the splash page. And, and we will do the end. It tells you the whole story. Yeah, read the whole story. It's a good read, too. Oh, heck yeah. Carlos, you're very welcome, my friend. We will uh, see you on the next turn. Thank you for bidding with us, Carlos. That was a great That was a great deal. I wouldn't have started that book for under 30 bucks myself. No, I wouldn't have either. Yeah, but you didn't pay just, as little as I did. I know that's just that's just the good. Yeah, I probably they couldn't want. afford to have that. <laughs> couldn't afford to sell it. No, that you're cheap. right. I've never, <laughs> I've never gotten one that cheap. No, I had neither. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tease this. Buy it now, as I had no idea. Tricks were for kids. This old. This is an old book. This is a golden age. Um, 
Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Or the very earliest Silver Age there is, depending on who you ask. This is a 1957 book. That's uh, Silver Age. Yeah. Yep. 19, yeah 19, 1956, uh, Showcase 4. Right. You know that. Well, it depends. <laughs> According to Overstreet, yes. But there are other places that put it in 57. Yeah, but so, Overstreet's the only one that's been doing it for over 30 years. And, uh, 1970. Yeah, I've been doing the same standards. Because I got a, that's funny, so I got a, I got a 50-year-old Overstreet right in front of me. Hey, you ain't the only one. I got one foot up. I, I, I like to collect Overstreet prize yeah. cards. I have a Dell. Ooh. 10 cent. Bugs Bunny with a porky pig. Porky pig. And I will do a buy it now on this gem. On this gem, I will go $20 on this. That looks pretty hot, right? For the people. For the people. How about we change my banner over? Let me do that. What what? What what grade would you put on that? Just rough um, up part. It's a fine. I mean it's it's in the fine yeah. range. Um I think okay. you're looking at a, a I mean let's let's call it five five to be safe, but I mean any of these ten cent books you're, you're not gonna get high grade ten cent books. So. No, that's what I was about to say, especially the Dell books. Because most of the people that got the Dell books back then they got them for their kids and they were heavily read. So I mean, you've got like the teeniest, tiniest little dog here on the corner there, and it's yeah. got a, a, a pull mark from somebody opening up the spine. But I mean, it's 1957, so you're yeah, talking. You're, yeah, that's nice. That's very nice shape for to find one of those in. 65 years or so. You have a waffle, uh, MT? I do not have one tonight, although I am thinking about putting up my other, um, I have a, uh, a higher grade first Guardians of the Galaxy I might put up, and I do have one more Trash Panda I might put up, so we'll see. Okay. Coming up soon, but not tonight. I'm sure that was James Willie asking. Yep, there he yes. is. <laughs> he is nothing but consistent. Nothing but consistent. I've not done one of those yet. I might put up one in two weeks and do one. I have a really nice copy of X Men 81, good old juggernaut, at an extremely low price. This has Doctor Strange crossover. Uh, Kane Marco was uh, one of the stepbrothers, him and Professor X. Um, so he got Doctor Strange and the Juggy in this. Only thirty-five dollars on that. Yeah, I love that cover. The juggernaut, and then you got the floating heads there. I've got a. Uh, mm. I've got a VF plus, VF plus copy of Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number two. And what was controversial about this is they had the six 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 Omen playing at the movie theater. And there were people that said that that was on a Spider-Man comic book. Um, but you got the tarantula and Craven the Hunter on this one. Gorgeous copy, twenty-five bucks on that. Tarantula. Number two. Um, just come back in, and you're saying two. Two. Under the trois, quatre cinq six sept, three four five six. All students trays. Um. This is the first cover appearance of Gwenum. This is a rare book. It is the second printing. So she wasn't on the uh, cover of the first printing. This was like uh, extremely low print counts, and they, they were giving away, uh, they put them out in multi packs. But what's cool about this one is it's a McFarlane. Um, at any rate, um, I would. I had a hundred dollars on this book. I will take eighty dollars for the pop on wheels buying audience. This is a rare book, especially a rare book to get in a candidate, which this is. 
because they were, like I said, they were giving out multi packs and got beat to hell. Okay, Mike often saying somebody's echoing. Do y'all hear it? Yeah, you talk. Me? Uh, I don't. I don't hear it. No, it's just like you said. I think it's your your mic. You have a fan or an air conditioner. Uh oh. No, it's okay. Uh -oh. I mean, it doesn't. I don't hear anything that that. Play an echo. <laughs> what? Hello. 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 No. All three. All three. Mike Zek Punisher magazine issues. All three for thirty bucks. And the first three two issues. It only ran for three issues, and you can have all. Um, Jane Masters of the Universe fan <laughs> in the audience tonight. Let me know. You gonna make Papa fall out of his chair? Because this one. Is super hard to get in high grade. Uh, I've owned about a dozen, and this is only the second one I would consider in your mint book. So, if that interests you, I'll put that up. What do we got here? I'm echoing. Okay, yeah. all right. Let me check. Let me check. Pop says Ben, lol. Pop. I have my echo cancellation on. I have my echo cancellation on. Is it Miss Becky's blaming it on me. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to take the blame. <laughs> you came back and it started echoing, you know. Oh, and it's probably just <laughs> making it echo. Sorry right, about okay. that. How's that upset? <laughs> I will do a starting bid. We'll see how bad I go on this. Uh, I will do a starting bid. Maybe if I turn my volume down a little bit, that'll help. Um, I'll do a starting bid of seventy dollars on this. This is a very much an undervalued key right now. With Guardians to the Galaxy coming, uh, it's probably way too early to sell this. But I'm going to give you a chance here. <laughs> This is Avengers King Size Annual number seven. This is Death of Adam Warlock. This is the Death of Adam Warlock. It's another Thanos key. Thanos and Captain Marvel appear in this, but the death, the first big death of Adam Warlock in this issue. I bought this because there is no way this is a 7.5. Um, I see it's just got a little bit of a wrinkle because it's a square bound book. I was going to crack it and press it and resubmit it. And there's no reason this book shouldn't be like an 8.5 or, or higher. Um, it has you just a little bit of a rounded you corner. You made a mistake? Yeah, if anybody who watches me on these auctions know, I usually tend to buy slabs. I think I can improve their grade. Um, You've got an offer on uh, Peter, Peter Parker, Parker for twenty. Yeah, for Mr. twenty. Mr. Nash. He said that's a deal. Mr. Mr. Nash is a repeat customer. Of course, you can, sir. Fifteen more likes. Next giveaway, you guys. Fourteen more. All oh, fourteen. You take them on the camera. I think I might be wrong. <laughs> Don't Can't ever tell when somebody else no nope, for 61. We're good. You guys share out the live. Okay, back to this. And that's fine. I am totally okay. Uh, because 70 is way less than I'd hope to get for it. Um, it is a key. It's an Avengers king size. It's a great battle cover. Um, Jim Starlin did the cover and the story on this one. Off white to white pages. You can see like it just has a little bit of wrinkling at the top of the book. That was the other thing I thought I could press out. <laughs> if you can see that, there's just a little bit of rippling at the top, which was uh, easily fixed. But I mean, it doesn't have a single color breaking tick on it. Not a single color breaking tick. Which is 7.0 is criminal for this book. That's nice. 
a minute 25 left on the clock. Yeah, I guess I'll do uh, I'll do a buy it now on this Motu. Um, yeah, and I, I'm probably I'm probably gonna be doing too low a number, but all right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Fifty dollars I will take from this because it is an absolute candidate book. These are extremely hard to get in high grade. It is the motion picture Masters of the Universe Star Comics issue number one. And it doesn't the funny thing is is instead of Dolph Lundgren, they put the actual 80s filmation He-Man on here, but then put all the movie characters. Can anybody tell me who the star actress was in this? In this movie 30 seconds left she was on friends sorry what was the book she was on friends oh, your was she the mom of one of the girls universe. it's a 50 dollars bin it's your pop that's what you are I don't know if you've seen him back there. Counting down is well. I guess you got to wait till what after the end line, then you can bid it. No, you don't want to here. Oh, okay. And that was the end line. With special guest stars Warlock and Captain Marvel, Banis. Yep, Courtney Cox. Lord of Evil in this double length epic cosmic hunt. There it is, Courtney Cox. Mister Collector has it. That is perfectly fine. I am happy to put this back in my crack to resubmit box. First time I ever seen her on TV, she was on a Bruce Springsteen music video. Oh, right, right. Thank you very much. Okay, Pop, I uh, I got you down for that bin. Uh, it is <clears throat> exceptionally difficult to get that book in high grade. In fact, uh, it's the last high grade copy I saw sold for 75, so it's a hell of a deal. Yep. Okay, Pop, I got you, buddy. Uh, we will move things along to Mr. Papa Wheelie himself. Cuz, do you see my note there? I do hear the echo now. I don't. It must be me. I did not. <laughs> Uh, I'll take the last XL. I mean, okay. two XL. I'm sorry. I got you. My uh, turns out my stepson wants one. The doctor. Okay. Looks like Pop's got himself a slab here. We got a start bid there. Come in. He's a top and it in, I believe. That is looking it up. Something you should have done earlier. Oh, God, can we skip them? <laughs> I got him to do it finally. Been working all night and I finally got him. Uh, you know, he's older now. It takes him longer to get ready. Mm -hmm. $50 bin. What is it? Ooh, there you go. Be a good good nice book. Uh, oh, this is a rise of the midnight suns um ghost rider issue number 21 hold it up there because i want to see what the cgc actually lists for uh, yeah, it's, it's 31. 31. center fold oh gambit center fold poly bag removed yeah these were all poly bags the midnight suns were all poly bags yeah. I'm trying to remember who did the cover on this. Old Sega Genesis ad on the back. Did we get? We didn't get a starting bid on this, my man. Oh, yeah. fifty dollar bin. That's a fifty dollar bin. Oh, okay, I got you, got you, got you. So that was a fifty dollar bin on the Midnight Suns. Hell of a deal. Hell of a deal. That or that was the fifty dollar bin on my uh, Motu book. No, I think he said that one was fifty. Yeah, 
Fort Juan 25. Oh, Fort Gordon. I agree. With that was a good cover, really? A Midnight Sun? Could be. Could be. Should say in the upper left. Angel Cubert uh, art and cover. Look at that. Look at that. Must have been more Andy than Joe. That Flash Gordon cover is just cool as I'll get out. Um, right looking. And he's oh, got a whole box. Four dollars each. You got a half dozen for twenty, or the full dozen for thirty-five. You got a random, random comics, or you can get Batman and Wonder Man books. So there's two different boxes. So get them while they're hot. Get them while you can. Matthew, give me six pulls, please. You want to pull those after your? Why don't we pull those after your round here, Pop? Well, let's keep holding that book up. Try and get that sucker sold. And whatever books he pulls, if we get 75 likes, do a giveaway for it. Giveaway. Fantastic. Well, darn, man. We get 75. I going to be giveaways out to Kazoo. Yeah, those poly bags will cause color rubs. And they also cause denting where the, where the pleat is. Yep. So Flash Gordon here, Whitman. Whitman's been getting a lot of traction recently. Uh, once they released what the rarity with some of these Whitman issues are, I got one of the Holy Grail Whit Whitman's uh, the other night, the Star Wars number one. Whitman. Yeah, some of these Whitman's like this too. I mean, the only way you got them was to get them in the. Uh, they put them in uh, three to four of them in a pack bag and sell them and they sold them at department stores yeah um, you couldn't get them anywhere else yes we should not yell them at me <laughs> i didn't start a timer either i did okay great thank you you're welcome There is actually a minute left in the timer. <laughs> that shark looked like when you're yeah, well, it does. It does. Dana is a man killer. That's right. Thoroughly dangerous. And dangerous. That's what they said. I've heard stories. You know, I've heard lately a lot of people have, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 10 seconds left on the time. Good stories. They're about how, what a sweet girl she is. I'm <laughs> her mother and grandmother. Now she doesn't date. The timer. We are happy that Miss Dana is willing to put up with this. Miss <laughs> Becky. Miss the Loft, I am in New Orleans. She's in New Orleans, and I'm down in Alabama. I'm in New Orleans. In New Orleans. New Orleans. No, it's like puppies tucking himself into bed there. Yeah. Here. Oh, I didn't see. Oh, look. He's snuggling in. Oh, look. Going down. Going down. Going <laughs> down. down. Now he's going to start dragging the butt. Your choice. It doesn't matter because it's not coming to me. So 
Whichever box you, Whichever box you want to pull three from one, three from the other, two, two, two. I don't know how many boxes you have. Kentucky. Yeah, Pop has more than one. Old Bluegrass, the Kentucky Colonel, huh? Mike Love and Judith. Kentucky is very flat. Really? Yeah. It's got the most beautiful grass. You really do. Plains. We had to drive through Tennessee. It's about as flat as Ohio. Ohio's flat as a pancake, too. You have lakes like Nebraska. in Nebraska. Ohio had moving up and down and all that good stuff. But Ohio has the mound. Yeah. They got the mound builders. So, like, that's where. Uh, uh, the snake mound is the uh, world famous uh, snake. Yeah, mound. we got a lot of mounds down here too. Yep. Uh, we've got the Etowah mounds, and then we've got the ones that are down. Yep, exactly what they're called, right out from my mama's and down around Macon. Matthew, I need you to move a little quicker, please. We need to circle back to you here, Pop. <laughs> Why don't we do that? Let's go ahead and run T Pain's round. We'll come back unless yep. he's ready. Here he is. He said, Oh no, oh no. He's ready. Oh no. Boom, boom, boom. Dark, Dark Knight returns the golden chow. Black label DC. Next up, Dark Knight Three. The yeah, Master Race, right? Somebody needs to win that race eventually. Oh, that's a good one, the Colt. I don't know anything about that one. That's a good story. It's a four issue mini series. That that's Batman? Yeah, it's Batman the Colt. It's a real good, good story. Mark said, is Eddie Murphy in it? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, then you got Harlequin. Harlequin betrayed. Um, okay. Oh, there's a good one. That is Ultimate Cable. Ultimate X-Men number 77. That would be the second appearance of Ultimate Cable. Okay. Uh oh. We know what that is. Polybag. X Force number one. That's a good one. So remember, if we get to 75 likes, all that is for someone. So there's actually now eight book giveaway at 75 likes. And right now, we are 14 away from that. 14 away. And I don't want this book, so get us to 75, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we lost a like. We're down to 60. We need 15 more likes. Uh oh. Come on. I am. Wake up. Hear me roar. Ooh, done. Got it done. Dana, do you have anything you are selling tonight? Or are you just here to. Uh, uh, I'm, make just here. Right. I'm just here. I'm here. I don't know about making you all look better, but I'm just here. Well, we, we can assure you that that's happening. Please look at us. Wonderful to have you, Miss Dana. Thank you. Thank you. you. Rescue me. I'm gonna show some bot nails right quick. Uh, this first I'm one is a, is a five dollar bot now. Oh, let's flip this uh, spanner over to Mister Keeping. Now she there holds is. number two, the Gwen Stacy cover. Oh yeah, the Takiyami. Yep, five dollar bot now. Uh, this bot now is 10. I've got uh, first issue, Return to Greatness for the all-new Justice League. Good old Captain Boomerang looking yeah. certainly. Yeah. And then I actually watched the movie the other night and I thought it was pretty good. I've got some Wakanda Forever. That's X-Men Wakanda Forever number one. 
and the amazing Spider-Man Wakanda Forever number one. I'm doing the pair for $10. Nice. I probably watched the entire movie here like two days ago. Yeah. And then uh, I'm going to start my auction at $25. $25 starts it. Okay. That's two book. Oh. You got me a timer, Miss Dana? I do. First book in the lot is Godzilla King of Monsters number two. Ooh. You got a little little binding there, but otherwise looks like yeah. I mean, safe. It, this is not the main part of the auction. This is like a throw-in kicker. Okay, a sweetener, he says. But the main book is the number one. Yeah, I was going to put that issue up myself tonight. That's interesting. What happened? What happened there? Matthew probably hit something. Back to TV. Well, he did it again. What are we doing here, Bob? All right, I read comics is in at 25, but it. There we go. Oh. Okay. This is a nice high grade. Yeah, I thought Mr. Lofton watched Black Adam, thought it was a good movie. Um, I, I I don't know much about Black Adam, so I, I kind of went into it blind. I, I happen to like most of the DC movies, um, and I don't read DC comics, so maybe that's why. Um, I had a hard time paying attention to the whole movie, kind of like lost interest part of the way through but um there were parts of it that were really cool the end the end scene was great yeah i gotta dig around and i knew i had the one i just had to find it and then when i was hunting i found a number two Two minutes left on the timer. He's eating the space needle. Does anybody know what two cities are famous for having a space needle? Las Vegas and um, Seattle. No, not not Vegas. Vegas got there long afterwards. You said what two cities are famous for space needles? Right. There's it's also one Vegas. in Toronto. I mean, there it is. Toronto. Toronto. You know, you know the Canadian for Canadian question. That's true, but. The that tallest is one is the uh, Stratus in Las Vegas. Yeah, they're both in, I read. They're both in. It's yeah, they're more. both in. It's it's a straight, flat deal. It's not an add-on. They're both in to start with. The old bag's getting any good and stiff. I was just kind of throwing the two in. I mean, it's not bad shape. I mean... It's still probably a seven. The one's nice, though, right? The one is nice. That's the one I want. The, the, check it out, Edwin. I mean, I'll show everybody's bidding on it. That number one. So what do you think that is? 9092 or what? Carlos is in the 35. If. <clears throat> this guy. And I don't know that little bitty right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he says, I meant, are there more in? And are they all Godzilla? No, this is all I've got. I wish I had more to put in, but all I've got is the two. That dog here puts you into an 885. Yeah. Right, come on, but, Give the people what they want. Add some more in there. I don't have any more Godzilla to add. <laughs> Edwin says, I mean, Carla says 40. Quit, Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty much got me at four. All right, that's the timer. We will do a one minute overtime. Well, stick around. I've got a uh, a very high grade copy of Godzilla yeah. I will put up. Yeah, uh, Rock City got my one that I would say was a uh, forty for Mister Mister. 
I would have no trouble putting a nine four on the one he got. Oh look, Mister Fister, Mr. Fisters, Mister Fister Fister. <laughs> I love the fact that you put this stuff with it. <laughs> All right, Carlos is folding. My, my wife asked me the other night what the meaning of Fister was. Uh oh. I told her it was a Popeye. Oh, Sands is in it. All right, Sands is in it. 45. There's. If I, I, I don't willing to risk me. But then, of course, I learned what, what a furry was on the auction here a couple weeks ago. Oh, no, we're not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to go there. All right, that was the one minute over time. I don't know what y'all are doing here. There are active bidders. Well, if there's still active bidders, what do you do? Oh, it, you run well, the clock. You just run a one minute overtime. One minute overtime is all it takes. You know what Papa says? If anyone dares to risk my fisk, it's boff and it's wham, understand? So keep good behavior, because that's your only savior. With all right, Papa Mr. The Steeler, man. <laughs> End line coming down, gang. End line is coming down. You dropping that? You need me to drop it. What you got? I can do it to me. <sighs> And you know what? Winner goes to Mr. Sands. Thank you, Mr. Sands. The Cookie Man knows a good game. Congrats. Congrats. Yep. I'll get with you on IG, Sands. I appreciate it, my man. We appreciate all of you. Yeah. I mean, everybody's bidding. It's here. We appreciate you just coming out and looking at idiots like us selling books. Even if we can't get to 75 likes, where we're giving away how many books now? Eight books. Eight, 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 eight Crazy. Eight books we're giving so away. Everybody eight in here shared out the log. And, and why it's on me? This, I got my darn giveaway book right here. Where? I thought I did. I had it here just to Get it together. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm gonna try to back up, get it together. What's happening? Well, I had to hear what I lay it. What we've got here. Oh, uh, well. Hell yeah. I'll call the next person, I'll find it. Which is the way he wants it. But I'm gonna give away a good book. He gets it. There may even be a little writing on the cover if I can find it again. And not in the bad way. <laughs> All right, Miss Rebecca, are you ready? Hell no, but come on over anyway. Oh, come let's on, do it. Let's <laughs> Always ready. Let's do come it. Come on down. Never, never, never. Miss Becca. Anyone here in here like Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom? Uh, now I find it. Of course. You go back? <laughs> Do you want to show it? Yeah, just to get everybody interested. Maybe it'll give us some more likes. This is what I'm giving away at 75. Ooh, nice. Well, nice. This is Spider-Man 374. But as y'all can see right there, it is signed by Mark Bagley. Nice. I don't have a certificate for it, but I got this personally signed from him. He comes down to... Uh, Dr. No's comic book store. He's real good friends with the owners. And you catch him on a good day, you can get him to sign some books for you. You, 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 you think you Thank you, T Pain. It's very yeah. nice of you. And even though it's a giveaway, it's a guaranteed signature, just like I do in any of mine. If any don't have uh, COAs, uh, We'll totally guarantee it if you send it off to CBCS and they say it's not it. I will pay back your shipping there and back, and I will pay for your grading fees and stuff that you had to pay. Well, you and go. you get to keep the book. Nice. Thank I'm you. Fully guarantee the autographs. Fully. Thank you. Get you a card. Back you over to you. Okay. I have, like I said, I have Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. One, two, and three. 
for $25. Ooh, that's a good deal. All three issues? All three. Right there. I can show them to you if someone's interested. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to do this. I have so many books here, and they're good, and they're ch the 12 centers, 25 centers. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm going to start off with this 12 books. All right, um, lot, okay? Which is your starting bid? Give us your starting bid first. $10. $10 starting bid. I got you. Okay, thank you. This is Star Wars number eight, 35 cents. Ooh, first rabbit man in a Whitman. <laughs> Oh, is this the one that's in a Whitman? Yeah, one of them's in a Whitman. Is this it? Yeah, hold it up. Let me see if it's no reprint, reprint of Whitman or the reprint Whitman. Oh, that's, that's a no reprint, reprint of Whitman. So that is the more rare of the two Whitman reprints. So that goes for more money than even the regular A cover. Yeah, so I shouldn't have ever started this at $10. Well, you'll get some bids. You'll get some bids. I don't know. I don't need okay. nobody else. Because they started this at ten dollars. It is Star Wars, the thirty-five cent, not the ones now. These are the winners. And if I get ten for that, so come in at fifteen. And it's in sweet condition. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Got a little bit there, you see it? Yes, I do. Okay. Over here. I'm talking my language here. You want me to show you the back cover? Nope. Mm -hmm. I want you to leave it in the bag. Okay. <laughs> that was supposed to be come in for, no, when that came in, I said it wrong. This wasn't for an extra five dollars. This was for fifteen more or twenty-five. Okay, so twenty for twenty-five. Sorry, it's for fifteen dollars. What now? It wasn't for five dollars for fifteen till. It was coming in for additional fifteen, so twenty-five. Twenty-five to get the first two books in your sand. Yes. Oh. All right. I will pay up for the first. All right. I know, because you're going to press and clean these things and turn around and sell them for $192. And probably. Huh? I'm not pressing any books that are worth under 100 bucks these days. It's really nice. There's a lot of them. This one, <laughs> the first one, really doesn't need it. I have a stack of stack of books over five hundred dollars a piece. Of deep work, so. And you've got one. you've got important X Men ones to work on. Yes, I do. And you have uh, next one is number eleven for thirty five cent that will come in at one thirty five, only for ten dollars more. And I'll show you why. Hey, Christina, my bestie. Christina's here. She yeah. is. I don't know if I formally met Christina. It also she's great. Me. Christina is met formally. Oh yeah, in the newsstand. And the newsstand. Okay. And not the newsstand. The newsstand. And so that'll come at one thirty-five. Um, I don't go out of the thirties, and I have this many more. Well, that one didn't interest me. Show me the next one. You know, let me throw in this thing. At least throw in a five for it or something. I mean, come on. You're going to make well, me that's why if you show me the next book, it'll probably. All right. Well, that one was coming in at 35. I'll say 30 only because it's you. And if someone comes up 35 over you, then you don't. Let's entice them. them. Hey, future Batman. My next book that's going to come in is going to come in at. Jen with the warm prison hugs. I do. Yeah, we got future Batman in the house. I need you to do my math for me. But okay. I need to get somebody. All right, I'll, pull my, I'll pull out my abacus. Yeah, get your abacus out because I was talking about an abacus with my grandson the other day. He was like, Well, that was the timer, so. So this is going to come in 35 cent. Well, number 12. And this will come in at 
what did I say? What are we at now? 25. That was 30. This is going to come in at 45. Yep. We, got, we got Mr. Gin in here. Yep. Yep. Mr. Gin has some great slab autographs, some great slab books. And yes, he does. Keys on future Thursday. Batman is going to have a future Mrs. Batman soon. Yes, yep. he is. He's got right. have little Batmans running all over the house. Oh, okay. she actually. Uh, she's another one that's willing to put up put up with us. She's come on yeah. and said hello a couple times. He was trying. Yeah. What book were you trying to buy for her the other night? Um, somebody kept going up on him. It was Faust, I think, or one of those. And he was trying to get it for her. It was her favorite, and it was for a wedding gift. If he could oh. get it. She she likes the Gotham Sirens, I think. Well, Jen, I, I'll tell you this, man. Got it? Uh, no. I'll give you the best advice about getting married. Well, it looks like I win this. I got to put the end line down on myself here. It looks like I just got those first two issues there. Yep. For 25. Thank you, Miss Becky. And it's oh, it was a Transformers book. I've got a lot of Transformers okay. books. I Look should probably this. pull some out. Wait, I have to see what they missed. Number 12. You do, Christine. Number. You do. I'm here, Christine. Glad to see you. 18. That's a great one. I love that one. Number 19. Number 20. Number 29. Number. 30, 28, number 30, number 32, number 11. So that's what you missed out on. And then a poo poo. But it was not Ben's Rafaust. It was auction. Auction, auction, auction. It was an so auction with auction. The add ons if you got high enough. Thank you, um, MP. But Jen, remember always when I you get married. Book. Is it my turn to put in the book for the prize at the end of the round? Or are we doing this? Or what are we doing? Well, we don't we know already got eight. Eight. We're just doing them at 75 locks. Okay, we got eight, eight books to give away already. You can probably. Yeah, we only need 11 likes to get for somebody. Well, let's see. I guess we'd give away eight different. Yeah. That'd be eight be interested entries. In, um, just remember, future Batman, happy wife, happy life. That go. is very true. Would this be a good prize? Uh, my, oh, my, yeah, that's my, a great prize. My that's response to that. You disagree whoa, with whoa, 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 whoa. No, don't give that one away. No. You know, you, you make, oh, my God, you're making, and I'm not going to give this away. Hold on, hold on. Go, go back. That. No, go no, back to that no. Fantastic Four book. Yeah, that's a key. That is a key book for Agatha's Hardness. I believe that's First Scratch. This is. It's the yeah, first she's, appearance she's of Nicholas Mann, the warlock, and the son of Agatha Harkness, and the first full team of team appearance of the witches of New Salem. Yep. Yeah, don't give that away. Fine, I won't give that away. It's too Can nice. Can they get me a weird and wonderful tale? Too nice. For, oh, that's another great one. No. How about, I can't give away this, can I? Well, that's got a bunch of first appearances in it. That's Come a good on. book. Uh, yeah. Maybe don't listen to MT. Give away whatever the hell you want to well, give take me away. Off, take me off. Take me off. Please take me off. Oh, you I have don't know who's next, but I'm going to go to Mr. Price. Oh, fuck. Am I supposed to be up? Okay. I don't know, but Miss Becky just needed to get off the screen. All right. Yes, I will do that. I will go for that. Let me just. Sorry, guys. He's up here. I got That's okay. right. We'll let Miss Becky recover from whatever stroke we gave her. Uh, yeah, you give me a stroke. <laughs> okay, let's see. Sorry, I was sitting here oblivious to everything. All right, I got. Um, let's see here. I got a. Matthew, can you change the scroll on the screen, please? Yep, yep, yep. I'm on it. I'm on it. All right, I've got an auction lot here that's pretty nice, but what did I do with it? Okay. Okay, start bid. Well, I'll just stick with what we've done so far and continue Dang. to lose money. Um, one dollar. I got gotcha. you. I'll show these through real quickly. They're, I think we got an all bronze lot here. They're pretty nice. Um, 
Avengers 173. Hercules. Captain America 259, Mark Jeweler versus Doc Ock. That's a cool issue. Captain Marvel 7 0. I love the Captain Marvel series. Ooh, yeah, that's good. great. Yeah. Defenders 78. This is the return of the original right. Defenders. Return of the original lineup. And it is a. What happened to the grade on this thing? It's a nice book, but I mean, it's. Um, uh, I failed to put a grade on it, but it's nice. We have the. After 10 years, the end of the Ghost Rider here. And let there be death. In fact, the Ghost Rider dies. This is the finale issue. End. Of yes, the they're all in. Starting bid one dollar. Yep. And this is uh, Hulk uh, two forty four seven zero. Pretty big guy he's messing with there. This is Tony Stark uh, when they cut shut down his plant. He doesn't look real happy, but it's high grade. That's the Obadiah Stane. Versus Tony Stark uh, rivalry that was uh, the same storyline in the movie. Master of Kung Fu here. Uh, pretty early one. Uh, 50. And it's a nice copy also. Thor, Thor with uh, 238 with the, the uh, Loch Ness like monster here. And, and when you get a moment, yeah. like Captain Marvel 47, can you give the grade for it on the board? I'm sorry. Let's really see what's cool. Captain Marvel 47. Captain Marvel 47. Yes. Thank you. Who's getting this one? Uh, Southern wanted to know the grade. Eight it's point high grade. Eight oh plus. It's a great book. Captain Marvel is so underrated. Yep. It's one of the higher grade ones, but. Uh, I was going to get to the board here. Um, if you would like it, let me know. There is uh, going through this lot again. This is a super lot here, guys. This is uh, Avengers, Mark Jeweler, Captain America versus Doc Ock. Another nice Captain Marvel, 56 here. Yes. That's this is a really nice Defenders, yeah. the a return of the original Defenders. Notice those other guys are not up here with his right. Hulk was the Southern, only one I'll left. take that Captain Marvel, please. All right, we got you, Southern. End oh. of the Ghost Rider, death of the Ghost Rider, and final issue after 10 years in publication. Mississippi. How much is and that? It is, it is um, a 7 0. It's nice. Is this all this, auction? Yep. This it's is all in. auction. Yes, it is. It's all oh, in this begging. It's a, it's a great, uh, I mean, I spread them out to where you got a little bit of everything here. Oh, because Iron them. Man with the, uh, uh, like I said, Tony Stark lying in on the cover there because Stark Industries is at it. Uh, nice uh, Master of Kung Fu all the way back to 30 Center. Very cool Thor 7-0. Back Rebecca to Avengers. Yeah, I, I expected this lot would do pretty good, but I've guessed wrong all night, so <laughs> I'm not. I get yeah, this, that this, Obadiah this Stain. Geek here for ten dollar. That Obadiah Stain Iron Man is a great, great story. That's the rivalry that they depicted in the in the Iron Man movies with the Iron Monger. Yeah. I love that cover with him crying in front. There's of a minute left on the timer. Because Obadiah Stane tries to take over his company in the in the first uh, Iron Man movie. Southern's in at twenty five. Six zero. Mark Jeweler, oh. that's worth the bid right there. Yep. Yeah, you took you took you your you know the Iron Man uh, Robert Downey Jr., who is selling billions of dollars in movies, and uh, took him out, killed him off. <laughs> And then we haven't got a decent Marvel movie. Can you show the Iron Man book again? Yes. I'm going to show them all till we get a... The Iron Man one is one of the cooler ones, I have to admit. But I love Iron Man anyway, so 
I mean, it's high grade. It's Ado, and look at Tony Stark here. And Obadiah takes over. Yep, Sting. Stark is gone. And All I'll right, and that was the timer there. So it looks like we have more than one bidder in on this, so we will go to overtime. How many books total in this lot? I think there's, uh, I believe I've got, uh, yep, nine, enough to fill up a... Uh, nine total, so we nine are Nine total will fill up a... Um, um, Three dollars a book. I can't, I, I thought, you know, like I said, I guess wrong all the time, but I thought with books like this in here. Yeah, that, uh, that one's worth quite a bit, and then so is that. I mean, this is it for Johnny Blaze until they re redid him. 30 seconds on the overtime timer. That's a cool one. I don't know much about Master that. of Kung Fu with the big uh, pistol out there. That's pretty I was good. Say, he's never known to use handguns that I've ever known. <laughs> I like the Thor book, man. Yeah. Like anything with a big dragon on it or something like a dragon. Warmonger. And at 15. World serpent. Yep. Natasha and... Uh, Yellow jacket, That's a yellow jacket and hurt. Yep, yep. And the end line will be dropping. The philandering. We got another bid here. We got Southern. Yeah. Comic. Southern Comic Geek will reset the clock, reset the timer. Gotcha. Notice the little MJ under there, Market Jeweler. And that's a Mark Jeweler. Mark Jeweler in that book is, is a $20 book all on its own. At least and maybe least. more. Because we don't have one, Mike Lawson. They don't have one loaded in, in StreamYard. Maybe I can work on trying to figure out how to do that. Return of the Original Defender. So, yeah, this is, a, this is a special book. This is a very special book. This is just a nice Hulk. 70244 old. This is a super nice Iron Man here. Ado with Tony Stark going out. This is a nice Master of Kung Fu if you're into that. The thing I liked about it is, yeah, you don't see many Kung Fu people. All right, um, so then folded. Done. Thor all the way back to 25 center. We're talking mid 70s, early mid 70s, and finally back to. The one that started it, the Avengers. So yeah, there's the Mark Jewelers, there's the Tony Stark, there's the uh, original Defenders, there's the Ghost Rider. So at least four of them are pretty much key books. There's ten seconds on the overtime clock. In and Miss Becky for fifty five dollars. Yay. Okay, they said that file was too big. Let me see if I can find a smaller file. All right. All right. Got Rebecca here. All right. Thank you, folks. Rebecca, clean me out again. Ah, she's good at that. She, she. Because I have. <laughs> oh, God, that was good. Oh, so Lionel Oh Lord! All right, let me test this thing out. See if this thing works. It is working. It's a little it's small. Am I loving you? So we'll start with this. We're gonna start the auction off at ten dollars, and this Thank is you. a beautiful high-grade copy of Alpha Flight number seventeen, first appearance of Big Hero Six. Probably one of the most underrated animated movies they've done in a long time. It was good.
Thank you again, Christina. And the dates in at 10. There you go. Ew. You make me want moonshine or something. I don't know. You <laughs> feel like dancing on a dancing night away. You make me feel like dancing. That was pretty good. What? Okay, so John wants to know, J1, are you taking a shot with every new bid that you get? Oh, I think he. I think that's what he said. I do believe that's what he said. I'll play it. Hey, hey, let's do it. Here. He said it's on. Let's go. But it has to be in increments of five. <laughs> we'll get him drunk up, up right that here. Tower of Shadows. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that's a good. That's a good way to spend some money. Let's see here. House of Slaughter is number one, ten dollar bin. Mr. Yates is in at twelve. Green Lantern number fifty. Glow in the dark issue. First appearance of Kyle Renner. Everybody ten dollars. <laughs> Man. I know I got Oh, there we go. Here's another ten dollar bin. Smurfs number one. The and Congress. Yeah. Star Wars ninety four. <laughs> The Smurfs are not mammals. They lay eggs, apparently. I thought they were uh, toadstools. I think it's J1 that has his echo on. Because when I'm not here, I'm mute. Yeah, A minute left on the timer. I think it's you, buddy. Let's see. Uh, MT, I'm going to mute you a moment. <laughs> oh, the Green Lantern is pretty darn great. Say got something. One pick. Say something got loud one so we can hear it directly. Understand. He said, now everyone's echoing. I have my echo turned off. I know that. Yeah, my echo cancellation's on. Jen says Green Lantern 50, question mark. Yeah, $10. Yeah, I don't hear it anymore. This... Those were buy it now, the future Batman. This is the book that we're bidding on right now. Alpha Flight 17. First appearance of Big Hero 6. And the bid is currently at $15. What is the grade on a Green Lantern? It has one tick. Oh, God. Oh, he's, he's, he's really doing it. All right. Tape has folded. Not getting any easier, he says. Not getting any easier. No bends. Hmm. Is it a color break tick? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
All right, so Mr. Yates is going to take that one for 15. And Papa said Ben Smurf. Papa's Ben the Smurf. We're going to we're going to miss eight giveaways here if we don't get to 75. Uh, Hard to believe. Don't. Where are we at? We're only at 65. We're stuck on that. And uh, Share it out. Share out the law. Yeah. I guess I guess if I sent, like I said, I sent 75 out. If there's anybody you know that you might want to come to the show. Oh, yeah. I, I sent out 40. Yeah. Invites. So. And then Papa, Papa. I said ten for Smurf. Hello, Mr. Kip, and he says Becky, I sent you an IG. He said to give it to Dana, so that means Dana's gonna have to uh, send me her mess, her what you call it. Sure, thank you, pops. All right. Anybody else? J1, if Pop has a box with you, you're more than welcome to throw it in there. He doesn't, if he doesn't no worries. Yeah, he doesn't have one right now. I okay. just took him. Sure. He would have Ooh. yesterday or earlier today. I'm getting a war. <laughs> Can you please show the Green Lantern again one more time? Yeah. Here, I'll even take it out of this for you. That way you can see how nice it is. Like I said, it's got one tick. Corner to Sharp. It is a new stand. And that one tick is right here at his fingertip. But otherwise. Was that a bin? Or is that your bid? That is a bin. It's one of those ones that looks awesome. But you can't really go wrong with with the uh, in the dark. All right, Mr. MT, are you ready? Yes, 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 yes. All right. Uh, can you tell Mr. Yates how much? I'm sorry, he just wrote yeah. just popped up. Gerald, ten dollars. Nice and cheap. Okay, sorry. It's yours, Gerald. High grade copy of uh, high grade copy of the uh, the Godzilla that we just sold. It is a near mint copy. I can't believe nobody bought that Bugs Bunny book for twenty bucks. It's a screaming deal. Uh, maybe 
it is hard for me to guarantee a 9.8, but uh, it's about as close as to a guarantee on a 9.8 you're going to get out of me. First appearance of Spider-Man 2099. This is my other pristine copy. You can see there's not a scratch on that hologram. The hologram is perfect. Oh, this is the marker that just bled through because I wrote on the book. That's what those two little marks are. First appearance of Spider-Man 2099. Nobody wanted that Godzilla. They were all over the Godzilla hot and heavy. Jin's going to have been your Spider-Man. The future Batman himself. Okay. Okay, eight likes away. We're getting there. We're getting there. He said, read the Godzilla comments. Like a 9.6 near no, me. No, it's probably like a 9.2. Probably like a 9.2. It's got one tick on it. So, I mean, maybe you could get higher than that. But I, if it's got at least one little color mm -hmm. break, tick on it, I don't like to call anything over over a 9.2. But let's, oh, let's see here. It's got, it's got two very small color breaking ticks now I'm looking at. So it's probably going to hit a 9. I'll take 35 bucks for it. How's that? <laughs> if not, I'll happily just keep it. This book is like, gets very popular every now and again. You're right. You're absolutely right. I'm not a fan of it either. I don't know how to turn it back. I'm using a different web browser so that when I go back on the other auction, everything's already all preset. So I'll have to figure that up. Oh, wifey. Okay, okay. I'll do 35 on this. Um, or I'll put it away in my monster book collection. If it doesn't sell, I will take it. Yeah, I mean, for $35, it's crazy. Um, Here's, I really, I've been on the lookout for these books for a long time, and I finally found some today. Um, so I will sell off my other two copies of this. Black Goliath, issue three and four, Stilt Man. There's not, there wasn't a whole high print count, but this was one of the, early early um black heroes it's drawn by jack kirby um fantastic books i'll do the pair of those for 30. somebody wants those i've got the we're still there's still a lot of debate but it does seem like the consensus is that these are early military stamps so this predates the star stamp military stamps used to have that on them so this is an early military stamp book Dr. Sure, they sure do look that way that's a military stamp but it doesn't predate the star stamps uh, i'm pretty sure it does no they've actually used the star stamp since the golden age because i've actually <laughs> got one news to me i'm yet to see one what's that <laughs> yeah, right. I don't have a pink ceiling. I actually painted my 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 office myself, so it actually. Has well, a I've seen all versions stuff. of star stamps too. I got one the other week that looked like a wheel with little pegs sticking out of it. Because like the real the real fine sticker has little star star streamers after the star. But anyways, we've seen them as yeah, we've seen them as different colors. Sun is, yeah, yeah, I got a green the, one. The green ones are the rarest. I've got a green one. They are so hard to get the green ones. 
All right, we're up to 72 likes. I've been going out and asking our buddies that have already been in here. Well, I can do a transformer lot. I can do a transformer lot, or I can do a uh, um, a Silver Age miscellaneous Silver Age, or I can do a uh, where is it? I've got the Daredevil, a bunch of Daredevil books. I'd love to sell them all. What does the people say? Oh, Gino Benito's here. Gino. Gino is here. Gino Benito. My Gino. Oh, that must be what that is. Or is he? Okay, Gino. Got you, buddy. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. I pulled all these books out for tonight, too. <laughs> I also have a uh, uh, an After Hours Carlos lot. Oh, you and me both, though, buddy. I love this book. I, I think this is one of Nakayama's better works here. I love that. The Storm. Um Great, great book. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm taking too long. Yeah, why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? I'll save the other ones. I'll put together a GI Joe lot if we go again. Otherwise, I think it's I think we're time for a Carlos rule lot. Oh, here comes four four feet sake, and I just said I wasn't going to put up the Silver Age lot. I make the boys cry. White Widow number one, and it's all its quarterly goodness. We will do. I'm sorry. We will start this auction out at ten dollars. That was me. I love this issue. This was the Kickstarter. I got this from uh, Jamie Tyndale's booth. I talked to his lovely girlfriend or wife or whoever it was. She was very sociable. Um, she, she's quite cute as well. Mm -hmm. Next book in would be Chaos Quarterly, Lady Death. One of her earlier appearances. Yeah, with says, is it a crispy book? Unread. Unread, unopened. It's perfect. It's a perfect book. Um, now, this book is Persuasion. It is a acetate cover. This one is fairly pricey and pretty rare. Um, I guess if there's no interest, I'll switch the lot up to something else. Ryan Kincaid exclusive. Yep. That book was not easy to get. No. Get your giveaway books ready, folks. Hey, hey, we hit it. We surely did. All right. Thank you, everybody. Now I understand why you weren't answering me. My mute was on. Was that the book you were selling for $10? I had a Jamie Tyndale Kickstarter number one up for ten bucks, which is at least oh. a twenty dollar book. But well, I put be ten dollars in before the end of the line. I'll, I'll go. You can keep. You can keep my timer going. 
Keep it at $10. Tales of Suspense, issue number 90. Um, if this dog ear wasn't on this book, it would be a lot higher. It does have a small there at the top, but um, it's Tales of Suspense 90, a red skull cover. I'm switching up the lot here, future Batman. Nobody wanted my Jamie Tyndale. I did. Yeah, you're not going to get that acetate cover for 10 bucks. Sorry. That's not a $10 acetate cover. I think the last time I looked, that book was like a $50 or $60 book. That's who it was, Mike. The Echo's from a Specky. What? All right. We are at, we are at 75, so... What are we gonna? Are we gonna do the uh, the giveaway after your round, MT? Sure. At thirty dollars, thirty dollars, I will put in a seventy-one. Tales of suspense. Twelve cent goodness. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, maybe I'm done selling for tonight. If I can't sell 12 cent tails of suspense for ten dollars, there's no much there's not much point in carrying on with life. Let me see what else I got I can tempt you with. I got a bunch are you, of are you refusing to accept my bid. Gerald yeah. Yates wants to see the um um I silver put it sable. $10 and you keep ignoring it. What's that? I keep putting in ten dollars and you keep ignoring it. I'm not ignoring you. No, she's up there, ten bucks. All right, that was the in line, so I don't know what's going on. Okay. It's okay. I don't want it anyway. <laughs> Gerald Rates, this is not a silver sable. This is a Jamie Tyndale White Widow Kickstarter. I make Boyd's cry number one pristine unopened from the man himself if you want to buy it now i'll do a buy it now on this book for 20 bucks if you want the evil ernie i'll throw the evil ernie in i'll throw the evil ernie in for another five bucks how's that it's a ten dollar book come here Oh, we didn't have an end line, but what we were ended up bidding on because I switched the lot up was this. Uh, I mean, you basically just got yourself a twenty-five, thirty-dollar book for ten. $10 hey, $10. we got the hoodie comics joined us. Hello, hoodie. This is what we're bidding on. Be sure to leave a like because we're going to be giving away. What? Well worth $11 here. Mr. Jackal. What is that? Uh, how many of these books have you got? I'm <laughs> I've got about eight of them. But considering I can't sell a Tales of Suspense 12 Center issue number 90 for more than $11, there's not much point wheeling the rest of them out. Look at that red skull. Look at that artwork. I would have been glad to have charged, have paid more for it. We're at 15 now. You're ignoring me. I'm not ignoring you. What? Matt, you can highlight. I have to take the dogs out. Yeah, I can. I'm not ignoring you. No one's ignoring you. Uh, it's okay. Look, he's half Captain. Hey, what yes. cut the what cut the echo out there? Is the echo gone? That's the first time it's been clear all night. It's it's Dana. Then I'll leave and be back. No, you better come back, but you gotta say you're sorry you blamed me. It was you because I muted you earlier and it stopped. But I've been on mute in, for a long time and y'all still had it. Oh, don't kick yourself out. Yes. I love you, Dana. 
she's not going to talk to me now. <laughs> yes, you know the the it did have a red one. Let me let me run my one one minute timer here. Um, what else have you got? Tales of suspense that can come in at what price? Nice, Mike. Well, I've got a much nicer copy of '89 that I will put in at forty-five dollars, so thirty bucks on that one. '89, the Melter is much nicer. The green cover. What? Yeah. What? What condition is that one? Um, it's a fine, fine copy. Five, five, maybe a six. Okay, Becky has outbid me. She's up to 25 now in the Red Skull. Paul was trying to sell a a, a, a beat-up copy of this for 60 bucks on the auction. Right? You got a ban on your voice cry and the Ernie for 25 Okay, who got that? Mr. Nash. Mr. Nash, all right. Um... I should have put up my Beatles book. My uh, thing is the Beatles. All right. Let's get serious here. Did Becky bid and I need to highlight it? Yeah, she's at 25, yeah. Sorry, I'm... I'm yeah, I'm, I know. I'm trying to help you keep up with it. The echo's gone, he says. Okay. All right, so I've got the both of these in, and then I'll put this one in. If we are oh, we're at 25, now we need to be at 45 to get this other book in. Go, uh, if you go five more dollars, this is the only book in right now. Go five more dollars, and I'll put this one in, the sleeper. I'll put this one in at 30. Oh, yeah, Rebecca's at 45. Oh, she is at 45. Okay. Oh, a sleeper. Yeah. Okay, uh, go to... No. Where is she? Because I'm, I'm not seeing it to highlight it. Oh, it's there it is. right under the echo is gone from my often. It's Rebecca Rader, 45. It, at, uh, at 65 for $20, I'll put in issue number 74, the sleeper, the final sleep. What price now? Just 20 more bucks. 65. 65. All right, because I've got a 73. You got a 72? I'm, I'm trying to make me a trilogy to sell. That's I got a best. 74, an 89, and a 90. And I also have... Let's see, I think I have one or two more. If I can find myself a 72, I'll have another trilogy, trilogy for sale. Oh, I've got a ton of these. I just got to dig them out. Because that's, that's one of the best stories ever. Yeah, that, that 72, 3, and 4 is probably one of the best stories of Marvel. Uh, I mean, it's Roy Thomas and uh, Stan Lee. Remind me who got that here at the end of the round. I'm sorry, I know this drives the chat crazy. I don't know who's keeping up with stuff, yeah. but you're you're right. Yeah. I'm I'm at sixty five now. Let's just do this. Sixty five. Let's just keep it these three books. I don't want to dig out. I don't want to keep digging for another book. Okay. No. That's fine. With me. I can find a seventy two somewhere. Yeah, it's actual it's Mr. Price that has this at sixty five. Let's just call let's let this clock run out. 59 49 and then let's end it and move it along if papa if papa will let us we can do the the <laughs> likes if everybody's got a book i've got yep. mine ready I've got mine i've got one what are we doing here why do we keep doing this i, well, I added myself back in oh uh, it was right. uh, papa dana all right we're done end line come down it's done we'll move along move along move along all right, there's seven messages in the private chat here. It's us. Okay. 
I have one. All right, good. We can, uh, for every book we've got, we've got people waiting for us to run the. Okay, let me let me dig up that that uh, hashtag game again here. Okay, let's do it. The people that hung with us will be the. So what's the hashtag going to be? Seventy-five. I don't know. What do you think? What do you want? It to I've be? got a Cap America Mark Jeweler, seven point five. I'm giving Ooh, away. Oh, I want to win that. Matthew's got six books. Papa, what do you want it to be? Do you want it to be seven? Are we a seventy-five or like? Yeah, do hashtag seventy-five. Okay. Yeah, we're at seventy-eight. We got past the seventy-five, so. There you go. Hashtag seventy-five, everybody. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a uh, I got a half of a Cadbury Russell Stover chocolate covered bunny. I'm gonna give. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, now how is it? Well, how are we getting eight books in? That's what we told people. Who's giving multiple books here? I'm giving one. Does Papa have one? Matthew Papa. has six. Yeah, yeah. six. What? Papa I bought has six, four. and then and then Ooh, there was um, Tate provided some giveaway books that well, didn't get picked by Mike Lofton, so that's another one would get us to seven. Um, I have one. All right, and Becky we're had do... one, which would get us to eight. T Payne said he had one that would get us to nine. Dana had okay. something. Okay, Edwin so Price has have... one and give us to ten. That's ten books. Ten books we're giving away here. For Wait a minute. So likes. we're gonna have we're gonna have multiple winners here. So which one's this for? Who wants to do those first? Just uh... mine first. Becky, have one. first. Let's do hers. I would say you want to do the order that you're selling. Well, then it would be Tate first. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do Tate's book first. And okay. uh, that was what? This one? Or no, it was this one. Because that Mike Lofton picked that one. So it's going to be this book. Mm -hmm. So Let's do that one first. Okay. Um, you got yourself 30 seconds to get your hashtag 75 in. And I'm going to draw this. We've got a bunch of people put in already. 29 people watching. Only got 24 entries. Okay, there's one more. Of course, it could be the five of us on the panel watching it. YouTube, too, right? Here? Yes, I am. Let's pull it. Here it goes. Round and round it goes. Nobody knows. Papa, no fair. It's rigged. 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 Hashtag Definitely rigged. rigged. Papa can't win. <laughs> Papa can't. Okay, what's next? We're going to do the, the giveaway, the polls that Miss Dana bought. Sure. Papa says respin. We got custodian Ken coming. All right, in. well, respin re -spin for Matthew. Nate. <laughs> Oh, Nate's here. Okay. They'll have Nate message Tate. <laughs> yeah, Nate. Right. Nate and Tate. Nate and Tate. Nate and okay. Tate. So the winner is Nate on which book? On the uh, on the uh, the one that Tate gave away. All Disney. Right. So now this is Dana's giveaway. Miss Dana's giveaway. All right. Miss Dana's giveaway coming up. <laughs> Mr. Nash. <laughs> So, Mr. Nash, message Papa Wheelie, and he will get them books out to you. Congrats. How, how about that? Mr. Okay, Nash. Next is going to be T Pain. Show us your giveaway. Oh, oh, hey, oh, a book. Oh, so cool. All right, wait a minute. I need to get my name in on this. Thing. Yeah, and that's, that's Richard and Mary Parker that he has there. Yeah. Oh, and I need to get in on this. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's go back to sharing my screen here. Let's go to this. Let's draw again. Here we go for T Pain's book. For the big signed ASM. Come on, MT, 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 MT. Uh -uh. Oh. Hey, Roll it again. We, I ain't seen it. Can we too. take him out? We spin I'm that. I can't take him out. <laughs> 
It's your option. You can't win, Papa. Can't win. Classic, classic vigil. Vigil. Classic. Vigil. Classic. classic. All right. Good for him. Oh, Papa's going to have a fit. He's already having a fit. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, as far as I know, we people in the auction can't enter. I mean, no, bam. we can't enter. Well, I we can't enter. So if, we're, I if, can't you're, if you're in there, they need to wipe yourself out. Yeah, wipe well, mine out. I, I can't, I I can't do that. Eagles. I don't win. I just like to watch my name go by. In the whole right. Thing. That's me. Look, if we win, just spin it again. Yeah. Okay. I go next. Edwin, what's, why am I not here? There you it's are. It's supposed to be T Pain Rebecca than Edwin. They like to show, they like to show me like, showcase I me on my all book of and I'll do the other book later. You ready, Charles? Can you oh. see it? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Glow in the dark? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, turn on. Green Machine, you're going to win this one. Don't you worry. DC number one, Dead Man. Very cool. And Boss Cover. All right, are you ready? This I've bike? never Can seen this many it? books given away at one time. Can we give this away? You see justice. All right, I'm going to cheer for Green Machine. Green Machine. Green Machine. Green Machine. Green Machine. Yeah, he said that. Green. Visual. Oh, Green. Oh, right. Can. All right. Oh, man. He, was with us. he was like the first one in the door tonight, man. Yeah. Great good. win. Great win. Visual. You're going to reach yeah. out. To T Pain. I don't know if I have well, any This is T Pain comments. I'll look out on straight line. I'll drop yours, T Pain. Okay. Let's go back we to Miss Becky uh, here. Let me put up her. Uh, let me put up Miss Becky's um, banner here like, so you know how to get a hold of her. I not get a hold from me yet. So just here, um, your uh, ID, like, I need your address so I can say it to you. It's a really cute book. I'm going to bag and board it now. This thing is so pristine. There's not even a tick. It is like the most perfect book, almost that I've ever seen. All right, we got, we got two more entries there, I guess. Um, I read and uh, Mr. Lister's. Sister. Okay, we're gonna run Mr. Jackal's book here, the Armadillo. Or, like you put them in there. I just need one bag. One bag. Here. Only one. Two. Yeah. Here. <laughs> Mr. Oh, Lister, right. Mr. Sister, who oh my God. God. <laughs> been with us the entire night as well. Uh -huh. and his, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about the night after that. Hit me up, Mr. Jackal, 55. Mr. You can Mr. see that his email address is the same as his uh, PayPal, and his IG is the same as his Cash App, minus yep. the dollar sign. Yep. That's right, Mr. Jackal fifty five. I believe that's it, right? That's all the giveaways. What about me? Okay, J one it is. J one it is. Goodness. Goodness gracious. So you're gonna get you're gonna get choice. You're gonna get choice. These are all near mint. You're gonna get choice. What are you doing? You crazy? You have been drinking. Oh yeah. He has been drinking. Good hey, this night. is the greatest giveaway in the history of history of giveaways. All right, let's do it. Good luck. I need to go enter my name in again. Hang on. <laughs> it hurts not being able to, but that's the. Oh, oh, Mr. Vigil. Oh man, is it twice? his night? I tell you what. I mean, are we doing one winner or? Like you would once, or I don't that's think it's legit. there now. But. That's legitimate. Okay, classic vigil. It is. Congratulations, classic vigil. That is a tremendous, <laughs> tremendous giveaway. Please pick out what book you want. Uh, unless you have been drinking like J One, you want that Punisher book. He said you can respin. Okay. Fair oh, enough. That is that is really so that is uh, very I, I mean, hell of a nice thing uh, there, vigil. Yep, yeah, let me put my name in again. Then, uh, that is uh, that is quite a gesture, classic. Thank you. I'm glad I sent you a link. Now we can see Papa win again. Gerald! Oh, Mr. Yates! 
There you go. All right. Congratulations, Mr. Yates. I don't know. If, yeah, I think this a is phenomenal giveaway. Yeah. Take your picture. And I dropped Dave One's link in the chat. Oh, yeah. Let me get his banner going. Do They are all three minty, brother. You take your pick. You got What If the Avengers Lost the Evolutionary War, The Punisher Number One, or Spider Man 2099. Take your picture. Gerald's been here all night. He probably just ducked out, but uh, I'll send him an IG. No, he got it. You got is it. Is there a Punisher, please? Yes, sir. Yes, he has not been drinking. That is that right there? Pick. Oh, my God. That was a giveaway book. That's, That's a giveaway yours, book. Friend. That is the infamous six fingered Bazooka Joe cover. That's right. He has six fingers on his right One, hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Oh wow! No. Yes. There you go, my friend. Awesome. All right. I think that's the longest and uh, most books I've seen given away. All right. Well, I can't be outdone. I'm gonna have to give something away too. Here come Bob. Bob's didn't get that Bagley book. Matthew, what are you giving away? No, we don't want you. What book are you giving away? I'll give something away while he's thinking about it. He's giving away his shirt. I'll take him. <laughs> no, don't you do it. People are expecting me to give away another $100 book like I did here a couple weeks ago. Yeah, let's do that. I got one for the ladies. Woo! Oh, yes. That's a Miss Becky book, huh? <laughs> All right, here's what I'll do. I'll let you pick. I'll let you pick. You can have the Street Fighter Swimsuit Special 2022. You can have the 2020 Sims Swimsuit Special. You can have the uh, David Nakayama I showed earlier. Or you can have this Masters of the Universe awesome Evil Elite cover. Or if it's a lady who happens to win, I'll give you this book, which I guess this is this is not a cheap book either. So, isn't this part of the Seven Sun series or something? I'm not sure. I have no idea. I bought it in a lot of uh, a Xenoscope books. Somebody bought the White Widow, Mike Lofton. In fact, thanks for reminding me because I never wrote down who won that. Yeah, I bid on it, but who binned it? Who binned the White? I offered this for twenty five. I thought somebody binned it. No, I uh, wanted it in the bidding, and then you gave it away. Just... Oh, the two books. I believe that was Mr. Nash, if I'm not mistaken. Mr. Nash? Okay. Because Mr. Nash won... Uh... Yeah, okay. Mr. Nash? Hey, has anybody in the chat ever seen more books given away in a row than that? Nope. I have not. Oh, Becky did the. Yeah, Mr. Nash did. Okay, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, it was Mr. Nash. You okay, well, well, let's run it again. Let's run it again. This is a hell of a lot of giveaways for one night here, gang. That's fun. Hell of a lot of giveaways. Let's oh, Gerald won. What did Gerald win? Nate. Mr. Nate. I think we've established that you can't win more than one, right? Or not? No, we gave the we gave it. Uh, he just we gave it, it and he decided to give it away. Oh, okay, I mean. okay, fair enough. All right, Nate, hit me up, hit me up, Mister Nate, and I will get you. Uh, you can pick out what book you want if you're here. I gave you an option of uh, one, two, three, four, five books to pick from. <laughs> and really, no, these aren't these aren't cheap books. No, they're not. I maybe well, I just the, the thirty people one. that were watching during that were quite. Maybe I just need to well send rewarded. this to Miss Becky, huh? Um, what do you say, Miss Becky? I'll give that to you for your consolation. Uh, it's okay. Does she want it? I'm mumbling. 
Oh. It's okay. No, it's okay. Buy it from you. I can't yeah. have her. I must give it to you for free. I'll look it up. If it's more than like a ten dollar book, we'll talk. Otherwise, you get yours for free. Thank you. It's very sweet. Okay, I think what we're about we're about done then. I can't remember where we are. One again. more, Matthew. Yeah, my oh him. Okay. <laughs> uh, 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 Miss Peggy, she's as sharp, sharp as a tack tonight, I'd say. I'm sorry, Papa. Ooh, that's got some bats, man. Some bats, man. That's a nice pose. The number doesn't really matter. He's, he's oh, you're going to give away a bunch, yeah. huh? The Batman yeah. Gallery, number one. That oh, that's the Robin King, King, right? Okay. Dark, Dark Knight's Death Metal. Yeah. Issue number two. That's a heck of a giveaway there, Pop. Very well nice. done. Well done, sir. Can I get back in? No. Yep, get your name back in. I no, hope we don't win, remember? Well, if he doesn't pick that uh that storm, yeah. Mr. Yates, you're welcome. Congrats, green machine. Well, oh, green. Congrats. Green finally oh. got him one hot dog. <laughs> He was like last chance. It was just like time. It was just no, like don't you know. Don't bad for him. Like the two law of averages finally gets to him. No, like two months ago, that man couldn't lose. We were so sick of he seeing him winning, no matter what room you were oh, in. Oh, okay. What yeah. did he do? Send last chance fingers crossed and leave. He didn't <laughs> want to watch himself win. Oh, he's there. <laughs> well, effing, <laughs> I saw that. Effing me running. <laughs> There you go. See? Congrats, everybody, and thank you all for being here. All right. What is it, my so I think we have, uh, we have Papa Wheelie's last. We're not going any more rounds? Round. Thought we, are we quitting? Pop, you got another round in you, right? I mean, you're, you got you got your round. Your, uh, I'm going as long as y'all want to go. I got finish the round out. Point. We need to yeah, have a round. T Pain says he's ready. I'm ready. I'll, I'll, Becky, go, ready. I'll go as long as you want to. Oh, not long. I'll go as long as yeah. Dana is willing to stick around. Listen, Dana's got to get up really early in the morning. Can I get and, 20 pulls, and please? I'll this in the chat. Okay, pull box uh, $4 each. You get a half dozen for 20 the full dozen for 35 and you can get those random pulls. Or if you want Batman Wonder Woman books, you can get that. So there's two different pull boxes. Prices are the same for each. You know, I'm trying to go into a parade in the morning, an Irish Italian parade. They start drinking early. Yeah. Uh, really Miss Peggy you wants six random pulls, please. Wants a half dozen randos. You can get them after your auction round. Let's yeah, do your auction and then we'll circle back on the polls. How's that, buddy? Jaywin needs to take a few more shots. <laughs> Type in your starting bid for us, please. Oh, oh, what? Uh, Matthew's about to do a shot for us. Shot, 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 shot. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. That looks like Rosé. Is that Rose tequila? He said, woohoo. That's all he drinks. Oh, my brother in law, that's all he drinks too is roast tequila. One shot, he says, and one and done. I think they want J1 to get a few more in him so he can put in a really good book for cheap. Yeah, right. well, if he's giving away Punisher number ones, he's had enough to drink. <laughs> don't get drunk. Yeah, don't get drunk. But thank you in advance, everyone, for next Saturday when you join in, in the drinking and the frivolity to help celebrate Harry's and my 24th anniversary. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Married on fourth on uh, hey. Patty's Day. We okay, we got a $10 builder lot starting at $10. Every other book, uh, every other $10 brings in another book. <laughs> I'll put a 10 in just to see what you got going. Yeah, 
Ariana, issue number one, probably. Now, who is Ariana? Because I really don't know. Yeah, that's, that's number one. Uh, the spider? She's the Mexican spider, because Ariana is yeah. Spanish for spider. Oh. Mexican spider girl. She's down there where old Pedro Paul is from. <gasps> Ooh, there's a nice Harlequin. It's becoming a what? That comes in at twenty dollars. Twenty. Brat. Twenty dollars, oh. you get your spiky bat. And that's what I'm going to come after uh, Paul with next <laughs> week. That sounds like a good idea. But I just want to know, has Paul come by to tell you how beautiful you look tonight? Not tonight, no. No. no he, didn't told, he didn't tell Papa that at all. Oh, my He's God. He's in San Antonio. He has a cell phone. I that's want true. He does. To the Ooh, thing. What we got here? It, that's the, the whatchamacallit? Somebody's yes, call that's exactly it, the whatchamacallit. Yeah, seven years. <laughs> that's interesting looking. <laughs> Virgin Variant 616 yeah, I, I told you I'm not spending any money tonight. Oh, creepy guy's busy tonight? Yeah, he is a little bit. It's not creepy. He just likes pink. I have more pink shirts to work. I mean. No, I would agree with creepy rather than pink. <laughs> it's salmon. It's <laughs> salmon dick. <laughs> that was the best movie. <laughs> pink and salmon. Oh, nice. a good one. That's a nice one. Okay. I'll scoot back up. I don't want to see what happened under that sheet. Scoot up. <laughs> don't get started with those. Uh... The wheels are off. The his, 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 wheels. his wheelchair now has uh, shock absorbers. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Is it your choice or both are coming in? Both? Yep. Your choice, or the one other. or the other. Okay, yeah, one or the other. Coming in at forty. I will do forty because I don't have the double. I have her the single, Gamparella, but I don't have her. So you want the one with the mirror? Yeah. Look, sorry. That's all right. That's what Paul. If you're gonna click, I keep hearing there's gonna be a dunk tape. Oh, we're trying my best. I, you know, I've been pushing that from the beginning. Is that a vampirella? I've not seen that one. Can you hold it up again? <laughs> Long as you remove all trace pack, can I do? Can I? Would you be willing to do this? That's what happens uh, when you have coitus with uh, vampirella. That's what you end up looking like afterwards. Yeah. Uh, 50 seconds left on the timer. Little little copulation activity. Yeah, a little coitus. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, stop it. Oh, I like that well, one. I don't like you. Oh, you got I that like right, that. Mike. Yeah, we need to think about that, man. If Paul gets in the dunk tank, all his hair color is going to come out. What are you doing, <laughs> Pop? You're moonwalking. He got suction. Just a quick question, Papa. How many attachments you got for that suction machine? <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing. I would not have gone there. I've done many That's things. the timer. Okay, and there's this thing. It's like one size fits all. No, one size does not fit all. I'm sorry, guys. And Matthew's, you know. Yeah. <laughs> he hates me. Don't worry. He loves you. You're his BFF. <laughs> That's what he say. Yeah, he does that. Oh, I have that. All right, that was the timer, so I don't know. Miss Becky's in at 15. I had my hands on that lingerie book today, too. And I didn't buy it. If you I probably need a lingerie have. number one book, let me know. I've got about 20 unread copies of that book. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, end line's coming down. We only had one bidder here. Who 
Okay, okay, that's enough. I tell you what, I, I still I was impressed with that giveaway stream though. That was like a round of just pure giveaways. Wow. It's, it's fun to give books away. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, yeah. Think, the, I think the thirty people that were in here and the twenty five that were entered or whatever <laughs> we gotta have a pretty good chance there for nothing. Didn't right. cost them a thing. Let's keep All going. Right. Well, I thank everybody for being with us tonight. Um, hey, we're still going. I thought we were going to do one more round. If you have to go to sleep, you go to sleep. Miss Dane is leaving. I'm leaving. No, round. I mean, if they want to go, I mean, I can go for a little while longer. If you're ready to go, that's fine. I can do it. MT looks like he's zombified. I have had the week from hell. so Yes, um, I, I'm, I'm aware of that, and I agree with I'm you. I'm sorry. Now. I know you have all that stuff going on. I'm just no, if now, you want to go and rest, go rest. Yeah. Um, I will, I'll will. i hang out here for a little bit. All right, T-Pain, take it away. All right. First off, I've got to buy it now. And as we said, this is a Carlos book. Carlos Rule? Ooh, Ooh. zero. Ooh. Um, nice <laughs> body. Trios. This is uh, the Jetsons oh, by uh, Nathan Zerdy. Oh, it's a Zerdy? Uh, yes. Nice. This is number 28 of 100 made. Yes. And you're going to do it as a bin instead of an auction. You suck. I'm going to do it as a bin. Yeah, I need a bin. How much? 50 bucks. I'm not allowed to bin. No, you can bid on We didn't get no rules here. If you want it, get it. No, I thought you can't bin. You can only yeah. bid. No, you can bid. Yeah, it, depends, give it to me. yeah, it depends on the auction, and this is one yeah. there is rules are there are no rules. Yep. Listen, y'all, we need we need the Hello on Wheels to get a little bit more professional, okay? Can we get rules Whoops. in place, please? <laughs> I tried to put rules in, in place tonight. Oh, that was the whole idea of this auction. We were the ones with no rules. Okay, Gorilla Todd, but bends it. <laughs> oh, you dirty bastards. Did you really? Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Got Gorilla, Gorilla Todd missed all the giveaways. Doggone it. We just had a round of, uh, a full round of, how many books went are given away that round? Yeah, it was over 10. Yeah, oh, over yeah, 10 I mean, books were given away. And everything from Mark Jewelers to Punisher number one. Yeah, yeah I cannot believe you gave away that Punisher book. That's incredible. Uh, oh, my auction... This is if, if y'all like old stuff. Give me your starting bid first. St oh, I'm getting there. Five dollars. <laughs> right. Five dollars. We just had Five a little talk about the rules. Five dollars. We ain't got no rules here. We got rules. We Give got us rules. the start bid before you. I'm, I'm running the clicker where we got rules. Man, I'll get immigration on your ass. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Five dollars start line. I've got a golden age book. Nice grade. Calling all boys. Featuring text. <laughs> it's uh, number 17. This book is from 1948. Text Granger. Oh, sorry. Good. So it's five. Is it the, 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 uh, uh, no, no. It's fully attached. This is probably. Nothing's flaking off. Oh, no. I mean, it's, it's a nice, great book. Look at this. Nice. So many of those Golden Age books were Cowboy Western books. I mean, a lot of them. And that oh, is a yes. gorgeous condition. There were more copies of Roy Rogers and Gene Autry printed than anything. It's got this little corner right here. And that's it. I mean... Look, there's the old Butterfinger ad from 1948. And we got a bid at five. If we get to 25, because I got these suckers that are still when I got them. I'll throw in number 15. 1948 also. What was the number to the first one, please? Uh, the number to the first one is 17. I got 15 and 17. 
They're all attached. They're all nice. I mean, they're at least, like I said, this one has that little corner issue, but we're talking a 1948 book here. Thanks, Mr. Yates. Thank you, Gerald. We'll be uh, on uh, uh, MT and I'll be on tomorrow night, too. But if you're looking, if, if you want to collect some Golden Age and get some at a good price, I mean, they're not overly expensive books, but usually when you find them, they're torn to pieces. Matthew, highlight it because it's not letting me, please. Thank you. I've got these. I kind of, I like the old westerns. I've got some. I got a six gun heroes from like nineteen fifty one. I've got a. I got some war comics like naval action and stuff like that from back in the late forties, early fifties. Do you ever run across any Sunset Carson? I have, in my lifetime, owned two Sunset Carson books. Okay. They are hard I, to find. Yeah. I've, I've got one of those. I actually met Sunset Carson back yeah. in, like, 1976. I've actually found more John Wayne comics. Hey, you got Sunset some of those Carson. tonight? Do what? Some, you got some John Wayne? Not anymore. I used to have them. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's oh, another. Can you highlight the 25, please? Yeah, that's for both. They're both uh, 1948s. Uh, this is all I got in this right now, Gorilla. I'm sorry. You know, building eight's hard to find a lot to build with. <laughs> that I'm willing to let go of. Gorilla's getting him a good deal there. Yeah. And with him doing these shows, man, he puts these up on his backboard if he does that. He's got some nice old books in good shape. Yes. Ten seconds left. Is the timer in the end line? All right, thank you, Gorilla. Appreciate it, Gorilla Todd. I'll add these to your stacks. Yes, time does change forward tonight for everybody who it changes for. Yes, it does. Yeah, it changes tonight. It's tonight, man. Spring, spring forward. Yeah. Yes. You could take my comic dog with you. Take what? Where? MT said he's taking comic dog out. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. We... Hey, Mr. Barbarian <laughs> is in here now. Gosh, my man. Hey, whenever you're ready, I'm Barbarian, I think you missed the, the biggest giveaway. <laughs> Oh, you the did, biggest Barbara. continuous giveaway in the history of YouTube <laughs> comics. Okay, um, I have some bite nails, and not really. You know what? I'm not going to do bite nails because everyone's going to yell at me. We're doing it wrong. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the first book up. You think? Get some bidding and get some action. I'll go to the next one. So this first book's going to come up at fifteen dollars. So start me out at fifteen. All right, gotcha. Oh, honey, I've got zerties. I love zerties. is and a lot of zerties. I don't okay. usually sell my zerties, but you know, I have this first one. I think I had it up before. Fifteen dollars, twelve center, number one seventy one. So straight it is. <coughs> He's 0.5. And anybody want me to open it up? 
I might. Empty. You don't know me. Okay. It's not in that bad of shape. Everything's connected. It's got that thing like this empty. And you know who braided them, so I'm sure you've seen them before or heard of them. So, all right, this is a 15, okay? We can start getting those ones in. The next one that's going to come in is from the Golden Age of Marvel Fantasy Masterpieces. See the six old fantasy thrillers of your favorite. This is a 12 center number one. And inside there is a smiling Stan Lee. Yeah, that's a nice book. Oh, do not sleep on that book if you don't have one. That's great. This one, you, open um, up, you open up the cover, and on the back of the cover, he's got Stan Lee sitting on a stool. Let me show him this. This is, um, I'll put this in at um, 35. Giveaway, giveaway. <clears throat> so let's go 30 because I did 15 the first one. 25 when he came up with it. Oh shit, timer. This is the inside cover here. Matthew MT's in at 35, please. I'm just swapping okay. computers. Okay. By Jolly Jack Kirby, I found the things from nowhere. By Dashing Don Heck, beware the ghosts around. By sturdy Steve Ditko, those who change. And by jovial Joey Sinopt, I became a human robot. And by Dick, dar by darling Dick Ayers, I saw the other world. Also, don't miss the swinging intros by old smiling Stan Lee and his corny, candid photo, all on the inside cover. Now, for 50. I will put in a 15 cent Thor for 173. Ulick Unleashed. I have not looked this one up yet. It's got Ulick on it. This one is in, they've got, um, just 5.0. Why are you showing me? I, I'm going to get to him, Kip. I am going to get to him. Okay. There. There's oh. Smiley. Yeah. You're just now seeing that on the YouTube? It's a big lag. In nice shape, that book's expensive. That's pretty nice, isn't it, baby? Yeah. This one's beautiful. Yeah, it has nice. got some ticks, all right? But they're not horrible. There's the ticks that you see the most. And then there. And then a little bit by that staple. Got a little bit of crushing here. Everything's on, nothing's torn, nothing's missing from any of the corners. And this is a 15 center. It's in really sweet shape. So, Show them, yeah. Um, so, this one, what did I say? Where are we at? 30 yeah, I was, just, I was just hoping people got a good enough look at the fantasy oh, masterpiece. I'll go, I'll go slower. What do you want me to show? I, I was just hoping people got a good look at the front of the fantasy masterpiece because it's... Oh, the, um, I can show that again. Yeah, that, that... That's why I was reading it. It had all the, um, you know, the ones they were following with it. How's the waffle, Becky? Well, the waffle's not out right now, and I tell you what, if anyone's paid for it and I can't sell the last eight spots, we just won't have it. And maybe I just don't have luck with it. Fantasy masterpieces from the Golden Age of Marvel. <laughs> How much are the spots? Fifteen dollars a spot. I don't want to force anybody to do it. It's okay. I just don't take them out of the bags. It's giving me anxiety. Oh come on. Oh, like, Who do you think I am? MT? Come on. <laughs> He's out with the dog, you didn't hear me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you saying now, Miss Becky? You're not I didn't say anything. This is in <laughs> 415 Center. It's number 173. It will come in really out of nowhere. We'll do this one at, what did I say, 50? We'll do it at 45. Is the Mr. Collectible in? I don't see Mr. Collectible. 
You mean Mr. Mr. Collector? I don't. I, he was here earlier. I think he left. The Mr. guy with Collector. the Elvis hair. So anyway, that one's Dapper Dan. This one. One is, guess who drew the lizard guy on there? Where? <laughs> on the front cover there. I was just saying. <laughs> Yep. See, it's got all their names on. Look, Jack Kirby, Steve oh, Ditko, here. Don yeah. Heck. That is a, you know, that's a dandy book. That's a really nice book. And that's the end line. I'll tell you what. Why don't you show your uh, your waffle, Miss Becky? Let's see if we can't close that out for you. One minute, because well, I want to sell books. We need to sell books. You just sold them to me. The spider girl welcome. So good today. I hope I can find it. You sold books to me. I know, but I have to sell them more. You didn't spend enough money. Well, I'm, I'm trying to. Show me your waffle. Spend your money, honey. I'll spend the time. Does anybody know Miss Becky's PayPal? It's uh, it's right there, Miss Becky ninety. I think okay. I don't know. I don't know what her uh, PayPal is. My PayPal is Miss Rebecca Raider, Miss Becky 98. It's M I S S 98 at gmail.com. Oh. We'll have her type it in afterwards here. Yeah. Can y'all see me scat and not fall? Anybody see that? Very nice. Thank you. All right, here's my waffle. It's really nice. It is a it was sketched, signed and sketched by Errol C on 71722 on front and back cover and signed by Stephanie Phillips on the back cover. Now the only problem is I can't find his signature back here. I'm sure it is back here. Not on the but he hit it. He is on the front. He's right here. See? Okay, so these are fifteen dollars a piece entries. One, one five. And how many, how many entries do you have left? I have one minute. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've sold twelve, so there's eight left. There's eight left. I want to buy two more of those. You don't have to, honey. I, give no, me one. I'm going to buy two more of them, and then I'm going to buy a third one that I'm going to give away right now. And I will take one. You're too nice, MT. I, I am just, too nice. Way too bad, don't I? Don't let that get out. They might expect that of me every time. I know. 16 is going to go to Miss Dana. And Pop will take two. Oh, guys. I said we're going to close this sucker out, and by God, we are. <laughs> oh, I'm so sick of my, my waffle, huh? <laughs> and James Willie will take two. James, thank you so much. You want me to do the drawing tonight? Yeah, if you want to, you want to get it, if you want to type all your names into the private chat, I will populate the race for you. And uh, can I do it after my sale? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Let's do this um, giveaway real quick. Hang on, let me give away this. Uh, oh, the thing. So I put this name enter. So type in hashtag Miss Becky. Get yourself a free chance to win this slab. You'll be entry number 15, but they get shuffled anyway, so it doesn't matter. Hey, this anyway. was the last round with you guys. So you uh, got your, you got Papa Wheelie with two. You got the real James Willie with two. You got Dana with one. Miss Dana has one, so that would get us to five. And I bought three, so that should close us out, right? You bought three, but you bought two before. That's why I said you didn't have to. That's fine. You bought you five all together. Timothy bought, Becky for me. I don't know who the Timothy is, but somebody named Timothy bought three. That's Timothy. Venomized McCall. Who? Venomized McCall is the only Tim on our auctions that I'm aware of. Yeah. All right, I'll ask him. Timothy McCall. And Michael, which I think is Michael um, from our auction. Prices. 
Uh, or is it Michael 54? Could be Michael 54. Could be Mike Taupe. I thought it was um, R. Michael. Could be Michael Prezes. We'll let you get that figured out here. So Paul has bought one. Teresa has three. Yeah, so it's one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Yeah, one, two, three. 26 Five, people walk, six, watching, seven. and I only have 12 entries, gang. You could win yourself a 9.8 signed slab, signature series signed slab for just typing in hashtag Miss Becky. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Double check. Hey, guys. Uh, since that was the last round, I got to run. I've got kids waking up in the middle of the night in here. All right. Okay. Uh, I would hang around if I wasn't babysitting, but. It's been a wild day. I've had the kids since yeah. two o'clock today. And it's his first time spending the night away from home anywhere besides his grandpa's. So All right. Spidey girl. Okay. Hi, Spidey girl. See y'all. Have a good one. Good night. <clears throat> good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Oh, um, who won it? We haven't we haven't given it away yet. I'm still collecting. Uh, we're I'll seven. cover the last two, and I'll do. Um, we'll do, run the wheel because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and this will be fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Not bad. Nineteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'll cover the last one and we'll do a second one. You got one. all you got all eight from this round? You got eight different I got two from James Willie. Yes. Two from Papa, that's four. Yep. I got one from Dana, that's five. Yep. And three from you. That makes yep. eight. Fantastic. Yep. And Timothy was the last one to buy him. He bought three. So that's eleven. Teresa bought two twice, which makes 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So. Okay. Well, we're at, we're at 18. I haven't seen another entry here. So I'm going to give you 20 seconds. 20 seconds to get a hashtag Miss Becky in. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw it here. We're going to give it away. Okay. Mr. Gates is in for 19. You have... um. Why is Beth putting number 80 down? She's supposed to put Miss Becky. He put Miss Becky too above it. Can you do both of them at the same time? It's not going to register the hashtag 80. Yeah, hashtag but she's saying 80 thumbs up. Okay, here um, we go. She's saying. Here we go. Everyone so much. Hey, right. Miss Liz. So we're at these at 35. Just want y'all to see. One, two. Mr. Lister Fisted Sister. That's a long name. What book did I start with, dude? I just bought from you the um, <clears throat> the the fantasy right. title one and uh, the Sal Buscema Doctor Strange book. The Thor wasn't in it. No, the Thor book we never got to that. So it's just the first two books I bought from you for thirty-five. Well, I've got Marvel's premieres. Featuring Doctor Strange, Master of the Mystic Arts, number eight, rated at a 6.0 by Dr. Edwin Price. Do you, uh, did you write yeah. down Mr. Lister's Fisted Sister for your final waffle entry? Well, that was the final one, or that was the one from you? That was the one from me. You want to just give away yeah. the other one then? Or? Yeah, we've got one more left. Let's okay. spin it again. Let's spin it again, she says. Okay, I'm let's do I'm it. I'm going to find it if I write this all out. Mr. Lister. Sister, Fister, Fister, Sister. Fister, Sister. Close enough. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh, Tate. Tate. Oh, that's a great Tater. name. Mr. Tater Aid. And that goes to Tate. Okay. So if you want to write your names in the private chat, I will copy and paste them into a race, and then we'll run the race for you. How's that? Can I finish the sale, though? Because it really needs to sell some books. All right. Your, lot was, uh, your round was over, Miss Piggy. All right. But, and, okay. 
We'll run you a 30 second clock if you'd like. No, it's this was at 35. I had two of these that I was throwing in. Um, shoot, where did they go? I had quite a bit I was throwing in, but it was the uh, GI Joes. I had a GI Joe number two. Okay. And I have a GI Joe number seven. Okay. And old oh, 60 centers. This one's a little rough but rare. It's in good shape. And what did you want for those? Um, this one's like five. But this one's like, oh, this one's at least, I know it's over 20. So I'll do 25, which I'm at what now? 35? Wait a minute. I won the I won the first two books. That auction's done. If you want to put up the buy okay, guys on these GI Joes, then just put a buy it now on the GI Joes. I got you. One second. So these two are going to be at thirty five for you. Yep. Okay. And okay, and then you've got to buy it now on your two GI Joe books. Right books. now on my two GI Joes at. $25. Yep. That's a great deal. And that goes to Mr. Mr. Fisted Sister. Who? Thomas Green. Thomas Green wants them. That's the Fister Sister? Yes. For the two and I don't know who up under. <laughs> Usually it's their name. So it's Thomas Green? Nope. It's Mr. Lister's Fisted Sister. Just been Sister. those two G.I. Joe books. The name is on the screen. Mr. I know, I gotta look at it. I still don't see it. Where did he do it? Oh, I wasn't far down enough. It's highlighted right next, right above your name in the scroll on the screen. Thank you, uh, Mr. Lister's Twisted Sister. Okay. I know there's Twisted Sister. That was for 25. That was a really good game. Okay. Um, okay. If anybody wants to stay on and buy books for a really good deal, I'm talking anywhere from 15 to 25 through. Just let me know or we can do it on another thing. All right. We're going to go to Mr. Jackal next. I lost y'all. Where'd you go? There you are. Hi. Okay. So back to me. T Pain's gone. I haven't heard anything. Okay. All right, I got, um, I got, I still got the board here real quick. I got uh, uh, two cap Mark Jewelers left, two Conan Mark Jewelers, um, and three uh, Marvel Tales Mark Jewelers. I got a Defenders 84 and a couple, and this is a Miller Daredevil. <laughs> So that's what I got left, folks. Yeah, Mike Lofton, as soon as Becky can get the names written in the private chat, I will run the race for the waffle. Anyone in here that hasn't paid, go ahead and pay up. They're $15 a shot. Yeah, we do have to make sure that she gets her payments, for sure. So you might not be running it tonight. I'm like, MT, you paid the first time. Yeah, I'm gonna pay right now. I'm gonna pay right yeah, now. I believe you. Mr. Edwin, what did you just say? I'm sorry. Um uh this will start at uh, twenty. Twenty, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. And uh I have um Batman two ninety five. Okay, I have paid, Miss Becky. Thank you. And I have Detective. This is even earlier when we got Detective 426, where Batman's getting ready to commit suicide here. Um, and uh, these two books in the lot starting at 20. Uh, somebody's asking about Mark Jewelers. Um, the caps are Mark Jewelers. 
the Conans are Mark Jewelers. The Marvel Tales are Mark Jewelers. And yet, still scrolling across Miss Becky's info. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's me. I'm trying to pay her, and I'm not paying attention. That's okay. Yep, never going to get Mark Jewelers that cheap. Nope. Somebody had a box up the other night that had about 150 books in it, and they were pull boxes, and they said it has a Mark Jewelers in it. Did they okay. sell out? I think, the, honest to goodness, I think they did. I found a couple other cool ones to read, MT. I didn't know that uh, Dr. Sun was in two issues of Nova. These are next on my reading list. Oh, yeah, from uh, from Moon Knight. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. He's actually, you know, it shows him walking around here, you know, the bloodless brain or whatever. Like I said, they have to, they have to soak him in blood every 24 hours or he's done. Okay, who... Let's see. Future Batman got these. There are two, sir. What is your bin? Are you selling anything or are you just doing your... Yeah, J1's store? still there. I'm... If, um, if those books have been up for a while, can we bid on them now? Yeah. yeah. All right. Is the whole bottom row 10? It is. Uh, every, everything up there is 10. And what I was telling you before, those are Mark Jewelers, uh, and those three are Mark Jewelers. So there's five Mark Jewelers still up there. I just binned all your Mark Jewelers. Okay. Are the Daredevils? And no, no. That uh, I actually think I got those Daredevils from you because oh. I kept the ones I needed for my gotcha. collections, uh, my collection and. Uh, the other ones I put up. So you just want the Mark Jewelers. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Mark Jewelers for 10 bucks is hard to come by. Yeah. Okay. So that gets you Captain America, Captain America. And there's 30 seconds on the timer left. And yes, okay. Christina, that would be nice. Yeah. I, I haven't hardly shown my Batman, but it looks like there's no DC people in here at all tonight. So. I am. How much is that? There's it's start it's line. The auction lot starting at twenty dollar. Gotcha. So I got Jen here for his two uh, Mark Jewelers. And I got Becky's Mark Jewelers. That's five Mark Jewelers for Becky. That's gotta be cool, I'll tell you. Yeah. All right. I love that, that issue. Well, Mike, Mike Lofton, Miss Becky, just beat you out. You'll need to go to 21. And the timer did end. Okay, end line coming. To, well, we've got two bidders, so let's go ahead and run him a 60-second shot clock. Oh, okay, Mike Lofton folded. So. And um, I, I put everything in. Okay, that's fine. End line is good. We'll, we'll honor the end line. You got all the bins here, right? Bin all Mark Jewelers, uh, Conan's, the future I, Batman. Yep. My wins in. Gorilla Todd asked how many Mark Jewelers. Okay. I already told him how many Mark Jewelers. Yeah, and that's all that I got left is what's up there. And the um, and Miss Becky took everything equal that Jen didn't take. So. Miss Becky, do you want to confirm that you're okay to run your waffle, that you got your payments that you wanted, but I know? It'll be good for it. Don't worry. Um, did you get what the deuce for that earlier one? Yeah, absolutely. The custodian can got my win. The, 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 um... 
not sure what's going on here. Wheels on the bus go round and round. Are we ready to go over to Mr. K1A Bob? No, I don't think so. No? I think he's in the restroom. Yes. And then we have Mr. Fister for the GI Joes, and you are on the... So I guess. What time we can we can run the race then? Let me uh, let me get this going here real quick. What kind of race you want to run, Miss Becky? Ducks. What else is there? We we always run ducks. Okay, let me show you. Uh oh, all I see is a white screen. What's going on there? Oh, that's the Paul screen of death that he always shows us. All right, let me remove this. Let me add it back in. <laughs> okay. What's going on here? Can't you see the race going on? There we go. There we go. Okay, we got ducks, emojis, leprechauns, spaceships, robot timers, the monster race, aliens. Do, 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 do. Aliens. Okay, aliens it is. Someone in the room if you need them. Oh. I wasn't logged in for some reason. So it only lets me put in a certain amount of names because I'm not logged in. It's palpable. All right, we got all 20 names in here, all 20. Where's the book? Where's the book? Oh, here it is. Hey, man. We're going to do a one minute and one second race. Yeah. I can't pick it up. It's getting there. It's picked up. Hey, okay, it somebody up. in the chat, please give me how many times you want me to shuffle. If it's an unreasonable number, I'm going to ignore Four you. Times. Hello, Mr. Fox. Wrap around. Look how pretty Miss Dana is. I like that. I wish my hair would do that. I can't get it in my head. It's off of my head. All right, Miss Dana, why don't you why don't you give me the number of uh we will yes, see the dad, it's there. Collectible did four. Miss Dana's gonna give it to me. How many times am I gonna shuffle? I would say five. One, two, three. Four, five. Good luck, everybody. Good. good luck. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's give away a slab, a 9.8 signature series. How about it? Come on. Well, we've, got a heated race. we've got a heated race by a green, green alien on a unicycle followed by a, a purple squiddy monster. I'm predicting James Willie. Oh, no doubt he's coming up. Mr. Lister stayed back. He might be the one. 
Mr. Lister, Sister Fister might just be the I'm one. I'm going in the back till nine seconds, Mr. Price. Where are you? Nine seconds. Oh, there you are. Christina, come on. You're right in the middle. You definitely Shh. want to be out front yeah, early. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. Don't go out too early. Come on. Oh, can come you take back. Paul out? Seconds. Somebody's got to take Paul out. Yeah, we should have taken Paul <laughs> out. We raised him. Paul out. <laughs> Shouldn't even put him in there. Paul's making a run too quick. No, but there's someone over there going to be coming. They're backing off. Watch, like I said, about nine seconds. You can tell who's going to put uh -oh. There it is. Uh oh, Mr. Timothy. Yep. There McCall. you go. There you go. Congrats. Huzzah. All right, Mr. Becky, show me one. Timothy, that was. Venomize McCall. Okay, Venomize, you can here? stop running. Don't <laughs> stop running. Come on, Timothy. You won the race. You can you, you take a left. All right. Show him, Miss Peggy. What did he win? Venomized. Is, is he in the room? Yeah. No, but he'll watch it on the rewind. I want to make sure it's him because I don't think he's paid. <laughs> so he's going to pay me before he can have it. Well, he's going to pay you now. Congrats. Congrats. You won. Thank you, everyone, for helping me. I just finished my very first waffle. Huzzah. I feel and so. And the peasants rejoice. Wait. What's the next one? The next one is you're going to freak out. It's going to be a little naughty. Oh, that's my type of book. Okay. My favorite types. <coughs> All right, Jay. Excuse me. I am so sorry I had to step away. Um, okay. I did not know that this moonshine uh, affected my fart shit separator so much. So <laughs> I had a fart. And it, it kind of changed along the way. So it, it was turn my black leather chair brown or go take care of it. I want to turn my blue eyes. It ran right through you, huh? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I want to make my brown eyes blue. No, my blue eyes brown. All right. So so we're going to go back to the to the medicine that did it. You know, well, you, you got to stay consistent. No, visit Paul. He's got lots of that Pepto Bismol. You got to stay consistent. Bind it up and then keep. And Mr. J1, do you have any more shirts left? I do. <gasps> you have shirts? We got some yeah. new people in here. Let's tell them about I the shirts. Know. Oh, God. Miss Becky's right, been here the whole time and she don't know about the shirts. I, got, I only have two left now. <gasps> it's one of them. But if, like, I, I'm going to order some more. This was kind of like a little sample. Uh, just like I've got on right here, J1 and Bob Comics. Uh, I have two left. They're both extra large, and they are twenty dollars. If anybody's interested, and they do run them. big. Yeah, they they do run a little big. I need you to run um, me two X. I had two X. Like I only had three of each. That's okay. When you order, can you put one in for me? I'll prepay. Oh yeah. <laughs> But I have two more, two uh, extra larges, okay. which they're, they're they almost run about what what a two X is. Um, so this says one for five, and that's just not right. This is going to be fun, and and I'll tell you right now, there is exactly fifty poles, and if we sell out. Mm -hmm. In the very last round of the thing, I'm gonna give away a, a nine eight uh, slab first appearance. Uh, nice, actually, Kip D. I can get. I think I can possibly get all the way up to four. I don't know about five. I think Papa. But I've got a. Your last I've got a very very nice nine eight signature series box right here, um, Mike. I think. Hold on, let me look. This is who I packed today. Mike, you are packed up, sir. You are packed and shipped. They're $10. And there's maybe two books in here that aren't worth 10 And there are a ton of books that are worth a whole lot more. I just wanted to kind of go with a bang. Okay, so what's the deal? One more time, recap that for us, please. $10 polls. There's 50 total. If I sell it out, quick, fast, in a hurry, I've got a hell of a 9-8 signature, uh, not signature, 
I got a hell of a nine eight first appearance slab I'm gonna give away. Uh to the uh, like like a like a drawing of whoever gets put. All right. Or uh, what's in the box? Are they moderns, Are they all over the place, they They are all over the place. There's moderns, there's silvers, first appearances, keys. Uh, I got they, two down there. What's that? I just typed in the thing. I put it in there. Two two pulls. All right. I mean, they go all over the place. Now you're first. Oh, okay, you're back. There's one. Give me a dud. And there's two. Rebecca, you got a sub oh mariner number 16. Wow. That's and an incredible book for 10 bucks. Oh, Star Wars. Star Wars 94. I love the Ewok cover. It's one of my favorites. So that's $20. Yeah, I'm in on this. I thought I'm for some reason this. there were slabs. I'm in on this. I was like, damn, that's good. Okay, Mr. Future Batman would like to have one pull. He one says two now. Say the future Batman. Two now for Mr. Jen. Okay, you actually got a pretty nice one. Uh, it's a modern, but it's a nice one, trust me. Uh, it it's is the variant for it? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one. Uh, not a $10 book. And that is... Oh, the future Batman, I'm sorry. He gets one more. He wants one more pull. Okay, I'll get you one more. You want two total, Jen, or you just want you just, you want three, or you want two total, Jen? Please clarify. Oh, looky there! There you go. How about that, Future Batman? Fuck's sake, what is your doing? These are not ten dollar books. That's the point. <laughs> Oh my saying. goodness! Where did you run across those? That's a forty-dollar book for Pete's sake. That's Thanks, the hurry up. Oh, he wants one more. Okay, three total for him. Yeah, I'm sure he wants three total after that one. And right, James Willie will take some, but wants to know if he can pay by Friday. Absolutely. How about Luke Cage Power Man Annual Number One? Jesus. I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Yeah. So that's yours. Who's next? MT, three poles. MT's getting three. We got one. Oh, MT. Oh, 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 oh. Talk to me, Goose. Talk to me, Goose. Oh. Okay, you did pretty good. I'll show you, I'll show you in uh, order. You got the Marvel Super Villain team up. Oh. Yep. Number one. Oh, you got a beautiful Tales of Astonish, 86. And you got the Inhumans number one. Ooh, wow. Well, wow. that's pretty wow. good. That's pretty good little pulls there. I'm telling you guys, these aren't yeah. these aren't ten dollar polls. No, they are not ten dollar polls. All right, They're next up is James Willie for five. Five. We got one. Now, like I said, there's a few. That are that are in there that are like under, but for the most part, I went through and was like, "Yep, yep, yep, okay, yep, that's good, perfect." These have been twenty to forty dollar books. He's been pulling out of here. All right, James. If it wasn't so minty, I probably wouldn't have put it in there. But I mean, it's 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 absolutely perfect. Uh, Marvel Age 113. Um, then you got the Ooh, Iron Man go. 200 newsstand. Yep. Ooh, you nice. got Iron Man number 45, Calamity on Campus. Indeed. You got a minty no prize book oh, if you wow. are a Stan Lee fan. And you got uh, Spider Man Shadow, Spider Shadow issue number one. So not as nice, but still definitely not bad. Can't, com can't complain there. All right. Pop will take three pulls. Pop it, three you, pulls. <clears throat> I still can't get over that Submariner book in the beginning. That's one of my all-time favorites. One. Two. And three. All right. We'll put that one there. We'll go in order of niceness. So Marvel Age preview number one. That is nice. And it's minty. 
And then you got the Punisher War Journal, number one. Again, it is minty. And then you get Tales to Astonish, number 71. Wow, yeah, that's a key issue. For $10? Not not bad books. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Who's, who's, who, who, who's for, for those Pop. three? That was for Pop. Pop. Is this hey, look. Uh, <laughs> Timothy McCall is in here. Hey, you want us good slab there, buddy. Venom Venom I think it was him. Did you buy three pulls from me? From my, yeah. from my waffle? Because he bought, he bought waffle entries from me, I think, on that same night. So it's probably him. I'll All right, we'll go in order of niceness. Rebecca, these are yours. Okay. You got Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, number one. Not really anything crazy, but I really like the art on it from Greg Land. And then you got a Minty Swamp Thing, number 10. There you go. That's a good one. And then you got a Tales to Astonish, number 76. Wow. Wow. Again. Okay. Let's have some fun. Come on, guys. Let's sell it out. I oh, want yeah. to give you away this nine eight lab. If you put my you the back, I'm telling you. And then we got Michael Offland three. One. Two. Three. Oh. No, 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 no. All right, we're going to put that there. These are absolutely gorgeous Hulks, uh, 380 and 381. They're, they're just beautiful high grade. And then um, somebody help me out with who the first appearance of that is. That is Young Stature. Man. Yeah. Stature becomes um, – um, she beca Cassie Lang becomes Stature. There you go. That was a $30 book for months. There's, there you go. Those three. That's Mike Lofton. All right. Anybody else? Come on. We, we, we got about halfway through. Let's let's do it. Please. I'll, I'll tell you. You know what? Fuck it. I'll just show you the goddamn slab I'm giving away. How about first appearance of Silk in a 9-8? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> let's do it. Ooh. All right, give me two more polls. I'll just round it off at fifty bucks. Maybe I'll just buy sell this. Second. Sell this son of a bitch out. Wow. Give me two more. Make it even fifty. Even fifty. Well, you you did much better last time. I'm sorry, but that's okay. You got that's a minty okay. yeah, Wolverine forty eight. Oh, weapon X. Yeah, yeah. Weapon X. Yeah. Still a nice book. Yes. And you got a new Stan Punisher War Journal. Well, that's not bad. No. That's not bad. But compared to last time, you, yeah. Right. Still, well worth well worth 10 bucks for Punisher War Journal. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Don't let us down. Well, how many you got left now? About that many? Uh, it's still a lot. Pop wants another two pulls, he says. All right. Two pulls coming up, Papa. We got one. Oh, that's a sexy one. And two. So you got Punisher War Journal number six, the Wolverine. Newsy, beautiful. And... I can't remember who did that cover. Jay Lee. Aha, there we go. The Jay Lee House of Slaughter one. There's not many indies in there, but there was a couple. Anybody else? I don't even I'm going to dig through here and find the shittiest book, Batman. 
goodness. Don't make it lame, he says. Come on, they haven't had a lame book yet. What are you talking about? I'm talking that jive. What kind so what what did what's your, what kind of what kind of books do you think are ten dollar books there? Some men you Mr. just can't please. You can. Well, how about Captain Marvel and Hook Lee carnized? Oh yeah. And first, first appearance of Star. Uh huh. Nice. How about first appearance of uh, Yolanda Holy Belova as Black Widow? Damn, nice. <laughs> that's going to me. Damn it! Are those yours? That's an incredible pull. Who got those? That's future yeah. Batman. Uh, nope, they were MT's pull. I thought I saw MT first. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better, Future Batman? Yeah, that's a fantastic poll. Your first ones were lame. God. Yelena Belova? I love Yelena Belova. The girl who played her on the show and in the movie, man, she is a fantastic actress. Oh. Becky, Becky, Becky. So you got You're the Villain, the Terrifics, number 18. The... um, Bizarro. Bizarro. Thank you. Oh my gosh. The Bizarro. It, it, it's minty. And then you got a high grade X Men 198. Chris Claremont. Oh, damn. How about a, and an X Men 140? How about an X Men 140? Thank you. Windy Bo. Windy Go. How about an X Men 140? God. Windy Go? If I'd have known that, Yelena Belova was in there. Good night. That was Rebecca. All right. Papa we... saying that Thundercats is one is in the pull box. Pull me in. No, there's not. And if there was, I'd make sure I'd give it to somebody else. All right. Give me two more. Give me two more. God damn it. I mean, you guys don't have to keep behind them. I don't want to. I'd like to chat to get them. Well, that's um, fine. They're, 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 I'm not stopping them. Come on out there. Come on, guys. All right. Well, here's your two more. <laughs> This is empty. All right, so here's here's your here's your your crappier of the two. And your crappier. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 382 high grade. Um, one of my more favorite issues where you know Hulk kicks the crap out of Spider-Man. Cool. That's a McFarlane. Yeah. Oh, but not, Incredible not Hulk 166. Go and back to the other one. Go back to the other one. Is that a McFarlane book? No. Yeah, it is. No. No, exactly. What's the signature? It's Bagley. It's Bagley, but I thought he did might have done the interiors on that one. That's all right. I'm not worried about it. It's all good. It's all good. But then But that Hulk book is a good one. That's the first appearance of ZZYX or whatever. Uh-huh. So that's yours. Come on, guys. Almost there. How Mr. Collector's left? taking two. How many are left? Count them. One. Hold on. Let me get Mr. Collector's two. Oh. Yeah. Mr. Collectible, you're getting some? Yay, Mr. Collectible. Mr. Collector, one, two, three. You got the uh, Nightwing number 70, first appearance of... Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. That was a key book. And then uh, Wolverine 79. Uh, again... Another one of my just beautiful issues. I love these. The Broken Claws. Oh. So, that is Mr. Collector 1, 2, 3. Future Batman, the Instagram is scrolling on the bottom of the screen, buddy. Yeah, J1A Bob. I it, just put it in the chat. Thank you, Miss Tato. I think you got my one DC book, Edwin. Well, that's fitting. You ready? Born ready. Oh, nice. It's it's not a bad one, though. Well, Wonder Woman is busting loose. Courtesy of Roy Thomas, Gene Cohen, and Romeo Targo. 
I'm actually going to okay. see Roy here next week. One one day yes, CR. Are. Uh, issue number uh, two eighty eight. Put it with my t shirts. You better believe it. Well, how many left? All right, now I'll count. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 left of the 50. If my OP pads are doing that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make a wheel quick, fast, and then hurry. Don't worry. You don't get sick and keep doing that. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got an awesome transformer lot for tomorrow. Oh, my Lord. Am I, am I good here? Am I still here? Yeah, you just came back, yes. Okay. Yeah, this is what happens when he hits the sauce. <laughs> All right, we got 14 more books. Come on, guys. 14 more. We got to sell the 14 or I'm not going to give the slab away. Not fair. Being on it. Let's do another round. Come on, somebody buy some and I'll, and I'll clear the rest of it out. Give me, give me what, the very last one in the box. Last one in the box. So we got 13 left. Uh, Mr. Price. Tell me it's a metal dog thing. cover. It's, it's a Department of Truth exclusive. Oh, he loves those. <laughs> <laughs> we're, just play, we're just playing at this point. Okay. I like that one so much. Give me the, give me the next one. All right. I got to have some ballast for those t-shirts. Oh, it's even better. It's even better. I can see it coming. Oh, it's a Dr. Afra. Star Wars, War of the Bounty Hunters, Dr. Afra. Okay, okay. That's not a bad book. It's not a bad book, but it's just not an Edwin book. No, it's not an Edwin book. No, it can be a nice giveaway. We give away a lot of books. Yeah, that's right. Thank That's you. I, I did four more. Unless there's someone. To nope. You're up next, Miss Becky. Four more. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right. Here. Oh, cool shit. You did pretty good. Doing good. Mr. Price, I think you went out. You, you just you, you chose the wrong end. So a nice X-Men 248. Oh, that's, oh, that's a made. metal a metal cat cover. That's even better than a metal dog cover. <laughs> Damn! Uh, oh, I'll tell you, that's is that Venom a twenty six? Oh, there you go, Sunfire. That's a good book. Was that a metal? One eighteen. That is in the ten dollar book. That's way more than a ten dollar book. So is that one. And and X Men one thirty nine. Thank you. Well, you did real well there. Hey, those are good. You got the uh, Bronze Age x -Men's. So it was a metal cover? No. No, No, I'm just teasing nope. Mr. Edwin Price about that. I'm the only one that ever had a metal dog cover. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how many I had you got two, two of them, actually. Five, six, seven. I think there's eight left. There's eight left. All right, Jack, I'll split these with me. I'll close this sucker up. You got you guys can do it. I got faith. I'm trying to get him to, I'm trying to get him to buy metal dog cover. Papa Willie, he's you want number two from the left or the right? <laughs> number two win or second from the last? Lord. 
What? What the floor? That kind of like resembles the sound I made earlier, but. <laughs> Now I've heard of port and starboard, but I've never heard of floor. He said left or right. You said front. Yeah, it's all right. I just took it from the right. That's not. Ooh, yeah. There you go. U.S. agent, nomad. Well, I I tell you what. I'll blow. uh, I'll blow twenty more bucks to make it even fifty or whatever. All right, Miss. The price will blow the floor. Papa. Nothing else you need some giveaway yeah. folks. You could end up walking out of here with some silver, some bronzies. All right. Yeah, that's true. I, I said I'd take two more to make it 50. Two more. We'll type it in the chat, make it official. I didn't type the last one, but I will. I, I'll, <laughs> all right. I will. It's fine. Oh, I got to keep these people in line. <laughs> Follow them rules. Okay. Same? Two pull. Uh, <laughs> These are his, so whenever right. they actually shows up, there we go. You got a twenty ninety nine. Well, that's not bad at all. But you also got first appearance of the stingray. Oh, nice! Really? That'll do. You're kidding me, bro? Ho ho! Touchdown! There you go. Touchdown! Well, that just paid for every single pull you had today. Yes, it did. And I got a lot of giveaway. That's good. Just, I can just, always just count on my, my cuz. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so how many we got left now? Five. Five left, Jackal. Buy two more and I'll buy the last three. The Stingray just paid for all your pulls. Five more. I'll buy all okay. five. Give me all five. James Willie just bought them all. Give me the last five. No, I think James, James Willie didn't do it. James got it first, then Papa. Oh, then that was me. I, I typed really. that in. I typed in five pulls on the wrong thing again. Here we go. Looks like the, the real James Willie is going to get the real last five pulls. Real James Willie, please send. James Willie, he wanted five ten pulls, right? You want five pulls, James. Just making sure. Just make sure, because you said bin five. That doesn't mean five pulls. We clarify, please. Just, just make sure you say you, you wanted all five pulls. Let's finish her off. Yes, all the pulls. Yes, all pulls. All right. Can we move this? All right, here we go. You got a beautiful copy of What If Avengers Lost the Evolutionary War. Yeah, that's a great book. You got a beautiful Web of Spider-Man number one. $20 book. First appearance of Ronin. $20 book. Uh, Iron Man number 78. Vengeance in Vietnam. Yeah, went to go oh, find those are guys. good ones. Vietnam's where he got his heart screwed up in the first place. And a Perillo Wolverine. All nice. right. James, I'll trade you one of my books for the Wolverine. That's comparable. It's really okay. All right. Good night, Mr. L. Green. Thank you, Good friend. night. Have a good night. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, J1 is populating his giveaway or his yeah. deal or race me, or whatever. Give me like five minutes or so. Well, I got to go do my round, so you'll have at oh, least that's that perfect. amount of time. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you, thank you. That was fun. While you're trying to very happy, Jen, I never what just give away this nice the, key. What was that one book, Jen, in the first three that you said was very cool? Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to dig through all that right now. Is it at the bottom somewhere? Oh, wait. In the, the last set you got? No, I, I was just asking Jen. Jen said when I got those first three that I didn't know anything about, he said that one is a really cool book, oh. and I didn't know what he was talking about. So. J1, Mr. Collector's asking how much is shipping. 
Oh, yeah. Um, so, Mr. Collector, I do $10 shipping for up to 10 books. After that, we go to a medium size, legal size mailer, which is 17. Uh, I ship everything priority and insured. And I use uh, like Gemini. So, I mean, I, I, I yeah, it's pretty good stuff, I promise. No problem with your shipping. Whoa. Kip is salty tonight. Gemini. She made me pay extra for my books. <laughs> All right, we'll go to the next. Go over to MT. Let me let me make this wheel real quick. Okay, gang. Don't know what happened there. Ah, thank you, Jen. Oh yeah, the Department of Truth. Um, I have got. I forgot about this. Uh, apparently, this is the first appearance of the Infinity Rings 11. And this is, I guess, the one you want because it's got the Infinity Rings on the cover with Thanos. And it's Spider Woman 5 variant, Spider Woman 5 variant, Spider Woman 6A cover, 6 variant, second print of number 2, 5. Uh, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books in here. Seven books in here. I will do them all for uh, 40 bucks. I know some of these went for a little bit more for like $10 books, but uh, I'll do all of them for 40 bucks if somebody wants those. I know Spider Woman's hot right now. Um, Okay, this is what we have to work with. Either I will put up a G.I. Joe lot or I will put up a Daredevil lot that has this many books in it. And it will go cheap. Or I can do a G.I. Joe lot with the high grade. They're all high grade copies. Marvel issues. Uh, like that one's got a bunch of first appearances in it. Issue number 50. Um, if you're going to go to dinner with Destro, if you want to go dinner with Destro, what better issue to have signed than side by side with Destro? If that's not the book to get signed by Destro at the Destro <clears> dinner, <throat> I don't know what is. That's a cool one. All right, let's go with Daredevil yeah. then. Is it going up for auction? Um, I can do the G.I. Joe lot tomorrow. We'll do Daredevil because that was the only thing we got to ask for. That would be the other one, the new Cobra Commander, plus another 10 other G.I. Joe books. So we can do those tomorrow. Okay, one of the hottest books in the land right now is the first Daredevil and Punisher, the old Dirty Harry cover. No more Mr. Nice Guy. This is an extremely, extremely high-grade copy. Uh, I was oh sorry I forgot to put my starting bid in. Look at that! I'm breaking, breaking my own rules. I'm breaking my own rules. You do it all the time. Yeah, that's true. That's true. When did you become J one A Bob? I G for you sent M T. You got it, buddy. I'll okay, send, I'll put it in the chat as well. You wanna you wanna highlight bids for me? Here's the deal. I got the whole stack of Daredevils here. All of them are VF near mint books the whole way through. Some of them are keys. Some of them are filler issues. Doesn't matter. They're all $3 a piece the whole way down. The whole way down. $3 a piece, but you're going to have to go 20 on the high grade big book here. High grade on this key issue, uh, the Dirty Harry. It is pristine. Pristine. Miss Becky in at 20. Okay, and I've got 218, 223. I'm going to do this so I keep them in order. Mike Lawson in at 21. 229, 231. Here's a key issue. Here's a big key issue. First, um, first nuke. 
That's a big key issue. Two thirty-two, only three dollars a piece will get you there. Second part of that story: two thirty-three, two thirty-nine, two forty-six. So I get the next ten books, right? Miss Becky's in at fifty. Two forty-seven. This is a famous cover where he's wrestling the alligator. Here's here's another ten. Here's a ten dollar book. Uh, Daredevil versus Wolverine, three dollars. That'll go into three dollars. We're gonna go three dollars the whole way up two fifty. All VF plus near mint books. This is a key uh, part of the key story with um, Kingpin. Another colossal battle between uh, Daredevil and the Punisher. <laughs> Bangles in the park. Bangles in the park. Uh, this is the Inferno crossover from X Men. The Inferno crossover from X Men. There's the other part of the Inferno X Men crossover. Here's a demon baby. How many is only? Uh, here's the other. The end of the Inferno crossover. I will. I will. Uh, yep. I'll, I'll get you a count here. The Hangman. Waits for no man. Here's the black heart issue. This is the black heart issue with Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man crossover with Black Heart from Ghost Rider. Here's another famous cover 271, 272, 273 versus Jive Turkey. Um, this is the Inhumans crossover with the Inhumans. I can't remember what that girl's name is, and it's driving me crazy. I, I almost pulled the book out to read it because I couldn't remember her name. Um, Acts of Vengeance crossover, and here's another very famous co cover, his battle with Blackheart in the Heart of Darkness. That's the last one, 278. So, one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 28 times 3 would be 75, 84, $84, so $104, let's just call it an even 100, and they're all in. Thank you, to include the We'll call it an even 100, and they're all in. All in from the Becky. Fantastic. You can run me a, a one second timer or how, how much ever time we got left. All right, this, everybody folded. These are all high grade books. All of these are high grade. They're all gorgeous. It's a Daredevil collection in a box. They're all complete. I mean, really, these are high grade books. There's some keys in here. There's some $10, $15 books in here. You'll do just fine with these. <clears throat> Great book. Um, I'll flip through them just so everybody else can see what's in here. Of course, the Dirty Harry. You got the Jester book. In a corner, the Inferno crossover, and then you so got Mr. it. The collector said the girl's name is number nine. Number nine. Excellent. Thank you. I think something key happens in this issue, too. I can't remember, though. Hey, but that's Aussie. That's a big key. Hey, Aussie, Pop and Paul. 
that must be Paul's alter ego, huh? <laughs> That's his Canadian name. Rot Gut was here. That might be a first appearance. Let's see if I can open up my uh, list here of, of keys that I had pulled for this. Of course, you're, you're not going to cooperate when I need you to. He said drunk. And that's the end. Um, in line. 247, 248 was a key. 249 is a $10 book. It's the, I think this is the first full bushwhacker. Um, 250. That's a good one. 250 is the first appearance of Bullet. 251. This is the first full appearance of the Wild Boys. This is a $15 book. Famous uh, battle between Punisher and Daredevil. This is a first appearance of Bengal, a vigilante hunting those who've committed war crimes. Look at that. Um, oh, crap. I forgot how expensive that book was. Oh, well, here, this is for a deal. This book right here, that's a $30 book. A $30 book. I just sold it for $3. I'm okay with that. You okay? <laughs> That's a good one. You been drinking, son? Uh, apparently I have. Apparently I have, or I need to be. First appearance of shotgun. You're tired. Um, well, you should be, but you know. All right. Well, I don't want to take up any more time. It's. I'm sure people want this this uh, race to be run, but you did very well. That's a ten dollar book. <laughs> For a hundred dollars, you should do well. Flip the knees, and you got this one, of course, which is the really hot book right now because of Punisher, Dirty Harry. Okay. Hey, Mike Lawson, I just gave I gave the opportunity on an incredible run of the Daredevils. Um, could have been yours, buddy. Could have been yours. Okay, take it away, J One. We're going to run this race. Pop, do you want to do your round? Are you ready, J1, or what? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. So I went through. I only had 48. So I grabbed two. And, yes, this is actually two pulls. So I just need somebody to claim the last two, and it will take me about a second to put their name on the wheel. Yeah, it's probably one day. I probably should have let. I probably should have described the or shown all of the. Hey, Prime grabbed them. The, I got in before him. Wow. I thought, no, wait a minute. Now I tried to claim. No, nope. Tate way got him back. Who got him? Tate did. It's showing Tate. How did yeah. I? Know? All right, so Tate. I had to. I, I had to get something nice because I, I had to literally just hurry up and grab. Yeah. So. You got. Invincible one, Spawn one, Undiscovered Country one, Ice Cream Man one, Bitterroot one. That's your one. And then you got the 1992 set of one through four, first Dark Horse issue of Terminator. You got the whole set, issues one through four. So... That's your key. Hey. Is that the same Terminator that has uh, the first Alex Ross art cover art in it? Is that a different one? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because <clears throat> it looks like this. All right. So, Tate. <coughs> and Tate. I think Tate did okay there. He did. All right, let me share my screen. Yeah, it's a different series, must be. All right. 
So this is everybody on here now. Five James Willies, two Edwin Prices, a Papa, five, four Rebecca Raiders, three Edwins, two Mister Collectors, two MT, three more Rebeccas, two more Future Batmans, two Papas, three Mike Loftons, three Rebeccas, three Papas, five James Willies, three MTs, three Future Batmans, two more Rebeccas, and last but not least, two Tates, making a total of fifty entries. I'm going to shuffle it up seven times because that's always my lucky number. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Good luck. Come on, MT. Come on. I've never won one of these wheel spinner things yet. No, I've never won a wheel either. You're lucky night, dude. I've won, I've won you occasionally. My, duck, my ducks occasionally come yeah, through. Yeah, but never a wheel. Not even it doesn't look like tonight's gonna be my night either. God damn it! Well, it's close to you. All of mine are on the other side. It just keeps going and going and going. Mike Lofton is deserves a win, though. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Blow on the wheel, blow well, on the wheel, blow on the wheel, blow on the wheel, blow on the wheel. You got it, MT. Oh my God, no way. Nope, it's oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> Stop now. Stop. Stop. Yes. Well, false hope that was. Congratulations. Was. Rebecca has won many a wheel. Yeah, she does win a lot of wheels. Congratulations, Miss Becky. That is an incredibly expensive 9.8 slab you just won. And Thanks. this is the, not even the Wheel of Fortune show. That Again. is an extremely expensive slab. Thank you. First silk, first print, 9.8. Yeah, not a cheap book. And you know what, Rebecca, you have two other slabs sitting here with me. <laughs> they will fit lovely in there with this one. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. That's pretty close Thanks, to the lottery. What's that book go for now? Five six hundred bucks. No, it's down a little bit right now, but it's still it's still not a a cheap book. No. Excuse me. Okay, buddy, what do you got? Poles? Poles for the pole box. Let's see if I remember. Four dollars a piece. It's twenty dollars for a half dozen, thirty-five for a dozen. Random or uh Batman or Wonder Woman box. You got he's got to type in his starting bid here, and then we'll be off to the races, okay? Yeah, it got to be three fourteen real quick, didn't it? What um. Thirty dollars starting bid. What do you got for us here, Pop? You put you move the clocks back tonight, don't you? Yeah. Oh forward. no! Spring forward. Oh. Forward. We lose an hour of sleep. That's right. I forgot. But not for another hour. Already, already lost it here. Okay, we got a spawn book, early spawn issue number twenty nine, starting at thirty dollar. I'm assuming this is a builder. Nope, just this one. Okay. And what's the opening? Bid? Oh, oh, we've got more. King Spawn is also in. I don't know what issue number that is. Hold that up so I can see what issue number it is. Uh, okay, it doesn't say. Don't know. Someone might have to help me out with that one. Somebody in the chat will be able to tell me. King Spawn issue. Uh, you got yourself a, an exclusive virgin variant of uh, Venom. <laughs> go ahead, Dana. If you're going to click on those, go ahead. Yeah, I got you. And then what else you got? Looks like, oh, it looks like he's got a poly back. Ooh, now that 
what are you doing that's not thirty dollars that's way more than thirty dollars man wow wow still in the poly bag three pack raiders of the lost ark which you're telling me all of that's in right now pop you mad man you're crazy you done lost your mind we are we are not thirsty oh he's still going first ricky barnes first ricky barnes <laughs> Fraulein Ravenwood, let me show you what Rob Lyfield. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Captain Britain versus Captain America. Looks like a mile high comics. Oh, a Mark the Jeweler. A Marcus the Jeweler. Nice. Pink. That looks like it's from my comic shop. Oh, versus the dreaded Porcupine. Versus the dreaded Porcupine. Does anybody remote. remember yeah. what the German Nazi guy's name was in Raiders of the Lost Ark? Two Mark Jewelers back to back. Captain America. They both look like they are high grade. Plenty of value in this lot. Oh, but there's more. He's 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 keep going. He's crazy, man. He's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> All new Wolverine issue number 19. 19. Okay. That's in. Are you talking about Belloc? No, Belloc was the French guy. The uh, the old guy. The, no, the, the pig face guy whose face melted at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was a bad. Oh, that was a wicked scene. What All right, we got classic Wolverine here versus the Sentinels. He was my favorite character Talk. in the whole film. Took or Tot. Tot, Mr. Collector got it. That's correct. Correct. Is that the lot, buddy? Okay, why don't you circle back to those bigger books in the beginning? People need to see that poly bag Raiders of the Lost Ark. Because yes, that they is do. Uh, they need to see that. Do they need to see that one? Pop has ended with a bang here, gang. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Three issue poly bag. You're talking fifty, sixty dollars if it's still in the poly bag. I've seen people ask as much as a hundred dollars for those. Uh, I've seen them sell for it. Yep. Well, yeah. What shall we talk about? What shall we talk about? And then first Ricky Barnes, that's a ten dollar book. My film. The two Mark Jewelers, you're talking at least 15, 20 bucks a piece on the Mark Jewelers. Think I oh. oh let me change the banner here, sorry. The best oh, the best there. scenes in that entire movie were with him. Uh. <laughs> Blue and pink. Are you having oh, a clear or black? I clicked oh. it off. I'm sorry, I clicked it. So tell me, uh, does somebody know what that King Spawn is? Is that a bigger book or not? J1 might know. I don't. I was actually looking it up trying to find it. Okay. All right, there's 25 seconds left on the timer. I mean, just a poly bag set there is 
The poly bag set is the entire sensational. Lottery. Absolutely sensational. Oh, Mr. Collector said he said it. Um, issue 12 from Javier Fernandez cover for King Spawn. Thank you, Mr. Collector. Mr. Collector was very smart. Never going to be in the auction again, Mr. Collectible. Yeah, he'll be back around. He's in the rotation. God, those look nice, dude. Those look really nice. Yeah, yeah. Did that? I did. I don't know much about Spawn. I have a couple odds and ends. I wish I knew more about it. I know they're wildly popular. Um, but that I, right there, ladies and gentlemen, is worth $90 on its own. I know nothing. We nothing. have ways of making you talk. Dr. Jones. The man is nefarious. Nefarious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't you remember he came in and, and uh, Marion Ravenwood asked him, said, I don't know what kind of people you're used to dealing with there, Mac. And she, he said, Fraulein Ravenwood, I will show you what I am used to. <laughs> That's when he picked up that hot poker, you know, and yep. shoved it in her face. Wait, I can be reasonable. That time is past. Are you uh, are you running a the clock there, Miss uh, Miss Dan? Yes, it's okay. thirty seconds. Okay. Are you adding something at a hundred? No, he's saying like get it up to a hundred. Uh oh, it's up to something. Looks like with only twenty-two people left, that's probably what she's going to end at. Yeah, I mean, I'm buy I'd be buying it for that poly bag set. Yeah, so yeah. Yep. That and the Mark Jewelers. All right, what do you got now? What do you got now? Just throwing something in the mix here. Uh, I don't know anything about Power Rangers. That's probably J1's department. And then NYX. Um, I don't know what that is. Is that a Ninja Turtle thing or what's going on there? It's just an homage. It's Nyx. All right, we'll let him say. In well, the we'll explain because I'm sorry. I don't know what those are. I'm not a big indie guy. Oh. So at 100 bucks, he'll put, throw in those other two books, it sounds like. Yeah, does that make you happy? No. <laughs> Glad I can make you happy. All right, and mine is coming in. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Pop. You definitely ended with a bang with a big lot. Thanks, Miss Becky, for picking that one up. We are down to 21 people, five of which are probably us watching it. So we're probably at 16. <laughs> um, but it was a great show. Sold a lot of books tonight. Let's bring everybody on here for a second. Um, Thank you to my esteemed panelists. Thank you especially to Miss Dana for coming to You're bail welcome. me out. Um, Thank you, Dana. I could not have done it without you, my dear. Um, no thanks worries. to Pop for ho for having us all on the Hell on Wheels show. Thanks to Mr. Jackal for being here, peddling out his, his usual dose of good books. J1 with an incredible pull box tonight, sold out in one round, a round and a half, maybe. Call it. I, mean, I, I, I miscounted. I mean, that's fair. Um, so, you know, out quick, Miss Becky, always lovely to have you on the star of the show. The star of the show, Miss Becky. Oh, yeah. Everywhere, right. she, everywhere she goes, star of the show. Yes. That's okay. Wait, I can be reasonable. Oh, oh, I knew this was going to happen. Oh, no. Let's see it. Hold it out. Are you kidding me? The Well of Souls. The Well of Souls, that's right. Well, that was from uh, the other movie, but no, I no, well of, Souls was, that well of Souls was from the first movie. Oh, was it? Okay. Yes. 
All these I thought you had a, uh, yeah, there he is. There he is. There he is. There is Mr. Tot. There is Marion Ravenwood. And there is In Banana Jones. Still new in box. Still sealed in their little plasticle things. That's right. New in box. Yes. And uh, this guy here, like I said, there's even more that came with this uh, set. You can probably remember this guy. Oh, yeah, he got shot in the face. He got yeah. shot, and, of course, someone was asking about <laughs> Belloc. Yeah, he was the rival. That's right. He was the French guy. Yep. All right. Well, hey, it's getting late, guys. I know uh, uh, Pop is ready to go. <laughs> Miss Dana's late. ready to go. MT's ready to go. Um, like, thank you all thank very you. much. Everyone Come back season. and see us again in two weeks, right, Pop? Hey, do not forget that tonight was probably the longest running giveaway ever in the history of, I mean, we just and kept giving away the books. So let it be said. So let it be written. So let it be written. So let it be done. Come back and see us on the way. Tomorrow auction. night. Tomorrow night. Come see us tomorrow night, then come see us next week at the whale auction. Next week, whale auction. Save we'll be, your shekels. Fire will be flying. Yes, indeed. But thanks again, Pop. Thanks, J1. Thanks, everybody, Miss Becky. Thank you, everyone. Miss Dana. That's all, folks.